Zaza Gaza. Who? Zaza Gaza. Baza Gaza. Who? Baza Gaza.
Baza Gaza. Who? Baza Gaza. Baza Gaza. Who? Baza Gaza. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I was going pee pee. Yo, 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 yo. Baza Gaza. Who? <clears throat> Baza Gaza. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, is my shit fucked? Oh, wait, no. Someone gifted a bunch of fucking subs. Uh. Holy shit. Hold on. Uh. I hate this song. Baza Gaza. Who? Baza Gaza. Um, Ellie Mintz, thanks for the 20 month resub. Appreciate it. Uh, Musical Beats, thanks for the uh, two months in a row. Said hi, everyone. Hello. Uh, Anonymous gifted a sub to Winter Snowy. Uh, and Anonymous gifted a sub to White Horse Eggs. Thank you, dude. And to Sponge Car 2 Gaming. Thank you. Uh, and then they gifted 10 fucking subs. Who's Anonymous? Who is a chat? Say it right now. Who's that? Um, thank you, Anonymous, for the fucking 10 bomb. Holy shit. Thank you, dude. Um, holy fuck. Uh, and Maggio, thanks for the five gifted as well. Thank you, mate. Wait, is that. Wait, is that two separate ones? Wait, Maggio gifted five and then another five. Holy shit. Thank you. Thanks for the 10. Thank you, dude. Can we please get some love in chat. Is it Maggio or Maggioson? Because as an Australian, I would say Maggio, but it's probably Maggio. Thank you, dude. Can we please get some Bazels in chat. Make sure if you got one of those subs, you say uh, you say thanks. Um, thank you, dude. I really appreciate that. Subs right at the fucking start of the stream, isn't it? Uh, Sugar Baza Socks, Gaza. thanks for the four month Baza resub. Gaza. Lavender Rose, thanks for the 20 month resub. Annie Azama, gifted a sub to Morgan Mack. Uh, they call me Katie, thanks for the 11 months. Annie Azama, gifted a sub to Purple Lion. Uh, and Minty Green Delight, thanks for the 27. Baza Gaza. Who? Baza Gaza. Thank so thank you to Annie, nice. Um, M Good, thanks for the 21 months. I'm still in the basement, please let me out. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Uh, Spooky Nexus, thanks for the 71 months. Last time I watched the stream live, you had hair. <clears throat> that's that's a really weird way of phrasing that you you. Ah, uh, fuck you. Yeah, so what? What's hair good for anyway? <sighs> <sighs> Oh, by the way, my fucking shaver broke. Like, the shaver I used for my bald fucking head. It, like, broke. So I... Oh, it was horrible. My blade wasn't... And then I ran out of, like, shaving cream. It was a fucking... Baza Gaza. Who? Baza Gaza. It was horrible. If you're bald... I haven't used cam for a while. Maybe I should. Uh, maybe tomorrow something. Wait, what is official no pixel to Beck store? You can buy stuff on NoPixel. <clears throat> what is this? Can I buy a Lambo for my roleplay character? No? It's not. <clears throat> Alright, uh... Let me join NoPixel. Smile. Uh, Valero, thanks for the 17 months. Let me into the basement, please. See, some people are saying let me in. Others are saying let me out, so I don't know what to tell you. Um. Uh, game capture. Baza Gaza. Who? Baza Gaza. There you go. You see that chat? You see that? Hopefully you can. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Oh, uh, just a reminder again today, chat, okay? I'm gonna say it because there's been a lot of spicy RP brewing, okay? If I see you in somebody else's chat typing some dumb shit, okay? You're just gonna get permabans. I know I've said it 50 billion fucking times at this point, and I know 99% of you are just gonna type OK emoji, okay? I know 99.99999% of you are just gonna say, yep, OK emoji once again, but I, for some reason, I, I feel like I have to explain it every fucking day, if there's intense RP and I, I, like, okay, here are the rules in this channel, okay? I don't care if you shit talk characters and all that. I don't, I don't really care. I, I think it's a character and I think you're discussing movie shit. As long as you're just not saying like, if you're saying like, oh, Barry's so stupid at his bald head. I know you're talking about Baza, okay? So using, the, <laughs> there's a line of like, just because you replace the name. <laughs> If you're saying something about the streamer, but you just say the word Barry, I know you're talking about me. Okay, because Barry, you know, Barry's not bold, right? If you catch what I'm saying with that. Um, but, you know, so I, I don't really care. Even if you shit talk Barry in this chat, uh, the character, I don't really care. I'll usually roast you and comment you for it because he is my character and I take offense to it. <laughs> but uh, I, I honestly don't really care as, as long as it's like uh, in fun or whatever, because that's the whole point of this fucking shit is fun. Uh, but other people have different rules in other people's chat. So if you go to somebody else's chat, you type some dumb shit, and they ban you. Pfft, there you are. Same thing with if you type stuff in here and somebody in somebody else's chat bans you in that chat, pfft, they're allowed to. Because they run their chat differently. Okay. Um, so please, if you're going, if you do end up chat hopping, I know it's inevitable. Because I know you guys always want to see different POVs. So when you inevitably do chat hop to somebody fucking else... Uh, for a moment because you want to see their reaction or whatever. Please just be respectful and nice. And if you think there's even a chance of it upsetting them, don't Gaza, type Gaza. it in their Ooh, chat. Gaza, Gaza. You know what I'm saying? Don't type it in their chat. Uh, I, I don't really care if we get hoppers from other chats. I'll usually... <laughs> I think we deal with it a little bit differently here. When somebody hops from another chat into here, I literally... <laughs> I, uh, I pull them up on stream and then laugh at them. Uh, and I, but I know not every streamer likes doing that because it causes more whatever. I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> I'll pull you up in the middle of the screen and dedicate like 10 minutes of the stream time to roasting your dumbass and getting chat to laugh at you because of how like, you know, insanely online you are. Um, so I don't, I don't really mind if you do it here, um, but please just don't do it in other people's chats, okay? <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't, I don't really care. Um, in the same vein though, uh, if, just because you're not in this chat, if you type something stupid in a different person's chat, and you get banned in a different chat because you were, like, trying to hide saying dumb shit, tough shit. You know, people are allowed to- this- there is no freedom of speech in this chat in the sense of it's run by a streamer. The streamer can- I can- literally- literally I can ban someone right now for no reason. Oh yeah, who wants to get permabanned right now? Who, who wants it? Who wants to get permabanned for no reason? I will permaban someone for no fucking reason right now. You know what? Don't even say it. I'm just gonna pick someone at random and I'm not gonna tell you. And they're never gonna be able to type it. That's how crazy I am. That's crazy here. I'll just ban someone for no reason. And the only- okay, so the only people that might get banned are the ones that said Monka W. So let's go through the Monka W's. Let's ban one of them. I'm joking. <sighs> um, but yeah. You know what I'm saying. Anyway. <laughs> He's crazy. He's crazy. Um, but yeah. Because I've had people message me a bunch of, like, weird shit. Um, so... You wake up one day and just band in here, you, you'll probably weird in someone else's chat. I just... Literally, the whole point of this chat room is to have fun. The Gaza, whole point Gaza. of RP Ooh, is Gaza, to have Gaza. fun. Hopefully, viewers as well can remember that. Everything I do in the city is for fun. Oh, oh my god. What's the emote with the, the yellow uh, circle emoji? The smiley face, the emoji, and he's like going... Oh, oh, oh. He's like at the PC. That one, what? The what emote. That's li that's how you should be reacting when I say that. And that's how like some people actually react when I say, hey, remember, this server's about fun. They're like, Like, <laughs> 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 so, hey, I make decisions in character that my uh, you know, that I wouldn't make OC. Crazy. 
Some people are like, what? But if it doesn't make sense for the RP, why are you doing it? You shouldn't be having fun in prison. It's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you shouldn't be having fun while, while in a, a prison. It should be hot hell. It should be so bad that you don't want to wake up. That's how bad the prison should be. Like, what are you doing? So, yeah. Um, but you've probably heard in the past before, usually anytime spicy RP starts up, I'll usually reach out to the streamer and be like, hey, <laughs> if someone's being weird in your chat, just send me a screenshot of what they said. And if it was like, actually, you know, because some people get banned for, I don't think that bad stuff, but then other people obviously get bad. So if someone sends me a screenshot and you're just straight up being like OC, then, you know, you might get banned in this chat. That's just how it works. Because if you're being a shit cunt in somebody else's chat, like, but then pretend to be nice in other chats, I think that's e almost even more weird. So, yeah. Anyway. Just remember, chat, can we get a big smile, okay? It's all about fun. You have literally nothing ever to worry about if you, when you're typing in chat, if you're just memeing. Here's how you, okay, I'm going to give you the biggest tip of your entire life. Here's how you never get banned from any chat ever. Okay. He's how you get, how is my phone already ringing? You could say like, you could literally say, I hate this fucking chat. Fuck you. You dick head, right? But then you put like a, a Pepe laugh on the end. You'll never get banned. As long as you put an emote on the end, it's like you can never, then it immediately it's, you know, you're fine. I mean, yeah, you could be polite, but I know this chat's not going to be polite. That's just... I understand that this chat is a bunch of shitlords. I'm, 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 you know... I mean, you're talking to the shitlord. So, I, I know where I know where they get it from. I know where they fucking get it, get it from. Doc said, wake up, stupid motherfucker. I'm not dealing with your shit. I literally just woke up! <coughs> Yes, that must have been him calling me. <laughs> uh, what, what is it? Ah, uh, no, <sighs> no, 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 no. Shut the fuck up for a second, Barry. What? Why? 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 Why are you screaming at? I just got out of bed. I why, Barry? Because I'm done dealing with your shit when I tell you not to do shit about Nick and fucking boast about it. Don't do it. I just had an hour-long fucking conversation about him and his fucking girlfriend because I told you not to do it once, and you did it again! In front of who? Who did you fucking tell it to? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, first of all, whose girlfriend? Barry, Gaza. The Baza EMS Gaza. that you tried to fucking eat when I told you don't do shit? Don't say You didn't tell about... me not to eat her in the moment. Yeah, in fact, okay. there was like 20 people I, no, that Barry, said eat her. It Barry, wasn't just me. Barry, <laughs> this is going to turn into a seaside BBMC thing again. Say some, what does seaside have to do with this? Nick fucking Simone is girlfriend fucking boyfriend. I just got another fucking hour long call. What does see? What does seaside well, have to I do with this? I told you not to do <laughs> anything and not to say it. You laughed at it, and I just had to deal with it. For I the haven't past even said hour. it. I haven't even said it. Who since... did you talk to yesterday? In visitation, uh, who did you talk to oh, Kelly. yesterday? Ursula, Kelly, Kaiba. Who else? Okay, hold on. You're freaking me out. First of all, okay, I'm just woke Barry, up. I haven't even had. I, I haven't even had have like a breakfast yet. Aneurysm. I don't care. I'm gonna have an aneurysm because I have to deal with this shit. Okay, yeah, first of all, uh, visitation, uh, it was me, it was Kelly, uh, Kaiba was there. Oh, let me turn my phone on silent in case someone fucking walks in. Uh, it was me, Kelly, Kaiba, um, a guy with scratches on his face that I think came with us to Sanguine, or he was a lifer, one of the two. Uh, then Ursula walked in for a little bit, there was... Maybe like one other guy that was like against the wall that I think maybe was with Ursula. And then there was uh, the chick from Lost uh, that Dundee used to hang out with. Oh, and they, I think she's the daughter of Rudy. Flossy. Yeah. And I think that's it. There was a DOC in there, but he, he's like actually a really good DOC. I think... I think that was it. Barry? You understand this? Okay. To give you the importance of this, 
Nick is Andy's best friend. Okay. okay. Oh, the, okay. Nick so Nick, Nick's still on, the girl, on, the boyfriend on. of the EMS. The, yes. Yeah. Okay. Nick is also <laughs> the one that There's got so us much all the Russian remember. support when I told you, please do not say anything about this, and uh -huh. you did it again yesterday in front of Flossie, who is Michael, which is Nick's fucking brother's girlfriend. Where does she run to? Him. Okay, so so many... now I'm having to deal with this whole bullshit about. What did I Everything even say? I didn't. I literally. They walked that in. Somebody you, said, "Did you try to eat the EMS?" I was like, "Yeah, we were desperate." And then someone said something about like Nick, and I was just like, "I, I don't like. I, I've never had an interaction with Nick." So I was like, "Who is that's Nick?" That's exactly why I told him. So Barry, I swear to God, I need you to talk to him. You and two need to have a conversation because I'm done dealing with this. I just had an hour long aneurysm with this guy. Is he annoyed that I hooed him? I, everyone gets hooed. I don't. I don't even know half my club. How are people always so offended when they get hooed? Barry, I need you for one time, once in your life, <laughs> because even... there is things bigger than this going on. What, that okay. he's helping what does Seaside have to no, fucking no, no, do no, no, with no, it? No, 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 because he... he is Seaside. He's in Seaside. Yes. Oh, why did anyone say that? Barry, <laughs> terrorists is a fucking... one thing. So I don't want to deal with fucking Seaside again. They just use could anything. You for, <laughs> could you, for once in your lifetime, please swallow your fucking pride and apologize? But I've, I've got no pride. I don't give a fuck if someone who's me. I think it's funny. Okay, that, that's yes, how I get away doesn't. with murder if someone who's me. That's okay. how I've been able to I murder a clown. <laughs> he takes his reputation very seriously. Okay. As does right. every fucking king person in the city, I, apparently. I, I know, I know, Barry. <laughs> I tried to explain to him who you are, and I said you're an internet explorer of Chrome. And he's like, okay, well, maybe time to operate I, this guy. I get a, it's fine if they get offended if I've met them like 20 times and then I still say who, then I'd be like, okay, that's fine. If I've never met ya, how the fuck am I, I I'm not gonna pretend to know ya. I feel like that's even more rude. I was like, hey, it's you, that guy. Like, and then they're gonna ask me a question about it. And I'm gonna be like, uh, you know, I'm just being hey. honest. And I say who, and then they say, I'm this person. And it starts a friendly conversation and we become friends. That never ends I'm up happening. I'm actively losing my voice for yelling with him for the past hour. Was he yet? What, what, what was he? What did he say to you? What was he mad about? Like just the fact that you tried to fucking eat her. Okay. She oh has my trauma, god. Et Do I, so I. So oh my god. I should have used the gang fucking um uh what's it the gang uh uh the, the, the thing we made ages ago. The, the questionnaire. I should have done the questionnaire on the EMS that got sent in by the government with a bomb to kill us all to make sure they weren't gang associated. Oh god, no, I am in the wrong once again. I forgot okay, to do the very, fucking gang very... survey on every single fucking person in the city because when one person gets fucking shot or eaten, there's always 40 gangs very, associated. No one's just very, a sieve in the city. Barry, this is above this, please. Oh, it's not because it's so... so, so I was the EMS understand. Seaside as well? Or was it just him? No, just the girl. Are they all seaside? seaside? Are you Seaside? Everybody's Barry, Seaside. Ask me that question. I'm very much over it today. Every please. person I've ever shot ends up being Seaside somehow. I don't know where they're getting all these fucking hang arounds from. Perry, please. <laughs> Would you have a conversation with the guy? Yeah, I don't, I'll tell him to his Bring face. Up Andy Listen, there was like 20 friends. of us in there, okay? First of all, it wasn't my idea even to fucking eat her, but yes, I was going to do it. you said it in front of Flossie, you went running to him. So, so wait, so, Flo to so Flossie told him about it? Yes, and I'm going to ream out Flossie after this. So wait, you man, I'm fucking Nick. dead. Talking sh I mean, no, that's... Okay, if she, okay, don't, if, please don't If she's this. going out of her way to fucking say shit to stir shit, I'm about to go war well, with half this fucking city. she was more city. pissed off because she tried to apparently warn you, about not saying that, and then you could double down on it. Okay, here's literally what happened. I walked in there, I, they asked about EMS shit. I said, uh, yeah, we're gonna do it. We were desperate, we needed food. And then someone said something about Nick, and I was like, yeah, I haven't met Nick. And I probably said who, and then fucking, and then they're like, hey, Ursula was like, hey, you should stop talking about that. And then I literally didn't say a word after that. I was like, yeah, you're right. And then Ursula introduced me to her fucking boyfriend that had scissor fucking face and then i walked out i literally didn't the second somebody mentioned it, it was like hey you shouldn't talk about that shit i was like all right i don't care all right, i, I only said it because somebody asked me a question about it I, it's not like i went out of my way to bring it up call him and explain that to him please god i've never met him i don't have his number I, how do i find I this guy i will give you his number i will give you his number all right yeah i'll call him i mean i'm gonna tell right. him that i mean first of all i didn't eat his girlfriend first of all so it didn't even go through 
I don't even well, know he's mad she, about. Apparently, she has cuts and scrapes and whatever for whatever you tried to do to her. But, so who is and the per, who, who's the person we tried? to- I literally don't even know who we tried Veronica to. Veronica Mars. Okay, and what is what is she? Just an EMS. She's EMS. Anything Nick's else? Is she yes. a gang leader of fucking uh, no, the Veronicas or some shit? Okay, Nick's just girlfriend EMS. who gave us all the Russian jets and air and asked us not to target <sighs> EMS. So right. you can understand why he feels a certain way. Sure. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm telling you this because I haven't told you who the fuck the connections were, but Nick is also someone that I've gotten a lot of shit from that I've been trying to do a lot of things with. All right. Yeah. I, I got no issue with talking to him. I got no issue. Right. I'm not trying to hide. People in the city think I'm trying to hide. I'm an open book. You ask me something. I'll tell you. I'll tell you if I tried to eat you, which I did, but I mean. There were, hey, I'm just going to oh, be honest. Okay. There were 20 people in that room, okay? And about 10 of them were like, fucking eat the fucking, eat the EMS. Nobody was opposed to it. So, I'll throw that out there. <laughs> ain't, no, ain't nobody said when I went down to that EMS, because I was the only one with a hunting knife, saying, oh, don't eat her, don't eat the EMS. Everybody was starving to death because they were about to fucking die. So, they were like, yeah, do it. I'm like, yep, sweet. I got no issue with it. I already fucking ate somebody before because that fucking weird islander forced me to eat it. It was horrible, but I mean, keeps okay. you alive. Maybe, maybe don't go with the, yeah, I tried to eat them <clears throat> type thing. Because, you know, that that's probably not going to go out so hot. You want me to lie to him? You want me to say I didn't try to eat her? Well, I mean, okay. Here's my thing, though. You, like, you, if, you, if she was, like, this famous EMS that was known across the land and, like, she knew everybody in there and then I went above and beyond to be like, no, you know what? I know who this is and I'm still going to do it. I'd be like, okay, maybe I get that. I don't think anybody knew who that EMS was that went down there and that who she knew or who she is or whatever. I think people were just like, EMS, I'm hungry. Let's, let's chow down. <laughs> Uh, yeah, send me his number. I'll, get, I'll have a chat with him. All right. Bye. All right. Later. <laughs> oh, 07 Kaiba. I'm sure Seaside will find a way to make this a BBMC thing. <laughs> and then they'll, they'll take a spray for the 50th time, even though they never did. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fuck, what's it? Nick? Is it Nick? Is it Nick or Nicholas? I swear I've heard Nicholas before, that, but then other people said Nick. Oh god, how bad would it be if I said, hey, Mick? <laughs> hey, Mickey! Ah. <laughs> uh, this is funny. I don't know. I think it might just be like a seaside thing, like... I mean, it, it's- obviously it's fine for them in character to be like that, but out of character it's like, how am I supposed to know who all the seaside hangarounds are? <laughs> Five gifted if you call him Mick. Oh, dude, I can't. <laughs> that would be so fun. Oh, man. Five gifted though, hey. That's a- Plaza you know. Gaza. Who? Plaza Gaza. That's awesome. Oh, I can't. <laughs> if, if he's actually a terrorist, I'm gonna get fucking shot. <laughs> oh, I can't. No, that would be too much. It would be so funny though. Oh. I, ba like, Barry gets hooed all the time. I don't, I don't know why people take it like personally. I don't really care. <laughs> Especially if it's someone that's not in my time zone. Like, I, I, I think like 90% of Seaside isn't even awake when BBMC's awake. So it's like, I don't... <laughs> I don't care if they're like, I don't even know who Edbert is. I'd be like, yeah, I mean. I what, like, well, oh, I guess Edbert you'd know, but like, you know, say like, I don't know, like Colin or some shit. They're all awake in NA. <sighs> Alright, uh, we need to go somewhere that, uh, DJ said, please do not fuck this up. <sighs> <coughs> oh, fuck. Alright, wish me luck, boys. Oh, I can't do it. I really want to say Mick. <sighs> but he'll probably just insta-hang up. I can't. 
I really want to do it OSC, but it'll it'll fuck my character up. I, I'm not gonna do it only because TJ's very adamant about this. So, otherwise, I would. If TJ didn't care that much, I'd I'd do it. <laughs> uh. I want to call him? I'll call him mate. Because <laughs> Barry probably would have already forgotten. <clears throat> hey mate, how's it going? It's Barry. Got your number from uh, TJ. What's up? Hey, I, I, apparently there was some uh, some confusion with some stuff that like went down or something. I don't know. TJ just screaming at me as I roll out of fucking bed to to call you. Okay. I mean, uh, well, from what I heard, you uh, showed absolutely no remorse from trying to cut up and eat my girlfriend, correct? Uh, oh, the the EMS that had a bomb strapped yes. to her on Sanguine? Yes. Yes. I mean, do, do you know what the, the conditions were down there as to why that got led to? And why 15 of us were like, we need to eat this person to stay alive uh, or, or try to? Uh, I, I'll be honest, it doesn't really matter to me uh, and, and what happened there happened there But uh -huh. the fact that somebody tells you that you probably should shut the fuck up about it And you kept doubling down That's where my issue lies Who, who said I was doubling down and who said I kept talking after told you to shut the fuck up? Uh, that's what I was told, is that not true? But by who? I, just answer the question I, I, I don't know what con you're, you're paraphrasing so I can't what you said yeah, no, just no, then no, exactly is this? not what is said. Like, I can't tell you a, a paraphrase is true. If you give me, like, a direct uh, quote of something I said, then I can tell you if I said a, it or not. This is not verbatim, but the gist of it. Uh, what? Like, when? The, the only two times I've ever brought you up was when somebody... There's been two different times where you've been brought up after all this shit happened, which I don't think we've ever met, and if I have, forgive me for not remembering. No, uh, no. But, yeah, I think you brought up one. Someone was like, that's the girlfriend of one of the Simones, which I, I've heard the name Simone before. And I was like, oh, I don't... I, I'll be honest, I know people get annoyed when they say who, but I was like, I, I don't know who that is. I don't think uh, I've oh, ever met don't him. Don't get me wrong. I don't, don't get me wrong. I don't give a fuck <laughs> about getting who. I think the issue here lies that you were told who I was and who Veronica was. Uh, and uh, I don't know why you haven't been brought up to speed the fact that I'm trying to help you. Uh, oh no, well, and, once and it, once TJ filled me in, which he filled me in like late yesterday about she had been doing, I haven't asked anyone, I haven't said anything about it. The only time I've ever said anything about what I've done on that island is if somebody asked me about it, because I'm a very open book. If if somebody says, hey, what did you do here, here, here? I'll tell you, I don't, I don't give a fuck if people know. I'm not one of these guys that tries to hide shit. I'm in the fucking BBMC. We're very open about most of the shit we do. No, I get that, but... Uh, I so, it, like, if, if, yeah, I mean, if you want me to be, I'll give you the honest truth. What happened, what happened on that island? We were stuck there, down there for five fucking hours. They were just going to starve us out. There was like 15 of us still left in the fucking bunker. I was the only one with a fucking knife. And they're like, you know what? We're going to have to do some crazy shit to survive down here. Or we're going to get all get fucking uh, blown the fuck up. So uh, together, they're like, hey, Barry, we need, we're going to try eat this fucking, eat this person. As fucked as that sounds. I know it's fucked, but I mean... Maybe I'm saying it a bit nonchalantly because of all the shit I've been through on that island, and I'll tell you, it's very normal for people to eat people over there, which is fucking mind-blowing. Uh, but mm. th that just gives you a bit of a perspective of the state everybody was in after that day of fighting, that they were so fucked in the head and so not willing to fucking uh, get fucked by the Senate, they were willing to fucking carve up somebody. And they were like, hey, no. come over here, we're gonna, I don't know, chew on a fucking arm or something just so we don't starve down here. And then I went over, I saw that, I saw it wasn't possible, and I said, we're not doing it. Yeah. G give me one second, Barry. Okay. Hey, v, you should probably head inside. <laughs> uh, I, I don't want you to hear this phone call. <laughs> call right. your lawyer. So, again, <laughs> I understand what happened on the island happened on the island. I, I, I was willing to look past that for the greater good. And that's what I told TJ too. <laughs> Stop o uh, But again, my, my issue is that somebody tells you to not like boast about the fact that 
you try to eat my girlfriend that that does not sit well with me uh, i don't know who's when... telling you that after i was told to stop talking about it that i continued to because the the, no, the first that instance that did... oh sorry go ahead did, did ursula not tell you who i was yeah so okay so somebody asked me about it are you talking about yes i assume you're talking about visitation because that was the only time yes, yesterday yes, i brought up yes i was yes. in visitation with talking to one of my boys I don't know if it was Ursula that asked me about it or one of my boys asked me about it and the about the island shit. So I explained to them exactly what I explained to you. Uh, and then Ursula was like, yeah, you probably shouldn't like uh, talk any further about that shit because of the, you know, people connected or whatever. I was like, yeah, fair enough. And then from that point on, I didn't say a fucking word after. And then Ursula started talk introducing me to a fucking boyfriend or some shit. And then I walked the fuck out. I don't know who's telling okay. you that after I got told to fucking stop talking about it, that I like kept yapping my mouth. I'm, I'm very okay. vocal when somebody asks me something about it and I can be very energetic about telling them a fucking story. But if somebody really is like, hey, don't fucking talk about that. I'll, I'll, I'm not going to talk to you about it. I'm not going to bore you with fucking, you know, whatever. Okay. But I, I finished right. talking with my boys and we fucking, I spoke to Ursula on the way out, made like a joke about her boyfriend and then I, I dipped and I literally haven't said anything about it since. So I don't All know right. who's telling okay. you that after I've shut my mouth that uh, I just... <laughs> That it's just a part of my uh, ritual in here to just go around talking about it. Uh, I don't know, man. I maybe I misinterpreted, it, but it, to me, it sounds like somebody informed you and you still kept yapping about it. That's that's what I heard. But, but the, maybe, I, 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 I would lie to you. When somebody asked me about the the whole EMS shit, the Sanguine Island visitation, I spoke about it, and somebody said Nick, and I was like, I haven't, I don't know who this guy is. I haven't met him before. And then after that, TJ told me a bit more about who you are, and I was like, okay, I'm not. Even though I wasn't continuing anyway, I'm not going to talk about it further. And then some fucking, uh, and then Ursula was like, yeah, don't talk about it in here or whatever. I was like, all right. And I stopped talking about it. I literally haven't mentioned it since. I've been actually okay. dealing with a bunch of other shit, so. All right. Um, all right. Uh, I'll I'll I'm an open yeah. You can ask me anything. I'll tell you. I'm not, I, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm no, not one of those guys that hides things. You can, you can ask me anything. It, it's hard when it's a game of fucking telephone. I, I just, uh... Yeah, that's been my life for the last 11 days in this fucking shithole. Yeah. All the information I'm getting about Cerberus wanting to fucking buy assets of people that are fucking in here. Uh, I'll be honest, oh, really? it's rubbed me the wrong fucking way. I don't know if you've even heard yeah. about that, but... Uh, no, but, uh, I'm not surprised either way. Yeah, well, apparently Cerberus is, uh, uh... Gonna be attempting to purchase people's assets that are in here if they get fucking revoked, because I assume they'll get thrown up on the fucking market for cheap, so... Mm, oh, that's what I've been dealing with. Alright, well, uh, again, I don't give a fuck about being hooed. Uh, I don't so. care either. I don't know why people like... <laughs> I, if I if I had if I if I had met you like ten fucking times before, I'd be like, okay, that's a bit of a fucking insult to the character. But I don't think we've ever fucking met. The only people I've really met in Seaside, obviously, is fucking Benji and like maybe one or two others like closely. And outside of that, I, you know, I don't. Know. All right. Well, uh, I'm gonna talk to the person again. I mean, we all know it's Flossie by now. Uh, but I, I she presented Basa it to Gaza. me and it Ooh. didn't Basa sound Gaza. like she was. What what do you say? I don't I don't think she was stirring, so I'm I'm a little bit perplexed that I misunderstood it that way, because so it was Flossie, or maybe I don't know. I'm gonna talk to Flossie again. Uh, she went to bed not too long ago, so probably tomorrow. Go for it. I'll be honest. My only I I I don't see why she would have a reason to stir. My in fact, I'm pretty sure she's actually pretty close with some of my BBMC guys, so I don't even know yeah. why she would. Uh, say that I continue to talk after being told to shut up about it. Maybe she uh, didn't, and maybe I misinterpreted, but uh, I, I'm cooked, but uh, I will talk to her and I will clarify. All right, because, no worries. Uh, yeah, I, I just don't like the fact that people show no remorse for the fucking uh, people that, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm not going to lie, what, sending in the MS and the cops... Uh, oh, I was going to say, how do you feel about the fucking... I assume you're just as heated as I am about this whole Senate shit strapping oh, a fucking what, bomb to your missus, like... That's why I am trying my hardest to look past this, and that's why I absolutely did not like the fact that the guy that is trying to help you is getting thrown under the bus by the people he's trying to help, <sighs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, as as far as I'm concerned with what TJ said, we're on the same team with, uh, once I get out of here, I, I, just, uh, I don't think you understand what uh, what lengths we're going to to make sure that, uh, I mean, I know there's already shit in, in motion now, but uh, 
if if there's already shit happening while uh the big dogs are in fucking prison while this shit's happening i can't imagine what happens once we uh get out because uh i saw some shit on that island that shouldn't happen anywhere for the sake of the police department <laughs> i condone this behavior i have no idea what he's talking about yeah if they're listening uh <laughs> anyhow anywho uh i'll talk to flossy and get it straight i just uh yeah uh right. you got my number she's traumatized. so yeah she's traumatized out of the fucking wazoo and when i hear that shit after the things that i had to swallow to still Who flossy is fucking issue no oh your missus right Veronica. yeah yeah i mean fair enough again i i don't think anybody down there I, I make a joke a lot of the time that I gotta start anytime I do something with any kind of violence that I gotta have a fucking Gaza, questionnaire Gaza. to start Gaza, handing Gaza. out to people to see who they're associated with because it seems like anytime I, someone's down near my fucking billy doing some dumb shit or they get shot or whatever they always end yeah. up fucking knowing some big boss of some fucking gang so mm. I don't know maybe I should actually just survey every time I fucking do anything in this city uh, I don't think so I, I think uh, I think the issue here was that you know you You've been in prison with the boys for 12 days, whatever. Sorry, 12 years at this point. Oh, and yeah. It's, so, it's... Uh, you know, I, I thought you, you'd you by now have uh, some idea of who she was. Uh, I, I don't I didn't expect you. Again, I, I had no issues with the fact that it happened. Well, I mean, I do, but I'm willing to look past it. But again, it was the fact that it, like 12, days, uh, 12 years later, I, I hear about disrespect again and i'm like what the fuck man yeah if you're expecting any info to be passed around properly in here i would highly recommend against it i'll give you my past four fucking the last four days that i've fucking woken up in here i've been thrown in fucking cuffs during a fucking lockdown and placed in a fucking cell with no context as to what's fucking going on like i would say half the time i've fucking been in here so i mean I, th there's a few opportunities that I'll, I'll speak to people in here uh, but outside of that, it, it's, it goes from fucking shootout to lockdown to fucking raid to fucking holding a fucking angle for s six fucking hours. I mean, it's just, you know, I'm, uh, as I said, I'm dealing with a whole another issue that I'm trying to play my own fucking game of telephone to actually figure out if this shit's true. Because if, uh, you know, if there's people outside trying to fuck with uh, people in here purely because they're locked away and can't do anything about it, then, you know, of course we yeah. would do something about it, so yeah yeah of course uh listen right. mate you've you've got my number so if if there's any yeah. more clarification after you have these calls or whatever again i don't know uh if if it, if it was misinterpreted Probably or she yeah. said some yeah. weird shit or whatever call me back i'm again i'm very open about this shit so all right all right will do all right mate talk to you later all right bye bye all right oh i wanted to say see a mix so bad but i feel like we were plus 100 ing Chat, you gotta remember, I Barry's a sociopath. He he convinced his entire club to shoot the leader. Okay, Barry does not give a fuck about the EMS. Um, but the second, it, since TJ cares about the connection, Barry's gonna make it seem like he cares. He doesn't give a fuck. It's it was Barry's idea. It, Barry got asked to eat the EMS, but ba Barry would have done it <laughs> either way. Uh, I don't know. I think. Uh, uh, don't worry, Chad. There will still be spice from this because um, Flossie's probably going to get fucking killed. So, yeah. <sighs> the the only reason I I, I focused on plus one hundred hundreding that convo is because TJ actually cared about it. If TJ didn't actually care, I probably would have said a lot more dumb shit just because it would have been funny. <laughs> I mean, you could. Come on, boys. Oh, hello. Uh, we need to speak uh, soon. There's been a lot Gaza, of Gaza. shit Gaza, Gaza. brewing with this. Uh, it's a lot of shit that I've been fucking pissed yeah. off about. So, okay. Yeah. Let me just wake up. I got woken up by a fucking phone call. So let me go get some slushies real quick. Flossie's Nick's adopted daughter. Oh god. I mean. I'll be honest though, like, I will feel more justified for Barry to do something to fucking Flossy because, um, one thing we can play into, I'm pretty sure I probably said a lot, Barry probably said a lot worse in the, uh, visitation. Oh, here's what we need to do. Oh, is that meta? I thought someone was just joking. Oh. <laughs> so I, I thought, please don't tell me that's actually true. <laughs> 
Sorry. Sorry if that's meta. I thought someone was actually joking that there was another relationship involved in that. So please, if there's actually, if you're saying actual meta, please do not say that in this chat. Because, I mean, it'll be funny if Barry finds out in character about that anyway, so. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to assume for now it's a joke. Um, uh, but we got confirmed it was Flossy. I was struggling because I was like, dude, there's probably like four other... Hey. What's my name? Barry Benson, mate. Oh my god, Barry! Hey, what's going on? I I, I used to be one of the leaders of Street Cert. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Yeah, my name's Sam. Uh, you stole you stole Schnitt's hat one time. Who does, whose hat did I steal? You stole Schnitt's hat, the German guy. Oh, the German guy. Hey, can you watch for yeah. DSC real quick? Yo, okay. son, son don't worry. I, I plus 100 though. I'm in the uh, cafeteria. Come caf. <laughs> Alright, we're good. Thanks, boss. Ugh. Yeah, the German guy, he had the pisswasser hat. Was he in a gang? Were you guys a, like a gang? Yeah, we were street side. Oh, shit, okay. <laughs> hey, the German guy! The German hat guy was in a- Everybody's in a gang! God, we need a hard reset. I almost don't want to make Barry in a gang in the next reset out of spite. I feel like yeah, every motherfucker is in a gang. God damn. I can't fucking kill anybody without fucking having half the city after me. Oh shit, okay. Come over here. Oh, you'll be happy to know I have plus 100. Only because you cared about it so much. Otherwise, I probably would have said some dumb shit. Dumb shit. He's my best chance to get the fuck out of I know, I know. And that's why I took it seriously. But I I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I was half considering answering the phone call and saying, Hey, Mick. <laughs> but Nick I didn't. I Mick? didn't do that. I was very respectful. I just want you to know that's my first thought. <sighs> I didn't. Okay. Okay. And no Flossy either. It was Flossy. It was Flossy, by the It was know, 100%. Know, he confirmed it as well. I, I know it is. But he confirmed it as well. Yeah. I, I just, I don't fuck with her. After the whole, like, shit that she did with, uh, with Norman and I, I just don't talk Okay, to her. does she have any relation outside of Lost? Yes, Michael. Simone. Why Girlfriend. Michael? Yes, the two of them. <sighs> they are what, okay, what is, what is Flossy to Michael? Girlfriend? Go f God, you can't fucking do anything in this city without some f What is with all these terrorists having like six fucking maidens? You can't fucking murder somebody in this city anymore without a fucking terrorist coming after you. It's ridiculous. That's why I don't fuck with her. <laughs> I haven't talked to her for like months. And when I do, it's short because I know what she fucking did and I don't care. Yeah, uh, I'm going to be honest. I, I gaslit him a little into like making it not... Because right now it's just a game of telephone. It's my word versus fucking hers. I probably said a lot of dumb shit in there. Um, but as as far as I'm concerned, uh, I'm going to call Ursula now and make sure she can back up and uh, my story. Um, and she will. Um, so if, they, if anyone tries to get any further information, they go to Ursula, she'll back up whatever I say. Um, and I'm just going to say the second Ursula mentioned it, that we shut up. Um, because... Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I told him, I was like, yeah, they, they asked me about it. And I, I said, hey, I'm an open book. You know, if people ask me questions, I'm going to tell you stuff. Um, but then the second someone said, hey, don't talk about that. I stopped talking. So I don't know where you're getting this from Flossie saying that I continued after that. I may, I might as well have. I don't even fucking remember. I'm going to be honest. I just, you know, how I am. I just fucking rant sometimes. But I, I literally don't even think I went that too off the deep end. I, literally, someone asked me about it. I said something about EMS. And then I said, who the fuck is Nick? I've never met him. And that was pretty much it anyway, so. I know, but I also told you this like a few days before. Yeah, well, I told, I told, I, I told him that like you told me immediately after and was like, this is who. And then ever since then, I've been like, oh, yep. Yeah. So as far as he's, as far as he's concerned, uh, you know, the second you told me about it and filled me in, then I shut up about it, which I mean, I, I literally haven't spoken about I, it since then because we've been dealing with the fucking Cerberus shit. So call right. Ursula now then. Yeah. Okay. Watch my back, I'm just gonna go, uh... Is there someone in here? Yeah, watch the door, I'm just gonna go back here. <sighs> oh, 
God, I have to I have to be nice to Ursula. Oh, what? She hung up! Are you fucking kidding me? Hey, Ursula, it's me, Barry. Yeah. Hey, Barry, how you doing? Hey, good. What's what's going on? Not much. Just about to write, uh, publish my article about Brian Knight quitting the PD. Wait, Brian Knight quit? Yep, that's going live <laughs> literally. <laughs> uh, yeah, I figured you'd love that. That's um, good. Yeah. So, what's up? Yeah. Oh, I was just calling you because um, what do you? Uh, you were in visitation like yesterday, yeah? When I was talking. Yeah, I was. Do yeah. you have any connection to this like flossy girl? That was in there. I, I mean, I, I've met her a few times, but I don't really know her. Yeah. Why. So uh, she was like, she's trying to like stir a bunch of shit because you know when I went in there and I was like talking about the EMS shit and then you were like, hey, yeah, don't, you don't... were literally shouting that yeah, you yeah, hate and, her but, in yeah, front you, of people. Yeah, exactly. But then you were like, oh, you know, don't talk about that. And I was like, okay. And then we stopped and then you made a joke about your boyfriend and I fucking walked off, right? Um, she's trying yeah, to like yeah, make yeah, that yeah. into even more of a thing uh, and stir with like a bunch of fucking people. Um, Barry, so. Nick, Nick legitimately, legitimately asked me to find out who took a bite out of Veronica. I hid that for you because we're, we, you know, we're old. Uh, old pals, right, good way back. Yeah, 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 totally. Um, old pals, like best of friends. So okay. I hid that. I, I appreciate that, Ursula. But at the same time, you literally declared it out loud in front of somebody that probably will go if they oh, haven't yeah, already no, it's, run and tell him. No, I appreciate it, but yeah, you know me. I'm uh, I'm very open with that. Um, that's all I'm concerned about. I'm not concerned about people knowing. Yeah. Um, I'm my more concern is people that like hear that stuff that spool mm -hmm. it into a way bigger uh, fucking thing. Because I got a call from him and he was saying all this shit that I I didn't even say. I told him straight up what I said in visitation. Uh, yeah. But he was led to believe that I went on like a, a 30 minute long fucking uh, speech about, you know, I, <laughs> I don't know. So whoever this fucking, this philosophy, uh, flossy girl has been spooling into this massive fucking thing. Um, so yeah. all, 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 all I was, I was going to ask Ursula is if, uh, if they call you or somebody calls you, just be like, yeah, I was there. Yeah, Barry said some dumb shit. But then uh, when I told him to shut up, he did, which is literally what happened. The second you were like, yep. oh, stop talking about it. You stopped talking about it. And then he left and he hasn't said anything since. That's all. I just want to make sure that yeah. uh, they don't yeah. try Plus and wrap you into this. he came in when I said, that's Nick's girlfriend. And you went, oh, okay. Yeah, and you stopped talking. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know what I've apparently done to Flossie, but she's spooling it into something even bigger. So I'm, I'm going to figure that out separately. Um, People like to stir the tea. You know that, Barry. This is oh, Los Santos. Yeah. Stirring yeah. the tea is everyone's uh, favorite thing to do. Yeah, I mean, uh, for fuck's sake, Brian and I just came to me and said, I quit the PD. Here's my entire story. Yeah, that's Up on that's the LSBN fucking, app now. That's fucking crazy. Oh, yeah. I've, I'm probably... I, I'm glad LSBN's actually popping, by the way. I've, I think everyone in here has been reading and watching everything. Yeah. So it's, it's been really good. Yeah, I'm trying to make it the go-to place to be. Like at, like, at least every day or two, there's something big going on. Hey, listen, you, you just tell happening. me if, uh, if if the stories, if the, once I get out, if the news gets a little slow, okay, I'll go make some news. Okay, so. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, that, that's all I need to. I'll just be like, Barry, go make me news. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, that's all I need to know. Yeah, if they, if they ask you about it, because uh obviously uh he's probably only asked, ask like, me about it yeah, yeah obviously he's only talked to fucking flossy about it and i just don't want her story thinking you know whatever the fuck she's saying mm -hmm. to be the truth so if they call you just be like yeah he said some dumb shit but then uh i told him to stop talking about it and he was respectful and just On it. walked away so yeah all I'd right appreciate it. all right so i appreciate you take that care. all right you too bye all bye. right <laughs> fools it's just too easy. It's just goddamn too easy. This is why Barry doesn't get annoyed if somebody who's Barry. Because why? Because the people that do know Barry, uh, underestimate him. <laughs> and the people that don't also do that, I guess. <laughs> Here, to give you an idea. Huh? Give me a sec. Okay. This is what Nick brought me, to, or Michael brought me today. <coughs> I think you understand how much that means. So please, with all, right. all that shit. <sighs> so you don't want me to do anything to fucking Flossie. 
I'm gonna, gonna be honest. Be... I want it fucking dead. To be honest, after trying to. I I understand you want want that. I just don't fuck with her. I I don't care. <sighs> I, that's probably the worst thing in the do, world. Do they for have her. any connection to Cerberus? Uh, no, they hate Cerberus. Okay, good. Well, thank God for that then. They they don't like. Uh, Lang and the Smones are very much mutual enemies. Okay. Uh, they're not good. And I don't know how the relationship is anymore, but they used to be very close with Nancy, and then some shit happened between them as well. And they, I don't think that they really fuck with each other anymore. I don't know. I haven't really talked to him about her at all. Listen, I know you woke up mad at me this morning, but hopefully you can appreciate that I had to use my unspoken fucking Riz on Ursula to make her say, I, I told her like, if they call you, say this. And she's like, yeah, on it. She'll say the exact thing. I just made it out to, because again, right now it's just her word versus mine. I made it out to them that Flossie was going to like Nick saying that like I went on this tirade for like 30 minutes about it. And I was like, yeah, I just don't want you involved in this uh, Ursula. So if they call you about it, just say, uh, yeah, he said something dumb. But the second I told him, hey, you probably shouldn't you know, say that. He was very respectful. And then we spoke about something else. And then he didn't mention it again. It was done with. Problem solved. <sighs> All right. Forget, All right. All right. forget about it. So if I go, I have to now call Nick. Is that going to be the case? Yeah, go, I'm not. I'm not joking right. with that. You can, you can call right. him. I'll, you I'll you just, can, you can just, ask him and pretend like you didn't even talk to me and just be like, "Hey, did it get sorted?" He'll be like, "Yeah." yeah. I mean, I mean, he ended it with right. being like, "Yeah, okay, I, I don't care about the shit on the island. I just wanted to make sure that you weren't talking shit after." So I'm gonna call Flossie, and I was like, "Yeah, go for it." And I was like, "Hey, you got my number. You call me back anytime, and I'll give you the full fucking story." So. Uh, Uh, I was about to like <laughs> die of a brain aneurysm during this. Underestimate me, TJ. Okay, a lot of the time I just do like shit for the, the sake of doing shit. That I can get out of here. If, listen, if All you right? if you call me saying, "Hey, you actually need me to be serious with something," you know I'm going to be fucking. There's not many people that can get know, me to do that. My shit lord will usually overrule everything. <laughs> I was literally going to answer the phone and say, "Hey, Mickey, how you going?" But, uh, wait, you know. Oh God. Yeah. So. Oh, uh, all right. Let me go talk to him real quick. Go for it. Be back. Yeah, go for it. Have when flops are awake. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, get some shit together. Yeah. Barry Benson does it again. <laughs> all right. Um. Nick Simone tried to eat his girl friends. <laughs> I should make the title in my phone, tried to eat his girlfriend and wasn't remorseful about it. <laughs> I shouldn't be a role player. I feel like I just, man, I just, if something's funny, it's more likely I'm going to do it than not. The only reason I didn't answer that phone and say, hey, Mick, is because TJ was very, like, he seemed very concerned about it. So obviously Barry would listen to what TJ says. And it's also his high command. So Seth, thanks for the four months, dude. Appreciate it. Sar42, thanks for the 16 months. Uh, Jerks, thanks to the 14. Kevin DM, thanks to the 30 months. Fluff Nugget, thanks to the 21 months. Uh, Frantic Limbs, thanks to the tier 3. 43 months. Appreciate you, Frantic. Uh, thanks to the tier 3 sub. Um, can we get some love in chat? By the way, chat, tier 3 is like 5 normal subs, by the way, so. In case you weren't aware. Uh, JP, thanks to the brand new tier 1 sub. JPKYY, Jipuki. Uh, Green Bean, thanks to the 16 months. Anonymous gifted a sub to Barry's. Barry's Bolding Cream. Hey. It's been a long time. Oh, is that you, Eddie? Yeah. What's up, man? Hey, what's going on? Not much. You know, just uh, in prison for 30 years of my fucking life. Oh, uh, you got caught up in that shit, too? Oh, yeah. Caught up. I was, uh... I was in the fucking... Uh, the final fucking bunker. Holding a fucking angle with a fucking AR for four hours straight on the same fucking doorway. Drone. Oh God! I don't. Yeah, it was. 
Yeah, yeah, Kaiba talked about the drone. Yeah, we were hearing yeah, the it was for freaking... six hours the other day. <sighs> it's good to see you, Eddie. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't sure if you like transferred out, especially. Uh... Uh, I mean, I, I did for a, a hot minute. Uh, I put my paperwork to get back in. Uh, Causing too much chaos in here. Uh, just uh, what was the things. living conditions? Because I tell you, they're fucking shit here. Every well, every day you, you wake up, get thrown in cuffs, fucking you know, some fucking shits going down. No context, what's going on? It's fucked. Yep, that, and uh, you know, you can only do it seven days a week for so long. Yeah, and I did it for about yeah. nine hundred years. Jesus Christ! Yeah, that's uh, that's fucked, Eddie. <clears throat> but I put my paperwork in, you know. Uh, spent some time at another prison, put my paperwork in to get back around, and uh, got transferred in about five days ago. Oh shit, okay. Just uh, getting back into the swing of things. Yeah, there's uh, not where I can. There's been a lot going on, to be honest, so at least in the last couple of days for me. Just shit I'm hearing on the outside that's been pissing me off. But uh, and my second day in was that crazy fucking. It's, it was like seven hours, but it was like five hours and nothing but a lockdown. Oh, that, that thing, thing. Yeah, yeah, that, that yeah. sounded like hell. Yeah, I stared at a hallway with a shotgun for five and a half hours. Yeah, yeah, that's how they usually go. Um, yeah, we've been uh, we've been working on you know keeping ourselves busy in here. So yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, speaking of which, I mean, you have a lot of skills from spending a lot of time in here, right? Oh, absolutely. You are able to, uh... Hey, hey, oh, straight to the kitchen, huh? You know how it is. Hey, everybody, I saw. I wasn't straight to the kitchen. What's up? Oh, yeah, uh, no, just... There's like six people out there. I said, hey, yeah, yeah, I probably said hello to all of them. Yes. Said, hey. Yeah. I wasn't judging, hey. I was just making a comment. Wait a minute. Is it because of my weight? No, no, psh. no, 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 no. That's hey, come on, hey, that, don't be like that. It, oh. I'll be alright. I'll get over it eventually. I just have a, I have a knack of offending everybody these days. Let me tell you. You try and eat one. Let me tell you, Eddie. You try and eat one person's fucking girlfriend, okay? Because you're starving to death in a fucking bunker, and then all of a sudden, you know, a bunch of fucking terrorists want to kill you. It's just. You can't do anything in this I city mean, you're anymore. Into Eddie. A corner, like, like. Oh, that's what I, that's what I said. That's what I said. Like, we we've had some wildly long lockdowns in here and had yeah. to do the same shit. Like, yeah. You, you, ever eat, you ever eaten a guy before? I, yeah, I've tried it. It's yeah, it's not great, but I mean, I spent some time with Bane. You know, and oh, he's literally okay. a cannibal. So. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> um. So I got parole. You know, cannibal. So I got parole. Yeah. Um, well, listen, I still got like fucking 20 fucking years in here, so I'm trying to figure out, uh, what kind of shit I'm trying to do to keep myself busy. I know there's a, a few things that, uh, you know, uh, some of the newcomers are able to do, but I know, uh, some of the guys that have been around here a lot longer that are probably staying here for life, uh, have a lot more skills in terms of shit they can, you know, kind of get done. I mean, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, there's this, there's only a couple of tools that you can't really fuck with that we can. That's mm. really just, uh, you know, uh, burner phones and uh, ships. Like everything else, you guys can really play around with. I mean, burners are always fucking useful, to be honest, especially on the outside. Well, they're a lot uh, easier to make now from what Kaiba and uh, people have been showing me. Really? Well, you remember back in the day, it used to take me like something like weeks on end of uh hard work to make it yeah 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 you could do it in a day oh what kind of uh what kind of shit you need uh i mean you just need batteries and uh aluminum uh electronics and some glass are you getting are you finding batteries i mean I, ha I have all of it uh batteries are uh you just wiggle out some loose ones from the electrical box oh shit. okay but, um... uh like uh, you can, the t those tools are only really good for a day. So like, you can only really make one a storm. Okay. Um. Well, I want to make sure that we're at least making one each storm, even though uh, bugs have been getting flipped like mad. At the very least, uh. Well, I, I was thinking something like that. I, I mean, you guys obviously aren't done once you get out, right? 
Oh no, we're uh, yeah. There's a lot of shit that uh. Well, and this is across a lot of different groups, right? Hmm. Well, you guys need you know clean communication. Oh, certainly... across multiple storms. <clears throat> and this is a little theory I'd had to work with in the past. But it just wasn't possible with how hard it was to get home. Yeah. I mean, you could have a completely off the grid burner phone communication network. Oh, um. How well are, they, are these burners like made? Like how long do they uh, last for? They're solar charged. They never go bad. Wait, the burners you make in here never fucking go bad? No. Shit. Okay, see that. That piques my interest because uh, right before this, uh, when we were setting up to go to the island, the burner came in clutch. Like it was a lot easier to be able to, you know, do shit without, uh, you know, I mean, yeah. your personal fucking number attached to it. Subpoenas and all this and that. Yup. Okay. Um, fucking GPS tagging and all that shit. Okay. You're saying you can only you can only make one of these fucking burners like a storm, right? Yeah. It takes about an hour and a half to actually make the thing, but uh, okay. like the tools are are done for the whole storm. Okay. Um. Is what I want to do. I want to start making sure that you have an oversupply of that shit, so every fucking storm that you're awake, uh, you can start yeah, yeah. building a fucking collection. Cause, uh, yeah, they'll be uh, they'll be super fucking useful. Um, I mean, I can uh, I can help. Uh, I, are the batteries the hardest thing about? Like, what's the hardest thing to like get out of it? Like, get to make it. I rather. wish I wish I said I I could say anything's hard now. Okay, but it it isn't. Okay. Well, what's uh. I mean, so like I have, I have 50 of, uh, which is the cap of all of the materials you need to make that shit. Yeah. And like, honestly, it would be the materials at this point because you have no consistent, uh, like if you're working the scrapyard, you don't consistently know what kind of materials the boss is going to give you. Okay. So well, I can, uh, I can organize from some of the outside to get us a fuck ton and just get like a storage box for it and fucking, you could have it. I used to have. I used to have that actually. Um, way back in the day, I had a, something like eight thousand scrap metal just to push ships to boys if they need them. Shit, okay. Um, yeah, so I was just you know weapons trafficking, but in prison. Um, you know, you know it is. Yeah, yeah. Tell you what, I'll uh, I'll sign on to some electrician stuff and I'll start looking for some uh, battery. Am I just fixing these fucking power grids and hoping some batteries fall out? Is there anything else I need to like do while doing that? That's literally it. All right, and it's it's real simple, like. I've got six uh, six spares sitting right now, and I already made a phone today. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll make a basically, few phone calls to get some shit in today as well. Basically, my thought is like, what? Uh, potato launchers fall apart as you use them, and unless we want somebody to come in and collect, you're really only going to get three out at a time. Uh, of the launchers or the phones? Uh, the phones. Yeah. Okay. If you use a launcher. I mean, because launchers. Three burners that never go fuck it. You know how much those go for on the fucking street? Like the the ones I had to. I think I bought my last one for like a hundred fucking grand out there before I came in here. Uh, so. Well, that's cheaper than they used to be. That that makes sense. They're easier to make. I'm not. I'm not even kidding. Like, I'm like selling. We could just be. I'm not joking. BBMC could just sell fucking burners and make money like that shit. Like. Yeah. Well, I mean. If you control the market, you can set the price. Yeah, I didn't realize how fucking uh, lucrative they were. I thought uh, someone was fucking making them in a fucking some deep fucking shack out in the fucking woods somewhere. I didn't realize they were. I thought the ones in here were just like, uh, like I don't know. I know there's some other burners that will last like a few weeks, but yeah, unless they, uh, <clears throat> unless somebody else on the outside started making them. As far as I was aware, we were the only supplier in the city. Shit. Okay. And fuck, when I was like almost exclusively supplying them to TJ for his stuff. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think it was like 150, almost 200 grand per, but like yeah, right. it would take a week or more to make a single one. Okay. Um, all right, I'm gonna uh, sign up for some electrician shit. I'll make a, I'll make a call today to get some shit in. Um, I mean, if you're, if you're gonna be around a bit, we might make you like, uh, uh, anything that we need, like stored, we just get to fucking like we just get to you, and then if shit pops off, so you, just so you don't get your fucking bunk flipped. Um, well, look, uh, yeah, no, if you don't want me to get involved, 
that's and I hold. Yeah, there'll be there'll be really sometimes where I would, but not if like if there's a chance of yeah. you getting your shit flipped. And, you know. Yeah, like yesterday. Or... Is that the one that whistled real good? It is. I really like his whistle. It's oh. really nice. <sighs> Thank you. Yeah, I just whistle you. when I'm uh, being casual. You know. Just oh ca yeah. Casual time. <laughs> yeah, that's no problem. That's no problem. You know. That's actually a super cool whistle, actually. Yeah, it is. It's a really Thank good whistle. Much. That's what I'm saying. I mean, yeah. just a <laughs> casual day for whistling, you know. Yeah, just yeah. Well, you have a you have I'm a great day, sir. Yeah, you have a great day. Yeah, that's Always what I'm day. saying, yeah. right? I love DOC. <laughs> yeah, I love you guys too. You guys. All these fucking new faces. There. I don't. I don't know any of these <laughs> motherfuckers. Uh, sorry. Okay. Um. So, uh, like the other day, with that fucking six-hour-long. I barely, I, I got like three hours of sleep in my cell after that. Yeah. Fucking, yeah. Um, I didn't even know that shit was going on. I saw a single DOC walk into a cell block and I followed because that's just dumb. Mm. And then walked in and, you know, saw 17 people with guns. So, yeah. Um, hey, there's going to be a few people over the next uh, few days. I'm going to need you to keep, a, keep an eye out for, okay? There's uh, some shit that's been. Uh, shit that's been fucking with us on the outside. I just need to get a few more details about, uh... Are they staring at us through the... Yeah, they 100% okay, that's, are. That's fine. Um, yeah, there's some people on the outside that have been fucking with my shit recently, and they think because they're on the outside that uh, I can't do anything. But, uh, there's gonna be, a uh, yeah, uh, a few people that I'll, I'll let you know what they look like and all that kind of stuff, and if they drift through here, then, uh... You know. Depending on their names, and if they're, like, newer around the city or not, I still probably know them. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, let me just confirm some shit, but just people, yep. uh, people that have been running their mouth a little more than they should, so. Um, alright, in the meantime, okay. uh. Like okay. I said to Kaiba, uh, then when I got introduced, like. Like, uh, 90% of the people I care about in the city are still, you know, the club, so. There you go. Um. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll get some we'll get some shit going while we're in here. I got a I got a lot of people on the outside that are willing to, you know, yeah, get us some uh, stuff whenever we need. So, um, we'll probably be at least one today that uh, yeah, start getting some shit that we need. Um, all right, I'm gonna start start getting some fucking batteries for us and just start stocking up. How how long do these uh, if if I like find a bunch of batteries, can I just throw them on my bunk oh, for battery, a while? Or they... Yeah, yeah, the batteries are good forever. Oh, phew, easy. I'm just literally just gonna grind a fucking bunch of batteries and then. Yeah. Um, then you can just... You really don't even have to grind that long anymore. Like, you could do one lap around the yard of all the boxes, and you'd find two, which is enough for a single phone. Okay, okay. All right, I'll just get a fuck ton, and then I'll start out. So, what are yeah, the things like... you... What about for, like, shivs and stuff? Shivs is scrap metal, 50. That's scrap. honestly the hardest, longest grind in this prison now. Yeah, okay. That's, uh, that's from, like, the, 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 the garbage, like, of... piles, right? Mm-hmm. I spent okay. most of the day looking to get scrap so I could get uh, flops the shiv. Okay. Yeah, I want to make sure all my boys are always armed with a fucking weapons. shiv because yeah. being in here in this small amount of time, it's like anytime a fucking one of these dickhead I DOCs outside want to fucking search out, it's like you may as well shank the cunt. Like they're gonna fucking yeah. flip the shit anyway. Flops is made for this place. Like he's insane with a shiv. Yeah. All right. I I, hey. I need like a joint. And just chill the fuck out. I get you some. I'll make it cool. All Might right, get the whole prison on lockdown, but I don't care. I just need a joint. Right. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get my bring harder. Yeah, I'm gonna call a fucking old mate to do it. An actual like he's good when he needs to, and there's not that many, so we should be able to sneak some shit in without. Uh, I was yeah. just saying to Eddie here that um, uh, I'm gonna start grinding some shit for him to get uh some fucking some burners sorted because uh. I didn't realize the burners you made in here fucking last forever. Like that shit on the street outside, we can even just give them to our fucking boys to fucking flip. Like that shit's that's so that's fucking what valuable. Used to do very yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, more of it. Yeah, but your <laughs> secret with it, you don't want anyone knowing about it. It's like, oh, he's my secret thing. I gotta know about it. No, well, but, uh, Eddie was the person that did this all for me. Yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm no, gonna go no, sign on, do some fucking batteries. I'll make a call. Um, is there anything else you guys want in here? I'll, I'll get like uh, a bunch of mats. To come, uh, what exactly materials do you need specifically? That would be uh, useful for you. The only mats that really matter would be scrap shivs and uh, aluminum. Uh, aluminum and scrap glass. Aluminum we electronic scrap in our shit. I don't think we ever really used it, honestly. Aluminum electronic scrap and glass. You said? Yeah. 
that's if we want to pump out. Chat, write that down. Before uh, you guys get sent out. Uh, yeah. Listen, I, we need to make sure that like one of us has like a fucking stockpile of fucking. I, I don't want uh, people walking around without being able to defend themselves, especially if we have some fucking newbies yep. flying through here, thinking they fucking own the joint. You know, I wanna wanna make sure they know who's running this shit. I um, understand. I used to do this for everyone in the club. Would have one. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna uh, start getting some batteries, and I'll make a corner. I'll let you know. Uh, outside of that joints. Uh, I mean, we could just get like a couple of knives and shit thrown in as well. Maybe some phones. I'll think some yeah, stuff. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, I'll be out in the yard. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, shit. Hey, hey, wait. What are you guys doing over Man. here? Oh, oh these wind. Yeah, can't... I told one of the other yeah, DOC yeah, 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 the I... other day. These windows are fucking dirty. I don't they know are. who's responsible That's what we are doing. for these fucking saying. windows. Since he's a cadet, I was trying to make him wink the window. Yeah, you should, yeah, like, yeah. I don't know, spit shine, what it's whatever whatever product they're using on this is just, it's terrible. It just stains yeah, the glass. Yeah, they, don't, yeah. they don't know how to wash it. You gotta wash, wipe, then yeah. dry. You gotta dry just, it. it it'll streak. That's what I, that's what I said. So, okay, sir. There's streaks exactly. all over the place. Sir, come here. Yeah. Come here. Hey. Exactly. Uh, all right, listen, we've been staking you guys out for the last 10 minutes. Oh, now, is that man oh. trying to steal your pudding? Exactly. So you're, you're, man you're, you're asking to... me if that man inside was trying to steal my pudding? Yeah, is it like, is he yep. demanding you give him your dessert every no. lunch? Why, does he, does he normally do up? that? No, I'm, I'm just asking, sir. If oh, you're getting no. bullied in here, I'm not you need I'm to let know. Do I look like I'm the type of guy to get fucking bullied? I mean, listen, I'm going to be know. honest. We the guy know. that's sitting down right now with the, with the white uh, cut on, uh -huh. he looks like he runs this place. Oh, well, I mean, he, so, can, yeah. be, he can be a bit of a bully sometimes, but... You know, See, see, that's what exactly. I'm saying. So, exactly. if you need you can us, tell us everything. You we can tell us, all right? Yeah. We're here oh, you want me to snitch on him if he does something bad? No, oh, no, not, it's not snitching because oh, there's a dessert involved. That, that, oh, that's, yes. no, yes. right? The dessert law if there's a dessert, yep. it doesn't count. Exactly. Yeah, that does exactly. not count, sir. Just, just you know, oh, shit. Okay. it's fine. Trust me. Listen, we're here. We want you to rehabilitate. Hey, we want I'll, you to uh, have I'll, the I'll keep an eye out. Yeah, you, you, uh, <laughs> I'll keep an eye out, right? <sighs> you know what I'm yeah. Saying? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Guys. All right. All right you, yeah. Get that window clean because that's, it's horrible. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right, listen up. Need you guys. Uh, I'm going to make a call to get some shit. We're going to do a, a drop soon to get us a bunch of shit. Is there anything you need from the outside? Um, materials, um, electronics. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm getting, scrap. I'm getting all the mats uh, that are, I spoke with Eddie about the shit we use: electronics, scrap metal, glass, aluminium. I want to yeah. get, I want to get a bunch of fucking shivs made, a bunch of fucking. Dude, apparently you can make burners in here. That fucking the yeah. ones that last oh, forever. So, yeah. so, so Barry, yeah. I know That's we fun. haven't talked since the war and all that, but I've broken a deal with the lifers, where uh, Jeb, he is going to. Oh, Jeb's a, I love Jeb. Yeah, I mean, he's going like to sell Jeb. us burners. He's gonna sell his burners at 25k that we can resell for 75k. That. That's not canon. Yeah, yeah, but we keep getting can... fucked with bunk flips, so... Yeah, yeah, that kind of ruined that. So, here's what we need to do. We need to use Eddie as, like, our... So, anytime we have a lot of shit, um... We, what we need to start doing is... When people come in, we also need to get them to take shit out. Um, so that we can start... Strike. Oh, hey, Betty. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. Hey, how you doing, by the way, the Betty? You, you look... You like how's how you feeling? You look, I mean, you look great, but it's just numb. Yeah, you just oh numb. I mean, that's good, right? It's better than pain. I mean, pain comes at night when I sleep, but I mean, I for the most part, I'm doing well. I, there's only so many people in the club can have an edge lord arc at the same time, Benny. Yeah, I, I was going to be edgy, it? but then I was <laughs> like, I, I might be, I might have my crazy arc. I don't know. Uh, someone's already set. on. Someone's already ah, on that God. one too, Barry. God damn it. You gotta understand, I, I lost a limb here. I'm fucking... I'm fucking do anything in this city. Yeah. Um... Also, by the way, if, uh... Uh, apparently, just keep it out. By the way, uh, actually... Uh, can one of you email and see if any of uh, our guys can wake up? There's a few things I want to go through with people in the, the club today. Um... Maybe use the computer, see if you can send a fucking email out to any of BBMC. Either in prison or out, and we'll get them to come in and have a fucking meeting because there's a, a few things I need to fucking bring up that are yeah. I'm a little fucking heated about I won't lie 
So I think we all got got some stuff. To, I mean, like Kaiba and I have been around like every day since we got here. And, um, uh, Kaiba, do you reckon you could shoot an email in the thing and just be like, you can wake up tomorrow? Yeah. Um, and then let me know. I'm uh, I'm gonna get some batteries uh, so they can start getting some burners and shit. I'm just gonna build up on a bunch of shit that you know, can't be got outside. Wait, we we're gathering tomorrow. You said? Uh, no, today. People can wake today. up today. I mean, yeah. Uh, Usually the train's pretty quiet on this fucking day. So yeah. just... Battery batteries come pretty quick too. You can. Yeah, yeah. I just want to make sure we have fucking everything. So because apparently they can only make one of these um, things every. Oh, what's this guy's name? Um, what's, this, what's this guy's name, Mommy? I don't fucking know that Fuck. guy. Uh, Jeb said he can make ah! two. Ah! 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 Oh. Ah! Oh. 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 Are, are you startled by the rolling trash can? Over there, he kicked it. Okay, we gotta be careful. I, I'm watching your back, bro. You're safe. Really? Okay, just yeah. There's a lot of crazy yeah. shit going on here. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna make a call to my my guy. You might know him. To do a drop. So um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. See, so you can get to wake up, and then uh, yeah, if not, I'll just chat to you guys about it. But yeah, try and get some more people awake. Yeah. Okay. Say Barry, say Barry's orders. Wake up, you fucking dickhead! I'm gonna tell you some shit, and then we'll get him to break in. Fucking out of that. Like, Barry's awake, and we're not in lockdown, so hurry up before that changes. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm gonna hurry up before uh, I use this thing. I in the meantime, if you don't know Eddie, uh, I'm sure you guys do because you've been spending all the time in here. Yeah. Uh, make sure you introduce yourself, yeah. all that kind of shit. Uh, Eddie's fucking. This is this shit's right up Eddie's uh, Eddie's fucking uh, lane. So any shit we we need, we might start using Eddie's like. If that if it goes into lockdown, it might just be better for him to you know go straight to the thing and not get searched and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And we use him as a bit of a Eddie, Amelia, and shit. Jeb seem to be pretty trustworthy. Yeah, I've yep. met Amelia, but yeah, Jeb and Eddie. Are Amelia is Finn's uh, prison bay. Why? Prison why? Maiden. Yeah, I don't know. Eddie's the one with hot girlfriend. Prison buddy. Yeah. No, I think it's actually prison buddy. Oh. Of its own. oh, yeah, yeah. It's a bit longer. yeah, yeah. They share a cell. I mean, at so least he's not careful his... with the library. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Like that would be. Yeah. I mean, Conan Clarkson just they runs around holding. Uh... Oh, oh. Hey, Can you say yo. that? Ah. Oh my uh. it. You know what, Kaiba? Damn. Sometimes you're such a. Hey. Damn. Wow. That's wow. It really yeah, I mean, look, really do. It really do. Yeah. It really, it really do. do. Um. Anyway. Uh. Yeah. Uh. I'll be awake for a bit today because there's obviously a little shit we're gonna get. Uh. Yeah. I'm gonna start getting some batteries and shit, and then uh. Yeah. I want us to make sure that every one of our boys always has a fucking shit to protect themselves in. Okay, so. Yeah. Always. And then we, we should start bullying people that come through. We do. I literally stabbed yeah, Kirk and Bon Bon the other day. Like, Barry, this is what we've been doing. I have stabbed so many fucking people since I've got here. Hell, I stabbed three people the other day for kicking Rue out of her wheelchair. I went to AdSeg for a bit oh, for shit. it. Fuck yeah, them up. Shiv is the new bat for him. Yeah. Wait, is there yeah, any DLC right. on? I put down six cops during a breach the first time we held a cell block with a fucking blade. Jesus. Yeah, I've been busy. Blades. All right, I'm going to... Uh, I will well, tell you, the, the Shiv is greater than the ammunition knife. Really? You can uh, you can work much more <coughs> close quarters with it. And you don't feel like you're fucking telegraphing things from seven miles away. Yeah, okay. Um. Yeah. Also, in the meantime, uh, even though, before we have the meeting, just keep an eye out for what people are saying around the prison and stuff and visitation, because there's been a few people that have been. Uh, oh, put keep that thing on your right? Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. The, let, the, let, the, start, the, stocking start stocking up on bricks. Start stocking up on fucking anything that we need for. The shivs. I'll make yeah. a call now to get the the mats we need, and we'll go from there. If they can get a hey, one, one more thing. I don't know if we saw on the LSBN, but uh, Ryan Knight quit. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell. I need to tell TJ that. Oh shit. Um, yeah. Well, so I, I spoke with Ursula. He fucking quit. Dumb fuck. Barry, if they fuck bring in yeah. material containers with materials, have uh -huh. them uh, see if they can get one that looks like a book. Cause that's what we were using for the longest time. Yeah, because if shit goes sideways, okay, yeah. we can stash fuck. that shit in the library. Okay, yeah. We can, that's that's fucking smart. Holy shit. Yeah. 
Fucking Cuban Tom Hanks. Bro, that had, might be like, the smartest thing I've heard Thousands all day. of shit. And it only got lost because uh, the big raid they did on the block. Shit. Wait, can, yeah. you can stash stuff in like the, the fridge as well, right? Like a pizza box. Uh, if you. Uh, it, it, it's hit or miss. Okay. Yeah, fridge is harder, I would okay, think. So the library's probably best bet. But the, yeah, the, the bookshelf. The bookshelf's pretty pretty straightforward with things. Alright, I'll uh, make the call. Uh, I've got my phone on me, so just uh, call me if you need something. I'll be back. Ah! Kaiba, you're probably better than that because I have a shiv on me right now. If I stab someone, they're going to take it from me. Oh, the brick. The brick. Oh, yeah, take it. Hey, Baz, been loving the spicy RP. Hey, thanks, Basil, dude. Basil, Basil, Basil. Uh, yes. Reminder again, chat. Daily, hourly fucking reminder Basil, that Basil, everything that's happening Basil, is in roleplay. Okay, so don't get, you know, um, I'm sure, uh, uh, the guy who plays Nick is lovely. I'm sure the guy who plays Fossey is lovely. I'm sure the guy that plays, uh, Veronica is lovely. I'm sure the guy that plays, uh, uh, also have we fucked with anyone in Cerberus is all lovely. Everybody's lovely, okay? This is all in character to cause a bit of spice to do some funny shit, okay? Oh shit, Dundee don't die. How do you know I'm talking to him? Hey, wait, what? Oh, I'm talking to your father. What's up? Talking, oh, no, I didn't even know. Listen, I need, I need some stuff. Oh, now you want to Dundee drop off, do you, Barry? What do you mean now? Oh, You're the oh, first now, person I always now, call. Now you want to fucking drop off. What do you, you mean now? You one the other day where you're fucking snapping everyone and tweeting. Well, I did as well that day, but I got busy. Well, Okay, what do you need? I could do a okay, drop off. Maybe okay. a hubcap can come along. What's up? Good. Um, oh, I mean, I guess bring my dad, I guess. He's Pick up, old. I'm at a concert. I can't hit shit. Okay, I, I need, uh, I need. Oh, fuck. I want to call you back. Hey, you in here? Oh, yo. Shit, just give me the head. Ah, fuck. All right. I'll hide over here. Have you seen the, you've seen the shifts, right? Yeah, yeah. I need Compared to, uh... to the knives? Yeah. Yeah. So when they were breaching the other block, I took down three of the first breach team just by stabbing them. Yeah, shit. Because right. it know. just fucking... Very, I, I, it scares me how well I'm acclimating to prison, but I want the fuck out. Yeah. All right. Let me uh, let me make a call. Oh, sorry, I thought it was fucking DOC. These motherfuckers. Um. Okay. Here's what I need. Okay. Write this down. Write it down. Number one. Uh. I don't know. Maybe like two phones, just to be safe, just so we have spare. I got two. Phones, no, 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 no. Got it. Write Two all phones, of that down. And the, the part after that. Down. I got, yeah, you, you gotta write Two the phones. song part. I got Two, Two phones. phones, one for the house, and one for the host. So I don't know the lyrics, but okay. look up the lyrics and then write the lyrics down. Okay, uh, number two, I need... Okay, this is gonna sound fucked, but I'll, I'll, I'll pay you for it. I got cash on me, so, I mean, I could oh, even... You you already owe me a lot, but go on. How, what, what's my, what's my fucking, uh, what's my, uh, bar tab at? <laughs> Your bar tab's at 150k at the moment. Okay, that's fine. We'll put, I'm, I'm a fucking billionaire on the streets, D. Okay, I'm a fucking millionaire. Um, listen. No, I don't, I don't want any of the money, okay? Okay, just, uh, just fucking... okay, I need, I need mats. I know that's fucked, but... You need mats! But, Where the but, fuck but, am but, I but, but, get mats? I, I can get you something that's better than money that you can only fucking get in here that I learned about. I can get okay, you... I don't know. I, I, I can't smuggle anything out. I can smuggle things in, but not no, out. no, no, but I can, I can, I can worry about that later, but I can get it to you later as like payment. You know what I'm okay. Saying? I can get you fucking, uh, I can get you fucking like burners and shit that last forever. Not just like the shitty ones. Like the real, th these go for like a hundred K on the fucking street. So you could fucking flip these, sell them. I'm probably gonna get BBMC to fucking sell them to be honest. Cause I didn't realize that this is where they'll come from. I'll, uh... I'll see, I'll see what opportunities get arrive, but okay, so we need mats, so okay, what so, mats so do we need? So I need, I don't even know where the fuck you get scrap metal from on the outside. I got no idea, but scrap metal where is the very- fuck 
I don't know, but you, that's your job to figure out. That's I'm what gut. I paid you for, okay? Scrap metal. We we need an even. I think metal it, have got? Uh, we need like an even amount of each. So scrap metal, aluminium. How do you get scrap metal? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I can ask somebody. I can make some calls if I know. Um, oh, you can get scrap metal down at a recycling plant. Oh, well then, easy. Okay. Also, my na my uh, dad's name is Hubcap. You can't, you, it's been like four years. You still call him Hubcat. Wait, his name's Hubcap. Hubcap. Hub Hub like the cap. Hub no, not cats. Wait, it's cap? Wait, wait Hub hold on. Hubcap. Hub you're telling me that you're, this entire time your name is Hubcap and not Hubcat. I thought you were called Hubcat. <laughs> you're out of cap? Like little cap? So you're fucking... For three years, I've thought your name is fucking Hubcat. Oh, my phone is Hubcat. Hubcat. Pap. Okay. Okay, so I've got to think... Okay, Hubcat. Okay, right. Okay, I don't know how I can do it in the mats, but I can do the phones. What else? Okay, yeah. So, uh, Well, the mats are really important because then I can get you a bunch of cool shit. The, the mats are like... Even if you, like, pay someone to get mats, we need, like, a, a scrap box and you need to put them in that because... Oh, uh, I don't know if you know how to do this, but you can you can get storage crates, right? And if you could, this is gonna sound really weird. If you can make it look like a book, that would be really good. Um, I have the best storage crate for you. I have. It needs to look. It needs to look a... like something that goes into a library because we can stash some shit in here that isn't in our own stash that we can hide in the library. Um, and if it looks okay. like a book, they're, so... they're not gonna look at it. So I've got, I've got a, I've got, what about Blockbuster? Because I've got, I actually have a copy of Grand Theft Auto 6. I'll, I'll, I will send you a photo of what the, uh, of, wait, you have a, have a copy of GTA 6? I have a copy 6? of Grand, I, I have GTA 6. Does that work? Okay, no, but I'll, I'll, I'll send you a photo of what the books look like and just whatever you can to get it close to that. Or even if you just steal one of those photos would be fine. Because I think you can, yeah. Anyway, um, okay. I'll send you a photo of that. I'll text it to you. Um, so I need scrap metal. Aluminium, glass, and oh god, there was one more. Scrap metal, aluminium, glass, uh, electronics. Yeah, those are the four. Electronics. So, so write this down. Electronics. So scrap. Yeah, scrap metal. Scrap, aluminium, glass, electronics. Yeah, perfect. And then um, yeah, and then just like two phones. Um, and then uh, oh, some joints because TJ's been stressed out. Oh, by the way, do you still fucking... Do you still talk to fucking Flossie? Yeah, so today, why? Yeah, she's been talking like mad shit trying to get me killed in here, by the way. Wait, what? Yeah, she... She was like, uh... Spewing this fucking story to one of the Simones that I was talking more shit than I actually fucking was. Um... <laughs> well, but you were I, talking I, shit? I, 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 I don't know how close you are. I remember you used to talk with her like a, a fair amount, but I appreciate you just keeping this between us for now. Uh, I'm not going to do anything to her, but um, yeah, she's been... Ugh, she she almost got me uh, in some fucking shit uh, today, which really pissed me the fuck off. So I'm just going to be honest with you. Um, so yeah. Um, so just something to be wary of if she's asking you like random questions about prison stuff. Uh... Yeah, I don't, I don't know how, you know, how much she really is on the side of people in this prison, I'll be honest. So. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks, Pete. Yeah. Um, so just, just, just to be clear, I'm getting two phones, one for the heli, one for the hose. Yep. Metal container with scrap, aluminum, glass, electronics. And make then it look like a book joints. that I'll send you. Make it look like a book. Yeah. Um, and then just some joints for TJ. And then, uh, I don't know, you could maybe throw in some like cheap knives or something if anything else i guess like that would be useful two phones one for the heli one for the hose material container with scrap aluminum glass electronic joints look like book usual shit yeah if you could get like one gun that would be great like just one would be pretty good if i mean if you're gonna sneak in here anyway get you a pea shooter yeah literally just a fucking even it's the ammunition thing just something with range in case some shit does pop off again just okay. that we can keep I'll be far, in the far gun. away um, okay i've got a cash register you want a cash register yeah, any, anything that's, like, stupid that you would not be able to get in prison, just bring it. Anything that's, like, dumb. If there's anything else that's table? just dumb, I don't know. I don't think I can do anything with a meth table, but, I mean, I would... Why not? 
I'll give you. You don't want a meth table? If it's for free, I'll take it. I'm not gonna pay you for a meth table, but if you're just trying to get rid of it, um, just anything. If just find some other dumb shit that would be funny to have in prison as well that I can just randomly do. That would also be good. Um, uh, but yeah, call. Uh, I have my phone on me, so call me before you fucking do it, and I'll actually. There's only like three DOC that I've seen, and they're all like pretty. Uh, you know, I'm, 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 I can, I can, uh, I can uh, riz the fuck out of them to make them go somewhere because they're all, you know, whatever. So I can make I sure I'm not getting caught with a meth table. Uh, you know, I don't know. I think it's. I mean, it, it can't be drug trafficking because they, they they're catching you with all the shit. So you wouldn't be able to get. I don't know if you'd be able to get. You know, I don't know. I'm not a cop. I don't. Probably bad, but that's okay. the thing. You're not gonna get Just... caught. You're gonna parachute in in the, the darker fucking night in the back, and you'll be you'll be sorted. It's morning. That's hours. That's a long while away. Okay, well, during the day, you'll, you'll just just have a white parachute. They won't be able to see you. You'll be fine. Okay. Or um, maybe I, I might be able to source a grapple gun, maybe. But So give me a bit of time. But, I have uh, a grapple gun. Oh, I mean. Um, that's the easy think. way. What but, else I could bring? Um, uh, joints. Uh, do you know where I can get a cargo bomb? E yes, but I would maybe... I would maybe get the stuff in first and then... If you're thinking about dropping a car in here, um, it would be Air X. Air X is where. Oh my god! What if you dropped in a car that had shit in the trunk? It just dropped. Yeah, it. Uh, it, There's it, no way bang. they don't see you in a fucking cargo bob, though. Okay, here's what. You, okay, here's, I don't give a. Fuck. I like the cargo bob idea, but I actually need the other shit first so I can get shit okay, running. I'll get you the, I'll get you the get shit. Get the other first. shit first, and then when you're in here, we yeah. can plan a cargo bob drop with shit. How in do it. I get? How do I get a cargo bob? Uh, it's like Air Rex. I think I know some guys that I can hit up to see, to. Okay, get for can you. you? Yeah, can you I'll, find I'll, me a cargo bomb. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, and start I'll get to work. Track that down. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Call me when you've got the shit, and we'll uh, I'll, I'll give you a spot. Okay. Uh, oh. Doodles. Last thing. Oh. oh last right, thing. Yes. I, I'm dead serious about this. You need to keep this between us, okay? Can I have your word that what I'm about to tell you stays between between us? I respect what you did for the Sangreen Lion, so sure, you got my word. <clears throat> um, you're fucking with me, aren't you? You just no, gonna hang up, I, you? I'm just unsure if that actually, you know, considering the fucking history we've been through, I it's still hard for me to, you know, believe that. Barry, you know what I fucking did two days ago? Well, well, well I don't know if you know about the whole prison holdout thing, or if we were even there, but. I came in. Do I in tell a him chat about Nancy or like like a small had Wayne piece about it? in the front it? seat with a news camera, and I flew sideways, taking World War Two stuff. I'm not going to say everything, but I'm just going to I'm going to give a brief. To text to Kyle Bread to get info for when they pushed on okay, the outside. Okay, okay, okay. Right? I'm not going to go into details about it, but I will give you this for now because I still need to talk to the club about it. Um, Nancy is very much a uh, government sympathizer. She does not give a fuck about. Um, oh anyone that went to fucking Sanguine Isle, she doesn't give a shit about anything, uh, that went on there. Uh, she thinks it's all fucking stupid. Um, and I have reason to believe that, uh, if my assets do end up getting fucking seized, uh, that BBMC is most likely gonna go fucking blow up Cerberus because apparently they made claims, not even just to BBMC specifically, but anybody in here. Uh, that they were going to try and buy people's fucking assets that go up for sale because of them being in prison. So say BBM, for example, if it goes up for fucking sale because I'm fucking in here, um, that Cerberus would buy it out. And when I asked her, um, I know you and her haven't been close, but she's, you know, relatively close to BBMC for a long time. When I asked her, hey, uh, what would happen to BBM? She said, oh, well, Cerberus is an investment company and if it can make money, they're going to do it. And I said, well, after all we've been through, like, would you even like talk to somebody about it? She said, no, I can't, I can't do that. If Lang decides to do something, um, that it's just going to happen. So apparently Nancy and all the people in Cerberus are just fucking lapdogs, um, that just do whatever Lang says. And I just think it's funny considering all the fucking shit that she used to say about, uh, myself and you and me doing things for you and vice versa that she'll say to me, uh, uh, oh, if Lang tells me to do something, I'm just going to do it no matter what. Uh, which is a major fucking red flag for me for very obvious fucking reasons. So I'm telling you this because I need you to keep an eye out in case she tries to 
do some weird shit to like you or fucking whoever start talking to people because I know she's been trying to contact people from my club on the outside before I can talk to him. Nancy's trying to fuck you because Lang is against is I don't know Lang's stance on this shit. Is he against Sanguine? Lang so Jaeger fucking apparently hates I think they're family, but Jaeger fucking they hate each other and one of the things that they we were told on the island if Harry Lang or whatever were on the island before the sh uh, before the big day, the big D day, that we would have killed them on site. So, I don't know. I, I assume that he's got big hate for that. Apparently, like, I mean, well, Cer Cerberus used to fund like the a PD and shit, and I think still has some like money connections to some part of the PD. I don't know if it's like the LSPD or a different like there's something called like Aegis or some shit. I don't know some like secret police thing but there's i i have reason to believe based on what i've heard that uh they have money it is in their best interest for the pd to do what they want to do so they're on the side of pd versus sanguine if to keep it simple i don't know to what extent but if they're if they're even if they don't buy assets the fact that they're even making threats of that um and that nancy after all the shit she's done for us and we've done for her won't even start a conversation with lang to be like hey maybe we shouldn't take the bbmc shit uh considering you know this that and the other um is i i, I want nothing to do with her then so i just want to make well, sure that you're you at the very me. yeah I, I, I was gonna only tell you a bit but i'll be honest i don't really care if you know the the full fucking thing because i just want to make sure you have full context if uh if she tries to say some some dumb shit but uh, there may be Two some things. things that need to be done once I'm out, so. Well, three things. One, uh, it seems like Lang Buddha has always been a pain <clears throat> in the fucking ass for uh, for the BBMC since Riley Carter was the vice prime minister. Oh, precious Lang, precious Lang. Lang is so many fucking people that just sit, loyally say yes to them, no matter what. Yes, Lang. Yes, Master Lang. Anything for you, Lang. I got you, Lang. I, you it, know, from, from yeah, Riley my biggest thing, it's all the people that talk shit about you know, me doing stuff for certain people or you doing stuff for certain people or my club doing stuff for certain people. But then they'll turn around and be like, if this person says something, I have no choice. I have to do it no matter what. Like, <laughs> I don't understand how they can be on the side of like, oh, you know, uh, Barry did all this shit for D considering, you know, uh, not to bring up old trauma, but I tried to fucking execute you, right? And then they want to say, oh, but Barry will do anything for D when I did probably the, the, the worst fucking thing you can do to somebody in a club is, you know, shoot the fucking leader. Mm. So I don't, I don't understand how they can sit on that fence. But then when Lang comes along, it's like, oh no, I'll do anything for Lang. And my position in Cerberus means nothing. Cause if he says this, it goes, it's like, so literally everyone in Cerberus is just, <laughs> it, it just is at the mercy of Lang. I don't know why they even have, I don't know what positions and stuff like titles they have in that company, but that it, from the way she said it, unless she was just lying because there's more to it, um, it means that all of their titles are irrelevant because if the, the big boss says something, hey, that's how it goes. But yeah, I mean, it's the fucking Even in the, the BMC, if, the, if I say something and the rest of the people in the club are like, I don't want to do that, I'm going to talk to them and odds are if they have a good case, it's going to get fucking changed. Even in the old fucking BBMC. So it's just, it's crazy to me that they can say all this shit but then when it comes to Lang, oh, I'll do whatever Lang says. No, he's the boss. I got, I have no power against Lang. Oh my God. So. I, I, I've only met Lang, I think once in my life and fucking, or he is just some fucking civilian that goes around and runs a business. I don't know how he's yeah, fucking- I don't know. Up. I've never met the current, he, he gave us a bunch of like money ages ago for like BBMC shit uh, when he was like mayor. That's all I've heard from him. So I don't know. The second thing, fucking, now, I don't know if I ever told you about this, but fucking one of the Roosters rest employees fucking shot me over food that I didn't get because they thought I was trying to scam them. And then when I found that fucking, that Roosters rest employee outside of their job, I fucking held him up with bats and then they quickly drove to Roosters rest. Then Roosters rest employees fucking shot us down when we were trying to flee. And then yeah. Nancy Drew calls me, says that I'm antagonizing her and her business. And I said, Bro, we haven't hurt any of your employees. Your employees have fucking shot us down twice. If you're a gang, this is war. And you know what she fucking said to me? Uh. She said, don't fucking come back to Brewster's Rest or I'll shoot you again. Good. Like, she's fucking, she's off the hinge. She says, who the fuck does she think she is? 
She's fucking dumb. Well, she, he, she's just a businesswoman. He, here's what I need you to do. Keep it low key for now. I'm figuring out with uh, my club exactly how I want to go about this, but I, I, I don't need you like alerting her. As of right now, the last convo I had, she fucking like hung up in my face and I'm hoping that she thinks I'm just going to sweep it under the rug, but there's a lot more to this that I'll explain later, but uh, yeah, well, just, she's, just stay she's low key. Not... Don't give her any kind of instance that you know, just be cordial with her if you see her on the streets or whatever, or however you normally are. Um, and then, I, uh, you know, there may be some things Nothing that uh, I, will have a mutual benefit to both of us once I get out of this I fucking never, shithole. I never see her. I don't talk to her. Yeah, well, perfect. I, don't, I talked to her recently because um, I'm currently running a secret storefront that sells everything in the city for $1. <laughs> we're price just price spewing she finds out I may all die. the secrets to each other. Yeah, we're just Sorry. we're just spewing every secret we have. Jesus Christ, we gotta stop. We gotta yeah. stop calling. Okay, we yeah, this is bad. Okay, we're gonna just gonna right. be down for a bye. Don't get my shit. I'll give you. What? Why don't we start a new one together? Just you and me. Oh ben, go, oh, I'll give it to my gang. You give uh... it to your. Oh, my gang's just found me actually. I'll give it to my gang. You give it to your gang. We'll go start. We'll go start the fallen. Sounds good. Okay, maybe when a big wave comes. Anyway, get my shit. I'll call okay. call me back. Okay, goodbye. Bye bye. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta stop calling D. It's, it gets too OC too fast because I think he's a funny cut. Uh. Wait, what did this guy say? Look, I know it's RP, but considering if everything Nancy has done for Barry in the club, RP path surprises me. Okay, what surprises you that when, when Barry, Barry uh, called up Nancy, super chill, and was just asking about Cerberus. She was immediately on the defensive. Immediately. She was like, why are you being so aggressive? When I literally just asked like, hey, is this true? And then when Barry asked if Cerberus had the option to buy Benson's Back Alley Motors, which is a million, multi, multi, multi million dollar company. I would, I'm not even joking. Probably one of the most like successful companies in, in the city in terms of like stuff that isn't an actual something like uwu cafe that's an actual building it's just a storefront um, a it's probably Ooh, one of the most successful storefronts in the city um that when barry asked nancy if it went up for sale would cerberus buy it and she said yes and didn't give a fuck and didn't even offer to have a conversation with cerberus to say no i don't think we should do that is all that barry needs to know about Nancy's relationship to BBMC because that just proves that she's only oh god are we in lockdown Shh. yo what is it no you're fucking goldfish don't forget about the cargo bob and send me the book picture oh yeah I'll send you the book picture now I was yeah, I definitely didn't bob. I definitely didn't forget okay I'm doing it now I'll do it now I'm doing okay it now. Bye -bye. goodbye <sighs> good. the phone's in my fucking hand <laughs> I get this phone out of my hand Bro! Oh, thank God. Um, yeah, so my, my thing is, is that Nancy has already illustrated that she doesn't give a fuck if BBMC gets hurt by Cerberus. And it, it leaves two options in Barry's mind. Two options. And remember, like... Again, when people come in and say, and I'm not, I, I'm not, I'm trying not to roast you for it because you're asking a, a genuine question about character. When somebody comes in and says, Oh, I usually watch Nancy. I don't see how Barry can see this way. I don't know if you know this chat, but Barry role plays based on things that he sees and does. He doesn't role play based on what happens in everybody else's streams that you have perspective of that you can go and see and that you can go and witness and that information you can get. A lot of the time, a lot of RP happens because of miscommunication or one person sees things a certain way that's real life that's how real life works i can guarantee most times in real life most conflict that happens among humans in real life is usually based on poor communication and that's what i like to showcase in rp and that's why i kind of like indulging in that is because i think it's interesting that you can see you, you might watch exclusively from someone else's POV and be like, why is Barry do this? But then you'll come and if you actually watch from like, okay, here's, here's a question you can ask. People that watch my stream a lot, that watch Barry Benson a lot, uh, yes or no, do you think based on what he knows and what he has seen and the conversation he had with Nancy, do you think he's justified in feeling the way that he does 
in terms of Nancy's relationship because of how she acted over the phone? Yes or no? A lot of people will say yes, because why? Because they've seen from Barry's perspective purely. Um, and it's fine if you say no, because they're, sure, there may be context from other streams. Uh, but uh, from what Barry has witnessed, I, I don't think it's unfair at all for him to be like, what the fuck is Nancy doing? The last convo that Barry had with Nancy, they were great. She's texting him every day, calling him bestie. And then when Barry calls up and is like, hey, I have some queries about something. The convo starts off with her immediately being defensive. So Barry's like, immediately like, is there something else to like hide or whatever? Number two, uh, doesn't, has already shown that she doesn't give a fuck about people that went to sanguine and thinks the reasons we went there even after barry said his reason she doesn't give a fuck um i don't know if she thinks there's like an ulterior motive as to why barry went there but barry gave her the genuine reason as to why he went originally it started off with like yeah i kind of want to help out jaeger yeah i want to help out tj with like bomb stuff um, but that isn't the, the, the final reason that Barry got on a boat and went over there, or the plane, or whatever the fuck. Um, it's because he realized that his club, his club was amping up with police, and the, the aggression between BBMC and the police was only mag, uh, getting worse and worse. And he realized that BBMC is going to be in the, the, the limelight of the PD for the next god knows how long, if something isn't done. Um, and realize that if the PD flexes its fucking, uh, flexes its fucking cock on Sanguine Isle, and say they, say the Senate went to Sanguine Isle with all these tanks, all these jets, and there was five people there, Jaeger and like five other people, and they just steamroll them. In Barry's mind, from what he's seen and how he views the PD, which can be skewed, um, because he is a criminal, so this might not be how you should see the PD in this circumstance, but this is how Barry sees it. Barry sees if the PD goes to the island and takes it over with no force, no blood being shed, none of the PD going down, barely any resistance. Why the fuck when BBMC, again, to going back to what I said earlier, that BBMC has been causing more and more and more issues for PD recently, why would the PD be like, hey, BBMC is killing our fucking guys every fucking day over dumb shit. Why don't we just send the tanks down to fucking Vespucci and blow it the fuck up? And I know what a counter argument to that could be. Oh, but they wouldn't do that. No, because that's illegal and there's the laws that prevent it. They strapped a bomb to EMS and sent them into a bunker! So if Barry didn't believe that before, that the PD and the government doesn't give a fuck about laws, he sure as hell believes it after Sanguine Isle because they strapped a fucking bomb to EMS. So there is more than enough reason for Barry to believe that the government would break some fucking laws to eliminate any gang in the city that they deem necessary because they're being fucking annoying cunts. And if... And BBMC just so happens to be one of those gangs that's been an annoying cunt to the PD recently. And that's not even to say that it could only be BBMC. It could be GG. It could be CG. Barry doesn't... As much as Barry care... Barry's uh, forefront of thinking is always BBMC, but he also doesn't want other gangs to have their, their turf taken over by the PD. Because above all else, above all the different... Uh, gang hates or gang likes or gang connections that BBMC has the common enemy among all gangs should always be the PD in Barry's mind the biggest enemy when you put all the gang turf aside all of this it's us versus them and that's how Barry sees it and that's how he thinks it should be and that's why Barry has never had respect for snitches or gangs that work with feds and you'll see once we get out any gang that we have confirmation worked with the PD to help them with Sanguine, Barry will go above and beyond to make sure that BBMC never fucking touches them. Never fucking touches them. Oh, half the people in jail have been snitching. Does Barry know that? Again, uh, I, I don't know why you're saying... Again, I, I think it's a very common thing for chatters to do is use context that they have um, and try and enforce it on my character that doesn't have might not have specific knowledge 
I, I don't know how people can't understand that. I roleplay based on what Barry knows, not what I know OOC, not what my chat knows OOC, not what, you know, the, the chat hoppers fucking know. I roleplay based on what Barry fucking knows. <clears throat> Does that make sense to everybody? Does that clear some things up? I clear it up. <sighs> All right. Wait. But the guy who was asking the the question, um, yeah, I'm not trying to roast you. I'm just trying to give you actual insight. It, it's not the fact that Cerberus has gone and actually done it, right? I, Barry doesn't give a fuck about Cer Barry won't send BBMC to go fuck up Cerberus unless unless they actually do it, right? Barry's not going to tell BBMC let's go bomb Cerberus the second we get out unless they actually buy assets. But the biggest issue that has arisen is that Barry has misconstrued what Nancy's relationship was to the club. and Because Barry knows that obviously Colin's going to be Nancy's number one in terms of the club, right? And that the club was just also kind of there. But Barry was under the impression that Nancy actually also cared a bit about the club and not just because Colin is in it. But based on the conversation that he had um, and the way Nancy was talking about the shit that the club had done and the, sh the assets that we she knows how much work has gone into each of those. Um, there is no reason why Barry should hold Nancy in uh, in a in a in a good light at all. And in fact, like Barry wants nothing to fucking do with Nancy outside of this. And that's what the meeting was going to be about today. If people wake up, is telling them you don't fuck. Nobody talks to Nancy anymore. And I know the 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 RP that's going to come with Colin when Barry says. I don't- I actually- <laughs> That's one thing I haven't figured out yet, which I'll probably figure out once I talk to the club, is if Barry thinks that Colin should still even hang out with Nancy. Because... I'm gonna be honest, she's made it very clear that her best interest- she doesn't give a fuck about the BBMC. Gaza, Gaza. Or anything Gaza, that the BBMC has worked towards. She's only done it because of Colin and their relationship. But you know what Colin is? The VP of the club. So it puts in a very difficult conversation of, Colin, I don't feel comfortable with you talking with Nancy anymore, especially as a VP, because I need to make sure, Barry needs to make sure that his VP uh, is the yin to his yang. And Barry does not feel confident that there haven't been times that Colin may have said something to Nancy or Nancy may have said something to Colin that has affected his opinion on BBMC related shit. And that is the biggest issue. Barry doesn't give a fuck about people outside of the club. It all comes back to the club. That is why this is a big issue. Not because, uh, you know, the club loses a friend or an ally or someone that can make him storefronts, you know. It, it is, Barry always wants to build connections, but he will drop them in a heartbeat if he thinks it's sabotaging the BBMC as a whole. And I think most people in the BBMC would agree uh, to that methodology. Um, the biggest issue is, is that Colin is still, uh, Nancy is still Colin's missus, and he is the VP, and one of the reasons why Barry doesn't have a relationship like that is because... Barry's thoughts on having like a girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, whatever, is that they should be number one. And that that is the art. I'll be honest. OOC, I think the relationship stuff is just not my cup of tea. But Barry's RP reason for not having a relationship in the city is because he's under the mind of like, if you have a person that you want to call your wife, husband, whatever, they should be your number one outside of yourself. So they should be your number two always. Um... And if that isn't the case, then why are you in a relationship? But the problem is, Barry has made the club his number one. Barry is in a relationship with his club. In a weird way. So... Um... That's why his concern with Colin is that if he thinks the same way Barry does, that's a huge red flag, because... Just because Colin has done all this shit in the club before, Barry has been burned so many times, and this is why I make Barry think a bit more aggressively towards this, because he's literally had people in the club that choose people outside of the club, over the club, even after they've been blooded in. If those 
uh, experiences never happened, then Barry would probably have more trust in every single person in the club. Especially his VP. But it would be lying to say that Barry 150%, no doubt ever, will, will believe every single bloody member of his club ever again. There will always be a very, 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 in the deep back of his mind, some kind of doubt that they may one day do something dumb. And it's not unrational for him to think that, in, in my opinion of what he's been through. Baza Gaza. Who? Baza Gaza. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's why Barry's concern with Nancy, I think, is valid, is because... Um, you know, it's going to lead to a lot more. Yo. Hello. Ed, come in. Come in. Hello. Hello. Yes, come. Yep, come in. Is, did, he, did he say something, bro? I can't, I can't hear him. A thick glass. Yeah. Hello. Is it. Are we good to come in? What, what, bro, what does that mean? Do you understand what that means? Are you, I, don't, I don't speak I think, Australian! What does that mean? He wants some privacy, I don't... Yeah. Is that okay to come in? I don't, I don't know what's happening here. Are you okay? Are you oh my fucking okay. god, oh. you guys are so fucking... Oh, what okay. is it? What? What do you want? God fucking... Dude. Yo, what's going on? Yeah, we didn't want to intrude. Yeah. Oh, hey, Root! God, you... You are right with that door? Whoa, watch out! Hey, watch... Don't run over Eddie. Watch out with that. <sighs> yeah, hey, what's uh, what's happening? It's been internally thinking we about here. some shit. Um, yeah, waiting on anyone. Oh, uh, did anyone say they could wake up? Just Rue, and she's here. Just wake up! No one else um, can wake up! Hi. Very, well, welcome, welcome to welcome to BBMC in prison, God. where there's just a few, and we make do. Send another email. Um. Okay. Yeah. Give me, give me like five more ten, and then I'll just grab whoever's here and we'll have a chat. I. Right. Do you want? Huh? Uh. Do you want any of the the hangies that are awake? Oh fuck the hangies. Okay. No, don't ask me if I want the hangies. I don't give a fuck about the hangies, fops. Until they, oh. until they wear that cut, I don't give a fuck about him. Maybe you should email Colin directly. Uh, yeah, he probably won't wake up. He's... Oh. I think he's using my golf course without my permission, so... Okay. Yeah, all right, give me, give me five. I'll send, I'll send an email. Okay. These motherfuckers don't want to wake up for some spicy RP. Doesn't this club like spicy RP? Uh... Oh my god, he's fucking... Where's my club at? Fucking club. <clears throat> fine, fine, you don't get the spicy roleplay with Barry then, fine. We'll just do spicy roleplay with Kaiba. Fucking rude. Fucking Cargo blob. Fuck me. I actually don't. Ugh. Oh, you know what we should get? Radios, actually. Radios would be good. Oh, I've got what? everything you need, uh, including the mats. Oh, I was going to say one last thing that could be useful is like a radio or two, but if, if you're already full, it's all good. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'll get it. I'll get it. Okay. Uh, yeah, if you get, if you if you can fit like four radios, I'll just pay him. I'll give you a cash for him. Hold on. I've got to... I, I, I want to send you something. Is this, is this what you wanted me to do? Okay, let me have a look. Because I think I did it right. Okay. But uh, hold on. Let me just have a look here. So I'm trying to track down this cargo bob that personally I usually call just isn't. I don't know if they're awake. Okay. Uh, what is this? Why is this so... No, that's the... What? No, that's the photo of the bookcase. I need yeah, a that's single that's book. That's what you wanted me to do. 
You no! sent me a photo! I need a single book from that! That is a photo, the photo of the bookcase! You sent me a. You told me you were gonna send me a photo of the book. You sent me the photos of the book. Oh I didn't know which one to use. Okay, so I'll use send you a photo of the of the singular book that I want. God. Okay, I'll use that one. Okay, I'll send it right now. Bye bye. Okay. Oh my fucking god. How do I like do? How do I do this? I need to get, like, the book exactly. Okay. There we go. Okay. I think... I think I made it work. Uh, uh, JB Slater, thanks for 20 months. Uh, sorry, but hopefully that long winded rant gives you a bit of POV from Barry's point, uh, uh, a bit of perspective from Barry's point of view. Uh, Barry has no reason to be like friendly to Nancy right now. And also, she did hang up on Barry as well. Like, mid, like, not e it wasn't even a Benson of like the convo was coming to an end and just hung up a little early. It was like, fuck you, shut up, I'm hanging up. So obviously Barry's not going to be happy with that. Um, Jared, thanks for the nine months. Alexandra B, thanks for the 16 months. Your boy Hippie, thanks for the brand new sub, dude. Um, thank you, mate. Welcome. Annie gifts the sub to Baz's Boiled Chicken. Seth, thanks for the four months. Sar, thanks for the 16 months. Jerk, thanks for the 14 months. Kevin DM, thanks for the 13. Fluff Nugget, thanks for the 21 months. Thank you guys for all the subs today. Appreciate it. Oh, Kufax, thanks for the raid earlier as well. Sorry, I think I missed that. Um, yeah. So, yeah. The, the problem isn't so much what Cerberus is doing. It was that Nancy showed her true colors a bit in terms of her relationship to the club that she doesn't actually really care at all about if they lose something they've spent literally two years on building and something that... Basically, she knows that, like, funds a lot of the club shit. Because BBM makes millions and millions of dollars. So, above all else, Barry doesn't want... Above losing anything else, Barry doesn't want to risk losing income for the club. So, even that by itself is enough. But then if you couple that with all the other shit... You know, Barry's pissed. And rightly so, from his point of view, to be honest. So. Yes, hello. Okay, yo, just making sure, triple checking I've got this okay, right. Yep, Hold on. Yep, send it to me. God, this material is so confusing. Yeah. Is that right? No, that's... No! Why? No, that's you make this not... so confusing! No, that's... Ugh. I don't know what you want me to do! Oh my fucking god! That's not what I said! I'm gonna I'm gonna send you a text with exactly... Oh, okay, here. Hold on. Oh god, how the okay. fuck... Just, I'm gonna have to upload it. Hold on. The upload in here is really bad. Oh god. Fucking hell. I gotta... I gotta make a new... You make this so fucking confusing. Uh, Imga. But I gotta fucking upload it to Imga because this fucking Papega. Okay. Oh my god. Uh. Hey, okay, paint. Hey, okay, hold on. No, I'm waiting. Oh, now I can't even. Oh god. I'm gonna resave it. I'm gonna. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna resave the image that I sent him. Save image. Okay. Okay, <laughs> this is, he's not gonna, okay. Oh. There, there, just do exactly that. Just c copy okay, that. I'll take a screenshot of my phone. Yes, no, don't, no, just save that. Save that on your phone and then use that uh, and then print that out as the cover. Just tap one with your thumb. Like that. Just tap. God, for God's sake. 
Just no. Is there someone else in your fucking the bank boys that I'm has not, used a I'm fucking not printer before? Smart, okay. I'm not technological smart on this shit. Oh my god. Okay. Um. <laughs> I've always <laughs> I'm always half tempted just to fucking use one of these. Uh no, we can't. That would get, get raided fucking instantly. Just. I think my original book photo, because it's like, there's like a whole bookshelf on there. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. Just use that. Use, yeah. Use that. I'm sure okay, it'll no, be actually, fine. Use I would take original. a photo myself, and I'll surprise you when you get to see okay, it. Don't you that sound, okay, that sounds... I trust you to do that. Okay. I'm going to... Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll... Call me when you're ready. I'll start having a look around to see who's... Uh, how many DOC there are. I'll give you a spot. Okay. Goodbye. Okay. Bye-bye. Just spat all over my fucking screen. God's sake. <clears throat> God's sake, this motherfucker is so papega. Oh, for God's sake. Oh. He's just screenshotting what I sent him on Discord. Uh, did Shang say? Did Shang say? Put my camera phone on by accident and sent. <laughs> that is not. Okay. Oh, that's on Barry's phone forever. Oh, it's raining. This might be a good time. I got cigarettes and coffee for you. Oh, shit, I'd love some. Hey, you boys, uh, you boys see any fucking DOC around? I'm gonna get fucking D to do a drop here in a sec. He's gonna. Um, if he's gonna do it, I would. They don't know There's where. One. I don't know where they are, but uh, I would say have him do his, uh, his, um, back, yeah, probably, backyard plan. Yeah, yeah, I'll probably get him pressure in the back. Uh, I'll tell you when it's about to happen, and I'll probably get you to try to find the DOC and just, like, talk to him just to keep him busy. Yeah, worst yeah, case scenario. Yeah, I'll fun. I'll go. Yeah. Uh, chit chat him up. The court case going on right now. They always get pulled for that kind of stuff too. Uh, oh crazy. yeah. Cool. All right, I'll give you a buzz in a sec. Yeah. All right. Actually, let's go sign on for electricity. Uh. Well, better get to work here, fella. Yep. Nothing to see. Nothing to see here. But yeah, I probably shouldn't be doing electrical in the rain. That's probably a good point. Oh well. Ah, Stevie. Hey. Ah. Hi. Ah, fuck. Listen, I need you. Okay. Fuck. Uh. This is going to sound dumb, but I need you to go with Dundee to get into the prison because we need to have a chat. I need all the BBMC. Okay. If there's any other BBMC awake, it's very important. I need to go through some, some shit. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to get him. I'll get him to call you, that. but just, yeah. If there's any other BBMC awake, just give him to Billy and I'm going to. I don't know if there is. I okay. All right. Well, there's, there's, there's a few. Kelly, but I'll I just want to get as many people okay. knowing about this as possible. All right. I'll get him to call you. Right. Okay. Okay, thank right, bye -bye. you. Bye. Okay. Yo, two things. Number one, uh, I think a lot of DOC are at a court case right now, so it's a pretty good time. Number two, um, I need you to bring one more package with you. A what? I need you to bring Stevie with you. How the fuck am I gonna smuggle Stevie in? <laughs> Uh, that's your job to figure out. I don't know, but I need her not like dead because I need to talk with my the, anyone that's in my club. You that's want awake. me to smuggle in Stevie McFucking Lightning Queen? Yeah. You want me to human traffic? 
No, she'd be going willingly. She's going to shoot me. No, I already called her and I told her it's, that it's important. She's going to shoot me, She's not going to shoot you. She's, she's gonna not going to You're being dramatic. You're killing me. No, you're, you're doing us a favor. She'll be... How? Uh, just get How her a parachute. You parachute it together. She's probably great with parachutes, even though I've never seen Fuck her use one ever. Okay. And I think the last time she tried to use one, she died. But so just... Great. So just make Let's sure she does. Stevie fucking despises my guts. So and now you want me to do a fucking parachuting lesson with her? We don't have to talk to her. Just bring her. You can, it can just be an awkward car. Her. Just It can be an awkward silent car ride. You just need to... She, I just don't want to, this... you know... You only want me to bring her because you know that it'd be entertaining for you, right? No, I, I just need that. her in the... Yeah. I need her in... I need her in You're prison because I need... Uh, You're f God damn it. Yeah, I, I need as many BBMC in here so I can talk to them about the other shit. You already, I'm just I'm just becoming a professional fucking smuggler, aren't I? Yeah, I mean, hey, you're pretty good at it. So I'm calling now. Oh my God. Fucking... First you want me to fucking smuggle in phones, knives, uh -huh. that's fucking materials, yeah. fucking... Containers and books. Now we're and the joints. Don't forget the joints. And, oh, and the fucking joints. Okay, I'm buying a second. Your tab is getting real expensive. That's Mr. right. Benson. I'm like a billionaire, probably, unless they seize all my assets and I have zero dollars. But then we'll figure it out anyway. So. Okay. Well, I'm gonna call. It's Stevie. Gotta pick up the phone if I call her. He, uh, wait like one minute. I'll call her, and then you call her. Okay. Just wait like one okay. or two minutes. Get the joints shit first, I'm and then call wait. her. Okay. Right. Yes, yes, okay. Barry. Yes, oh my. Appreciate it, Dave. See you soon. <laughs> hey, oh. all right. Dee's uh, D's gonna call you. I know you hate his guts or whatever, but he's been doing a lot of shit for us on the inside, so he's actually earned a bit of respect in here. Uh, you don't have to talk to him. Just, I just need you to get into the prison safely. So, whatever, whatever that takes. But one, one thing he is okay. good at is getting in here with shit. So. Um, so yeah. Um, also, if there's any shit that you think could be useful in prison, you know, you could bring it in as well. Leave us a little gift basket. Yeah. <laughs> is there anything you need in prison killer? Uh, maybe like a gun or two, honestly. Could be nice. If there's any oh. spare shitty ones around. Otherwise, don't worry. Just get maybe some knives Barry, you're speaking to the one person who, despite asking for three weeks, is oh, like, I, I forgot. Not, I yeah, access to anything. Dumb motherfuckers. Okay, all good. Uh, yeah. All right, maybe just... You can eat people. Oh yeah, that'd be great actually. Yeah, get, get some, just get some weird shit that would be funny to have in prison. I don't know. Hunting knives, okay. fucking whatever you think of. Just anything. Okay, All right, he, he should call you soon and then, yeah, he'll organize with you how to fuck to get in here. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Right, bye. Bye-bye. This is all going to go swimmingly. Nothing can go wrong. Uh -huh. <sighs> hey. Be the new pigeon. I mean, pretty much. Okay. Alrighty, here we go. Oh, fuck it, Bill. Oh, no! Roof fell out of her wheelchair! Oh, no! Oh, no, Roo! Oh no! Fuck it. Oh shit. <coughs> Did he push you out of that wheelchair, Roo? Did we go stab that no, guy? No, Was I'm that him? It. Did he do it? No. No, 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 I haven't seen anybody in the catwalks or in the tower. Um, right, keep it up yeah. now. Um, Stevie's awake as well, so I'm getting D to bring her in as well, and then we'll have a meeting in the library or some shit. I'm going to be honest with you. It would be better for her to just get sent up, because if they find her in here, they will flip all of us, and we will lose everything. Oh, shit, really? Yeah. 
if, if somebody if they have an inkling that somebody like if d comes in he needs a grapple gun out because i don't see him talking his way out of here without us getting all of our shit flipped because they're getting can't, really... can't he just walk out if he's not constrained no they, they would have to they have to let him out i scanned the yeah. roof with my pd camera i couldn't find anyone usually he goes oh my papers are fucked and you know oh, plays it off but do, do we have grapple also, guns anywhere oh, uh, in bbmc maybe maybe uh maybe in a van or something she doesn't but have access i think to doc else. mentioned the fact that like i think it was the warden mentioned the fact that they know he's been in here like six or seven times so they're no longer buying his like i'm lost my papers are fucked oh no okay so here's what needs to happen they need to have a disguise and problem solved in it yeah yeah all yeah, right, tell I'll go tell him to get a disguise. I'll be right back. Yeah. 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 Let me in! <laughs> hey, buddy. Just, uh, how you going? She fucking's not happy, is she? She doesn't want to. No, no, she, no, no, she's fine. She's fine. Just one more small, tiny, teeny little thing. You've got, you've got $175,000 uh -huh. and a human on your tab right now, Barry. Okay, well, um, la last time you came in here, were you able just to like leave? Like when you wanted to? I have to bring in a grapple gun to escape. I can't, I, I have to go in there with a way of getting out, Barry. Oh, okay. How would, how would that work with... Would you be able to grab her when you grapple? Is that a thing? Grab her and grapple out with her? Or is that... Oh! A thing? Because <laughs> she's going to be stuck in here. How's she going to get out? I will do my best. Okay. Well, also, one more oh, thing. One last, okay. last thing, oh I promise. Last one. Last. La last. Uh, Barry, this, this is you... going to be a big fucking shuffle list. This is really no, fucking it's not, big. It's not anything <laughs> more you have to bring. Uh, you may, uh, I've gotten intel that, you know, people know, you know, what you look like and that you've come in here a lot, so you're both gonna need disguises. Of some kind. So, so I need to break into prison and not look yeah. like a prisoner without raising So you need to look suspicion. like a prisoner, but you need to be like a prisoner that doesn't look like a Dundee with orange pants on, and Stevie with orange pants on. Which, but, but, silver lining, Stevie is great with disguises. So you two could probably figure out something that she, she can help you with, uh, with that. So, because otherwise, if they find out that you guys aren't actually inmates and one of the DOC sees you, they'll flip everyone and all your shit will just get taken anyway. So we need to make sure that uh, you're just an inmate. And if they question you, I'll distract them with my unspoken riz while you run out the front uh, with a gravel gun. But if they see your face, or if they see Stevie's face and realize that they're not actually meant to be in here, uh, you know, whole thing's kind of fucked. So, let me get this straight. You want uh -huh. me to bring all of this shit, you want me to parachute two people in at the same time, one of them has never parachuted into prison before and has yes. no idea where they want to land. Yep. At the same time, you want me to wait in prison, in disguise, not get recognized so they don't flip anyone's bunks Will you have a one hour emotional meeting with fucking Stevie and then you want me to smuggle her out of the prison without being caught by DOC. Yeah, yeah. Could... Well, minutes. you could, you know, well, okay. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> I don't know what he's getting all so worked up about. I think it's pretty simple. Okay, just so you're aware, I'm getting them to get a disguise, but we need to be very- Once they're doing it, we all need to be alert of where DOC are, just so we can make sure this goes off without a hitch. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, but chat, if like, I don't know, like, I feel like... If there's no risk with the stashes being flipped, I feel like it's not as fun, so... I, I don't even know if there'll be DOC here, right? So, I think that there should be, like, 
I don't know. I think if we play too smart, it, it, it's kind of like a bit lame. So I want there to be a risk if they get caught. That's what I mean. I think the disguises is fine. As long as they don't get seen parachuting in. That's the biggest. <laughs> My biggest concern is Stevie dying on the way in. That's the biggest thing I'm worried about. <laughs> so. If that all goes to plan, it's, you know. I also think it's just good RP as well, so. We need to make sure that if there's anything we don't want to lose, that we give it to uh, we give it to Eddie beforehand. <clears throat> so, oh, one hour lockdown. Yeah, what's new? What's fucking new? Oh man. <laughs> Have you been enjoying the spicy RP that's been happening though, chat? Harry almost had like half the city after him. He almost had Nancy, Cerberus, Lost, Seaside, <laughs> Terrorists. Harry's not really making many friends in, uh, in prison, I'll be honest. It's weird, I don't know why. Like Barry's being so nice to everyone. He has the Jaeger, yeah. Yes, yes. I mean, I'll be honest, I don't know if anything will come from that outside. I hope some stuff happens, like that we could do some bomb shit or whatever, but yeah, I just... <laughs> yeah. Hey, we met Shang, that's true. We met Shang in prison, that's... That's something. That's something right there. <coughs> Mm -mm -mm -mm. There's actually a lot of prisoners awake right now. It's pretty crazy. I'm just going to start threatening people with Shang. Like, if we get threatened by, like, Seaside again, I'm going to be like, Hey, you don't know about Shang. <laughs> oh, don't make me send Shang after you. No, who's Shang? Oh. You don't want to know. Trust me. You don't want Shang coming after you, buddy. The dragon of the east. Is that what he says he is? <laughs> oh, you haven't heard of the, the dragon. <laughs> Just runs in, gets instantly clapped. Does it actually show where I'm meant to be going? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, chat. Uh, by the way, uh, if you're in the wanted stuff, there should be an announcement in the next day or so for the next video we're doing. I, if you like uh, doing GTA stuff, especially big event stuff, you want to be involved in the next one. Trust me. I've seen some of the shit they're doing for it. It's going to be the best, like... It's going to be the most fun to film, but also the most fun just to be in. Um, there's a lot of, like, mechanics that, that are being, like, built for it. Bro, I got fucking lockpicks. That's it. What the fuck? The elect electrical is lit. Um, yeah. The next one's going to be really fun. And there's going to be a way, if you die early, to still be, like, to still be able to see shit. Like, it's going to be awesome. Like, you're still going to be able to get involved for the whole time. So, trust me. I think it's happening like next, it's probably going to be like next weekend or something, but it'll probably be an announcement in the next like day or so. Dress me, believe me. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I think they're setting up some spectate shit, so you'll be able to, to watch while you're still in game, which is crazy to me, but apparently it's meant to work, so we'll see. Mm -mm -mm. Need batteries. Batteries, 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 batteries. Batteries, batteries. Um, but yeah, should be good. 
Should be fucking good lads. Oh, what a horrible day in fucking prison. I can't remember the last fucking S plus boost I did. Oh, I miss being chased by cops. Oh God, I miss being chased by criminal uh, by cops. Dude, we should definitely do a day where D airdrops like a bunch of cars in the prison, and we do we start driving around them. You know, like in, that would be so funny. Just have a bunch of cars set up near the prison and then just quickly one by one throw them in. Oh my god. Getting the cargo bob is going to be hard though, but it would be so funny. I've always wondered what happens if, say, D lands a helicopter inside the prison. What if I just get into it and fly away? Like, what would even happen? Do I just get teleported back? Like, how does that work? Like, I don't know what, like, the mechanic would be. I wish there was a way to break out of prison. Like, it was, like, really hard, but, like... Like, say you had to, like, dig a tunnel for, like... 15, like, 10, 15 days straight or something. Like, I feel like there should be something you can do that... It just takes... It's, like, the biggest grind of your entire life. But, like, or may maybe you can only dig a certain amount of hole uh, each day. And you have to hide it from cops. And, but if you get, like, 15 days, like, two weeks in a row without the cop finding the hole, you can literally just, like, dig yourself out. And then when you, like, the second you get out, though, an alarm goes off and they know it immediately. That'd be, that'd be fucking awesome. Because then they'd still get the RP of, like, hunting you back down. Um... Dude, what can I use these lockpicks for? It's getting a bunch of fucking lockpicks. Oh my god. You know what I want to try, actually? Wait. This is locked. Now this might be stupid idea and I'm sure people have tried it before but it could be the most five head idea that no one's ever thought of and I'm about to discover it for the first time a secret that none of the lifers know about because they're too prepared to try All right, get your five head spams ready, chat. Nah, no. No, you should be able to break into this. That's fucking stupid. It should be like a house. You should be able to bust this open. That's fucking. That's ridiculous. Maybe thermite. I just, I wish there was a way to open these, like that fucking door. Like, I don't know. I don't know if anyone's ever tried that. Oh, <gasps> I know. What about this door? This place fucking sucks! Uh, I hate prison! I hate prison! Hey, dude, just so you know, um... Johnny Divine is awakened in here. He says he's gonna go talk to TJ. Who's that? Johnny Divine. He was the, the cop that was undercover on the island. But he's in here now. He was undercover. 
Yeah, like the whole thing, this whole thing started. Like, right, what do you mean? <laughs> Wait, what do you mean this whole thing started? Look, like, all of this? Because he was the one that, uh, fucking Knight and whoever put, like, on Jaeger's Island. Oh, like how they found out that the bomb shit was going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's looking for, oh. uh, looking for TJ. How is he's he locked not, up in here, How is he though. not dead? Jaeger didn't kill him. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You are aware of the public execution, right? Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Okay. Okay. TJ's fucked. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. I mean, actually, that yeah. being said, like, I feel like... I don't know, maybe because he's already in prison, but I feel like after you kill someone, they usually do something about it immediately. The fact that no one's, like, really said anything about it is kind of weird. Yeah, prison's weird. Interesting. Um... I tried lockpicking the fucking door into the office. Yeah, you work. can't. You can't. The only lockpicks that do anything in here are the ones that look like spoons, and those are to get out of handcuffs. Hello, where, where are you at? It's fucking. Right it's, now. it's pouring fucking rain and there's no DSC around. It's like perfect time. Okay, we're getting to the helicopter right now. I've got. We're all okay, dressed go, up. Okay, go to like the. Do do the same thing you did last time. Like go I'll from like the, the back side and parachute in. I'll, I'll make sure okay. the back's clear and I'll send some guys to the front to make sure it's clear. We're, we're right. getting the helicopter now. Okay, we'll we'll look towards the skies. Okay, well, well I'll I'll call you when you should look, but okay, we're still okay. standing up. Okay, we're, all right, we're, all right, we're call the last you. All right, all right, bye bye. Also, be at like a, a real level because you haven't been around and, and I can't really go to TJ about my concern. But like, TJ is struggling, dog. I mean, he's been through a lot. It's hard to uh, imagine he wouldn't be. Yeah, well, I mean, he hasn't had his pocket watch since like a few weeks before the war. And he is like, I, I mean, him and I are probably the most awake during this storm. And he has just been very rapidly spiraling slash like in his words losing his own mind so just making you aware of it okay. it's yeah been like i've been trying to hold people together because like i can it has been a challenge mm. but you know here we are all right yeah i'll uh see what I can do. Cool. um yeah the lockpick sets this uh, i've been only talking to lifers this used to be the place like everywhere got their lockpicks from yeah, but yeah, the, the only ones that do anything are the. See, uh, why isn't that still like a spoons, thing? And those like, are, prison can, should be the place where those. you get lockpicks. Why Why did they make it so people can just make them? Yeah. Oh. I got one used battery. I'm going to keep uh, keep doing some electro, like get more. Talk with Jeb. Made him aware of uh, the things. Him and Eddie are going to be working together. And essentially, we could be moving a, a vault cut for the club a day. Oh, I, I want by the time we get out of here, we have a fucking just. Complete inventory fucking burners. Like burners that last yeah. forever are so fu like literally I bought the last one I bought was hundred K outside. Like they, people really? buy them all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Burners well, are Jeb is fucking. Jeb is selling to them to us at like as cheap as he's ever sold them. And realistically, yeah, if we're selling for seventy five to hundred K, if they're making two a day, we will clear a mil plus every ten days for the club. As long as like we can consistently move stuff out. Yeah. But that will be, f and we might be the only fucking plug of burners in the city. Yeah, the uh, la last person I spoke to was Pigeon, and it took him like 30 fucking years just to get Gaza, one. So, Gaza. Yeah. Who? Gaza, Gaza. so imagine if we can consistently get two a day. Money, money, money. That's what I've been doing in here. Yeah. Hustling, man. Also, Barry, I sold a car while in ad seg. Jesus <laughs> Yeah. How was it? I sold a car, uh, a Tampa. I sold it Damn. to a guard that I had stabbed earlier in the day when they breached the unit. Oh. But the best part, the warden paid with his bank account info, so if he ever says we're not good people, we can pull up the fact that he bought a vehicle from us while we were locked up in here. True. Okay. Yeah. Good shit. I'm gonna keep looking for these fucking batteries. <clears throat> Damn, all right. Flop's been fucking selling. It's going crazy. Flop's been going crazy. Uh... 
Oh, I'm so smart, chat. Sorry, I was giving gosh. I was giving custard fucking weightlifting advice. Dude, custard said he's down 16 pounds because the shit I told him about, um, you know, just basic like um, nutrition stuff and exercise stuff, which is a big pog you. I always get very excited when people gain weight or lose weight if it's their like weight goal, you know? Fucking awesome. I went for a jog last night, chat. So I'm jog. I'm not driving to gym anymore. I'm jogging back and forth. And oh my god, my fucking yo. Um. So from the last DOC I spoke to before they clocked off, apparently all the DOC were like talking in the infirmary, and I haven't seen one since. And that was a hot minute ago now. Okay. Okay. Well, I will keep an eye out. Keep an eye out though. Ooh, that's a battery right there. Ah, my leg. Hello! My leg! Ah, what my leg! Is there any DOC in here? My leg, it is very sore. Ah, I stepped. Ah, my leg, I twisted it. Ah, if only there were some DOC in this medical that could help me. Ah! They got told not to help us out because of their involvement with the war. Oh, what? Yeah, pretty bullshit. Fucking pussies! Helping the homies stay fit. Here's the biggest thing, right? I know, like, I know health stuff isn't like everybody's cup of tea, chat. I'm gonna ask you one question, okay, chat? And answer honestly, are you ready? I'm gonna ask you one question, okay? All right, you ready? Would you rather... Would you rather have... 50... No. We'll say, we'll say 20. 20 million dollars, okay? Hello? Would you rather have 20 million dollars... Or... Uh, be bedridden, sick, uh, can't walk, barely see, bunch of health problems, all that kind of stuff for the rest of your life. Which one would you rather have? Don't, you're not saying, nobody is legitimately saying, stop saying 20 mil, you're not saying the 20 mil. Already have health problems? Yeah, but I'm saying like, like you bait, you can't do like anything. Most, most people would say they would rather the health. And by that logic, that means you value oh, your health. There's DOC in the yard and there's DOC out the front in the car as well, talking to the people with the oh, megaphone. Oh shit. Yeah, there's like two in the car, I think, and there's one running in the yard now. Fucking God damn it, he was so, all right, give me a second. No, just I know fucking... there's no one now, I'm underway. No, no, there is people there. You took too fucking long. There's DOC rolled up. We gotta make sure we uh, we distract them. So call me the, like call me like as you're taking off, because I need to get my guys to distract them in the front so you can go in the back. I think okay, like I'll, I'll tell you when I'll tell you when we're positioning. I was okay, just right. fuck. We wouldn't have made it there even if we were click. Because I okay. okay. I'm, uh, I'm getting my pilot to pick me up now, and we're gonna go to position, and we'll okay. hover and wait. All right, yeah. All right, call me when you're there. All right, wait. Okay. You worded it wrong. Look, the logic behind it is, chat, would you rather have health or a fuck ton of money? Right? The answer is health, which is why, like... Because health doesn't just unlock you living, it unlocks you being able to experience life. And coming from someone that knows a lot of people with a lot of money, money does 
objectively not buy happiness solely because of the money. Money allows you to experience life and put you in positions to be happy a lot better than people that don't have money, yes. But money itself does not... The, the pure fact of having money does not buy you happiness. That is... I will die on that hill. You can ask anybody that has ever had good amounts of money, they will tell you. Money equals happiness? No. Not even that. Money puts you in a position to be happy a lot more than someone who is poor? Absolutely, yes. Yes, it does. But money, it's on its own, does not buy happiness. Neither does health. Okay, but if you don't have health, what are you? You're dead. So would you rather be dead or, you know, be able to experience life? Don't, don't answer that if you're depressed, but you know what I'm, you know what I'm getting at. Don't say, don't say you'd rather be dead, but you, you know. My, my point is, is that, yes, money puts you in a position to uh, do things that make you happy and uh, allow you to experience happiness. Absolutely. Everyone would uh, rather be wealthy than poor, as long as you know how to use that wealth. Well, some people would rather be poor because they don't know how to use the wealth, but if you're good with money, you can use that to make yourself happy. Absolutely. But money itself, by itself, is objectively not something that will make you happy. That is, yeah. Isn't true freedom death? I mean... I don't... If that's your point of view, I don't know why you'd want to be truly free. <laughs> Me, personally, I'd rather be alive and not this definition of truly free <laughs> than be dead. That's just me, personally. I mean, maybe some people see that different. <laughs> I mean, I feel pretty free right now. There might be some stuff I can't do, I guess, technically. But I feel pretty free right now. I mean, I can't, you know, go outside and fucking run over a bunch of people with my car. But I mean, I don't I don't want that freedom to do, be able to do that without consequence. So... I mean, you can't know, but he's... he's I'm, I'm assuming his logic is meaning I can't do that because it's, uh... Yo. Count five guards right now. Fuck! God! Fucking two, slow fucking Two in the yard, and an explorer just pulled in with three. Oh, yeah, I already caught him, so we're gonna need- Oh god, this is gonna complicate shit. So, uh, we need to make sure that- go. Yeah, they're all fucking they're clear. Down, we down, can't down, risk you guys getting- five, they, The car had three of them. Okay, so say- Say someone fucking- How the fuck would they- Oh, somebody was fucking dumb outside. I mean, he's on a megaphone, that's probably why. Um, yeah, yeah, that's the only if, reason uh, they if, were probably hiding. Say if they us. parachute in, if if people go straight to that middle section, are they going to get flipped as well? Will it just be everyone, no matter what? Or if they're like... Uh, so if we go straight to the middle section and they have 100% proof that we never, like, were around that person, then I don't think they'd flip us. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking maybe we just get at least one or two of our guys just to... Uh, have anything on them that we don't want to like lose and just put them in case they try flip. Uh, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I found a battery and stuff, so I might just um, give the you a fucking rue or whatever. Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah. Yeah. maybe you two just because, you know, it's, uh, no offense, Rue, but you're in a wheelchair. Um, no, I haven't been flipped once and I've been through that many ra like uh, shut. Uh, oh, just yeah if they come over to you just be like ah yeah. my leg i can't do anything Honestly, I'm sorry. Oh, i'll oh pull some shit out my ass yeah yeah it'd exactly. be real like yeah rue could easily fuck with them with the uh the <laughs> in a wheelchair um rue take I mean, I convinced take, them to eat two crayons take that yeah. shit rue that's just all the stuff i've been finding from electrical right no, but there's no use for like lockpicks, right? I've been fun of lock no, no, no. I used to just give those to Colin for his shop. Oh, okay, like, there's right. nothing. Shit, I gotta, I gotta answer this call. Need to get to a bush. Position. Oh, okay, 
I'm gonna start getting my boys to the uh Right, let me let me call you back. I'm gonna go get him to like distract him now. But yeah, the plan's gonna be like the backside, and then yeah, you're just gonna have to fucking try and blend in, I guess, and hopefully they don't see you. Okay, well I've All got right. my grapple gun. I've got you a gun. Oh I've got right, you're gonna I grapple. Need. So where are you gonna grapple? I think you're gonna. Oh wait, no, you're parachuting in first. And then I'm, parach I'm, yeah, I'm parachuting yeah. in. I'm, okay, yeah, par yeah, yeah, parachuting in. Parachuting All right, in let me go get my guys. I'll, I'll be waiting at the back for you. I'll get go, go get my guys to distract. Oh, there's one on the fucking catwalk. He's in the middle right now. Oh god, this guy's gonna be the annoying one uh okay i'm gonna start getting my guys to distract as many as they can one's like in the center i don't know where the fuck they it's like they fucking but they knew one's in like the center block right now he's looking towards like the cafeteria uh all right give me give me one sec i'm gonna go get eyes on the others and i'll give you detail on exactly yep, you let me know all right, I'll call you right back. all right so all right chat we need stealth it's stealth music, hold on. It is stealth. Boss. Yeah. Just so you know, some shit's about to uh, go down. We're trying to get some people to drop some shit off. So uh, if you have any shit you don't want right. to lose, I would uh, I'd recommend just uh, you know, getting in the fucking little cage or whatever. They're probably going to be uh, heading towards the back. Uh, the only issue right now is that fucking uh, that you see in the middle fucking catwalk. But oh, yeah. Okay. I try to that bitch. Uh, yeah, just, just give me a heads up. All right, thank you. <clears throat> All right, they're, they're ready to go. Oh, fuck, that DOC in the middle fucking catwalk could cat be a fucking yeah, issue. Yeah, I, I saw him, yeah. Um, oh, shit, if he's running this way. Oh, shit, I don't think there's any further back, right? If this DOC comes, like, further down here... My 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 issue is where are the other two? The, he came yeah, in with two others. Try to clear the front real quick, but uh, just try keep, try and get as many of the inmates to be on this side of the the yard, just so they're like looking yeah. over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm gonna keep working to get enough for that head of the table so you can hide at least one thing, whatever it is. Because they're um they're, they're ready to fucking go. Out. The fuck you think like causing you like a anything? fight here or something would get them to come down? I know they don't really give a fuck. Um, we could uh, uh I mean, somebody down needing medical would at least draw the attention of it like one or two okay maybe uh maybe you start off yeah, maybe, maybe uh when i give you the go ahead you start a fight here just with one of them and just fucking just you know knock, knock them out a little bit just so to get them look down here just give us enough time to fucking yeah, yeah, that yeah, might yeah. be a good time i right, just do whatever you can to distract them on this side of the yard i'm gonna go over and yeah. fucking just tell them to send it so just do it do whatever okay. you think you can on the side Yo, I need you to go to, uh, I need you to go to fucking Eddie towards, like, cafeteria and just do whatever he says. I just need to cause, like, issues over there. We're gonna try and get someone in the back here for us. Okay. So that, yeah, they might try and do some shit in the back. Just stay on that side of the yard. Roo, stay over there. Stay, stay towards the front. Yeah, perfect. I think yeah. now's your best shot. He's off the he's off the catwalk. Okay, he's coming, towards the coming, front. Go coming. towards the back. I'll be waiting for you, okay? We're coming out. All right, go. Kaiba! Kaiba! Kaiba, Kaiba, go to, go to, go towards the front, Kaiba. I need as many inmates near the front because they're gonna come. Uh, they're gonna come in the back here. So I need you as many just to be right. near cafeteria. I'm just gonna hide back here and wait for them. Just try and just be loud and obnoxious towards the cafeteria.
close it. Oh god. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh shit, get over here, quick. Hey. Where the fuck is Stevie? Talk in a minute. Oh fuck, I can't carry it all. It, it, I gotta take I gotta get some help. Uh here yeah. Uh can I look? Yeah, look now. Okay, take the rest, take the rest, take the rest. Knife. Uh Um I mean this in the nicest way possible. Uh-huh. Stevie's parachute failed. What? She's, what do you she's mean? dead. She, she, she bailed and then she she didn't pull a shoot and I don't know why. Oh, I told her how to pull God, it. We went go God with it. Went, we practiced. We practiced. Fuck it out. We practiced. Where is she? Fucking, she's by the, I don't have a phone, but she's by, the boys would have seen it. They, they, I, I was with people. She, she would be seen, but she's- She fell with the parachute. I, 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 on, let's I, get I inside, come one. on, follow me, follow me. God fucking damn it. God fucking hell. God sake. All right, get, get in that cell block. I'll be right there. I'm just going to tell them that we're good. Oh my god. Fucking hell, Stevie. <laughs> How do you fail the parachute? Uh, hey, oh, hey, hey uh, Cle Cle Clev, uh, Clev, Clev, Clevon, Clevon, I actually remember that, what that's up, actually pretty good, yeah. Hey, you're doing really good at remembering names. I'm trying Proud to get you. better, it's actually. Hey, what's my name? Uh, Ninja. Uh, uh, you're not seeing enough movement, Barry, you're not seeing enough movement. Okay, that's not my name, but. Give me something it oh, rhymes with, give me something it rhymes with. <laughs> <laughs> That's why oh, I just got that. Yeah. Oh my god. Incredible. Mets. No, nah, I see no resemblance, oh, man. You're... Neff. No. Je oh, Jeff! Steph. Yeah, there you go. Oh, hey, Jeff. there it is. Uh, Ed, it's can shit. I uh, talk to you for a second, Ed? <sighs> yeah, we're, uh, we're good, by the way. Good shit. Uh, he's, in, uh, okay. he's in one of the cell blocks, so I'm just gonna... Uh, I'll just put in my shit for now, but uh, yeah, get, just... Just keep him talking for now until we... Yeah, yeah, yeah. ...need to get him the fuck out. Fucking Stevie didn't fucking make it in though. Apparently a parachute failed. So oh, I, don't, I don't know oh. if we're gonna try and redrop her or what. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this shit away, uh, and then, uh, I'll probably give some stuff to you just so you can hold on to it. Spread yeah, it out to whoever. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, alright. <clears throat> oh, fucking Stevie! God damn it. Oh, fucking hell. I have no... Oh, it's 15. Is she okay? Well, she's probably fucking dead somewhere. The skies, oh. by the way, you look great. Thank you. Just come down here. I've got toys that you wanted. Yeah, this is good shit. This is real good shit. Okay, there, so the, the, do you see? They did perfect. They're currently in the front, uh, right next to like visitation. They're just keeping them talking right now. Okay. Um, so, um, but that, I, I still need Stevie. What the fuck? I, fucking I, 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 
I went through it with her and everything. Like, I was like, okay, this is how you pull it. This is how you jump. This is where we're going. Wait, so she, did, did she jump first and just instantly, like, just keep falling or what? Well, I, I told her to follow me. So I jumped first and then I pulled my shoot instantly. And then she followed. She was right behind me. And then she just never pulled the shoot. Oh, my God. God's sake. But she was with us, like, I guess, take two, right? A slushy. I'm very hungry. I, I can I can get you some. I just gotta put this shit away for I'll get you some. Um Okay, well I fucking oh, maybe I'll just tell her to get a rest or something. Do I do, do, I do the No we'll come we'll come back. We'll, come, okay. we'll try again. I'll get I'll I'll, I'll practice with uh, you don't Fuck even it. like you could you don't even need to go in with her at this time. If you like just fucking send her in, like then just make sure she's heavily disguised. She, she should be okay. She doesn't know where to land. I can teach her. I'm happy to teach her. I'll just go back out. I mean, like, my, do, like, do whatever my fucking, you need to. The, like, this the is best. good. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Um. So yeah, they're in the front of visitation. So I don't. Is there a way out the back you can go without going out front, or is the front easier? Uh, front is easier because okay, we can. One I can. Shot. I can get them into visitation. Just uh, I'd, I'd maybe throw on a shirt just in case they recognize your tats, and then maybe they'll just think you're just some random crim coming through. We'll get them into visitation, and then the second you think you're good, just fucking zip out. Um, okay, I'll go find Steven and then take two. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, you don't have to parachute in with her if you want. You can just like get in the, the chopper and drop her off and just make sure she gets in and then call me if it goes bad again. But unless you want to fly in again, but it might just be easier to just throw her in. Um, but yeah, no, this is good shit. I'll, uh, I'll make sure this, this gets it. Okay, What also, what is this fucking material container? What is Lee? Lie Barry. Well, you, you want it to look like a book, so I thought I'd bring a whole library. It's, it's, it's a whole fine. library, Barry. I'm sure there's a couple printing machines in here. Anyway, all right, that's fine. Um, Okay, we just got to make sure we get you out without them recognizing. I mean, you don't look I like D, fight. but your tattoos might get them to look at you different. Uh, one of the DOC well, out front is corrupt as fuck and is like on our side, but the other one is probably a bit more legit. So. I need, well, I need a phone because I need to contact someone to pick me up. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can just take one of these. That's fine. Uh, just, just take oh, that. Go, one, one spare is fine, honestly. Oh, turn that fucking thing on silent! Yeah, you can't! You're gonna get us all <laughs> fucking <laughs> buff left! He caught me in! Put it on silent! silent! It's on silent! Okay. Yeah, what's up, make sure, Tommy? Make sure you're whispering. They see one phone yeah, in I here, they flip the whole fucking did you, did you get her? Okay, make sure she's all good. I need someone to pick me up at the front of prison. I'm gonna smuggle myself out. Can't believe Dante got Stevie killed. Okay, okay, yeah, call me. W what's up? I said I can't believe Dante got Stevie almost killed. <laughs> what would the PBMC say that... when they hear about this? What would, what would, bro? I'm joking. I'll copy. One time, one yes, good yes, terms. Yes, I swear yes. to fucking god. I'll make sure it's fine. Um. Okay, so what? What's what's the go? You want me to get him out of the front yard? Do you? You get on like the cafeteria roof and then go across, right? Barry, I'm about to be inside the infirmary if I do not receive a slushy. I am starving to death. Okay, okay. Uh, well, do you want to risk I will be coming? Okay, I'll just bring it back to you. I'll be no, right no, back. Just... I'll... Yeah, 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 I'll bring it back. Make this one my fucking cell. My cell. Holy shit, this is what we like to see, boys. This is nice. This is what we like to see. Holy fucking joints. This is fucking nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I have slushies on me. Take it after all. Yeah, we're, we're good, we're good. So keep it on that door for me for a sec. Like the, the front door, yeah. Thank you. Guten Tag. Yep. All right. Oh, okay, 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 okay. How many more years you got left? 20? I don't know. I'll go check today and I'll let you know. Probably something like that, though. Okay. Um, I will go make sure Stevie's okay. She's at Grandma's right now, okay. so she's safe. I don't know if she's dead. I hope not. Uh, I don't, like, if I'm going to come back in here, do I... Oh, fuck. Yeah. Yo. 
I'm going to be coming out visitation side. I'm working on a plan now, but basically you're just going to wait there and you're going to be somewhere by the front and watch for me. Yeah, I know there's a lot at the front. Can't she just grapple in? We don't have a, I, another grapple guard. I cannot get out she has through access. the back. Just two. I get in, but I can't get out. It, it, I, don't, I don't have enough grapples. It would take me three grapples to get out, uh, but I need to come back in. Again, we're, we're doing a take two because we, we didn't get Stevie in. So I've got to come back in and I'll need a grapple to get her and I out. Yeah, and the best way to do that is through the visitation, uh, which I can do. Listen, what, what you can do is... Exactly. What you could do, you, oh, could, do, you up, could just, uh, you could just, if you, if you're heliing again, you could just get her to parachute in solo. And then once I'm done talking to her, I could call you and then you could be ready to escort her out or something. But she doesn't know how to get in. Oh, okay. I just don't want you to have to wait for like, you know, 40 fucking minutes or whatever while we're talking. You know what I'm saying? Oh, don't worry. I can listen to the whole thing. Okay. <sighs> this will be a bad time. To how many out the front? Yeah, uh, the what? Okay, so I feel like if he listens in, he's gonna use that against us at a later point. <laughs> I'm just gonna be real. Okay, so yeah, they, they were a distraction. The, uh... uh, how the fuck? Okay, well they need they need to now. I... Can't see if he gets sent to jail. That's so actually it's actually up. harder to bait that than you think. We can like just get on a roof and just go above them. Yeah, that's true. I don't want to flip any marks. Uh... Look, I can go organize to make sure I can probably get them in visitation and then you can just go on the roof. You should be fine. Okay, go drive around. Barry's going to try and get him to move somewhere else. I'm going to be waiting Baza a cell. Baza Gaza. Okay, see you Baza Gaza. Who? Baza Gaza. I think it's gotta be my plan. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm only gonna get one shot, but. Yeah, Barry, Barry's got to go move them. I want you to go get some intel and call me back. Yeah, bud. <clears throat> yeah, go, go get them somewhere else. I need to be able to stand on top of the cafeteria. Okay, and then you're you're grappling to what? The visitation roof, right? Yeah, I think so. Right. Benny! Where's my whistle? Is it F5? Oh, now actually might be a good time. Oh my god, a cop car. I haven't seen a cop car in fucking ages. I think there's uh, someone meeting us in visitation. Can you come over here for a sec? Yeah. <sighs> okay, so now we just need to get him the fuck out. He can grapple out, but the problem is that the spot they're in is like the worst spot for him to you know, get on the cafeteria and go across. I'm wondering if we can maybe like either get them in the whatever's easier get them like in the cafeteria and maybe just be like hey like show us your favorite foods or whatever or get them in visitation we just need them in one of these buildings so they can't see directly above it'll only take literally like three seconds for d to get on the no, roof no, I, go across I, I, but I know, I, know, I know how that goes um yeah yeah we can figure something out it might take a second yeah um yeah maybe just try and get him in the cafeteria and just be like something to some kind of reason to get him in there and then he can 
Just get on the roof while they're in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll figure something out. <clears throat> Be careful about that corner. Oh, yeah? Why? Uh, if Take you, you do a demon world? Corner, um, no, local DOC will black bag you for no particular reason. Oh, God, okay. Yeah. The corner of that wall isn't in the prison. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, hopefully he's a good one. He's actually one of the good ones. I'm, I'm kind of glad. front so the two doc are directly at the gate that walks into visitation i've got four guys with them now we're going to try and get them to go into the cafeteria for some reason I'm, i have eyes on them now i can tell you exactly when they go in you need to start uh maybe start walking over to the yard and just be ready because when i tell you to go across you need to be able to go across within like like 15 seconds basically let me let me let me get the composition and call you back hold on yeah Should I text it? I just want to just text like get DOC in cafeteria. Yeah, we're lurking boys, we're lurking. God damn it, if Stevie just landed in there, we would have been good. Fucking hell. Penny, Penny, psst, Penny, Penny, Penny. Yo, I need, we need to get those DOC into the fucking, oh, hey. We need to, uh, we need, we need to get those DOC into the, uh, the cafeteria somehow. Jumping them? Uh, no, we're not jumping them. No. We just we just need no. them. Uh... Uh, uh... He's gonna show them around. It's just because the, the guy on the left side is new, so he's not. He's gonna do a walk around with the prison right now. Yeah, he's he's uh, he's working to do it for. He's just fucking taking his sweet ass time. Oh, like, well, they're talking something too. Shit. If you can get if you can get them to go do other things, he's gonna do that. Give that guy. So, wait, so they're not both going with him? No, no, that's a cadet. So, yeah, you got to Clavon's see going to give him a tour, but he, Clavon's talking to everyone over there. Oh. And Clavon will keep talking, because that's Clavon. Well, here's what you do. Just say, like, hey, guys, there's a pizza party, and then just get all of our guys to go into the cafeteria, and then maybe Clavon and that will follow him in there and be like, pizza party, guys, and then just fucking just give him a bunch of pizza or some shit. All right. Right. Just get make some food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, me, let me make some food. Okay, alright. <laughs> Pete's party! Everyone loves pizza! <laughs> Baza Gaza. Ooh. Baza Gaza. Attention! The pizza party will commence in five minutes. That's right. The prisoner pizza party will commence in five minutes. <laughs> it's working! Come on, 
you son of a bitch. Go inside. Stop talking to him! Who is that? Stop walking outside, Flops! Oh my god! Oh my god, answer me, you dumb fuck. I'm fucking moving, cut! Get, get to- Ready, ready, ready. Come on, go D, go. <laughs> oh my god, is this the pizza party? Pizza party, uh, I, I'm yeah. Out of oil. I love pizza. Oh, oh, I'm gonna go get all the other inmates for the pizza party. Pizza party time. <laughs> can't believe that worked. I can't believe the pizza party worked. Shit, Eddie, we're good, we're good. Good fucking shit. Everybody can have a grinder slice. Actually, if you can keep them in here for a little longer, I might be able to get the other shit in here while they're in here. Of course, of course, enjoy. Just, just keep them fed. You guys want some more? Grab some more. We're gonna get everybody in here for the pizza party. Where's everybody? Let's get the pizza going. Oh, if, you, impossible. If, if, if you go fast, I can keep them in there. If you're if you're really fast to get like a parachute and shit yeah, sorted, yeah, 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 yeah. we can keep it and just go straight to the back, huh? Yeah, yeah. Apparently, there's a pizza party going on with DOC something. We're it's gonna work on that. It's a fake pizza. It's not a real pizza party, you dickhead. Oh, oh it's not. It's that's what I, That's the distraction, you fuckwit. <laughs> get Stevie a parachute and parachute okay. in the back. Okay. Fast. <laughs> just do it immediately. Just now. Go, go. <laughs> there is no pizza party. What's that? Are you gonna not fuck it up? Oh, what's going on here? This is it's meant to be a pizza party. Now we're flipping each other off. Just get their info. No, okay, I'm, I'm training him. I'm helping him be trained. Oh. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There How long it is. do I got? You see it? Yeah, um, let's see. 45,802 months. Nope, nope. It's going to be the one above that. Oh, 27,464 months. Hey, there it is. Hey, we're like halfway there. Hell yeah. Not Hell bad, not yeah. Bad. yeah. It. Okay, Wait, I, okay. I got some more slices put on the counter. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm gonna go get the last so the, guys the for the pizza the... party. Pizza party, guys, come on! What'd that barrel ever do to you? <clears throat> pizza party in the cafeteria! Pizza party! Everyone's having pizza. Great time. Great time in the cafeteria. Yo, last Yo. thing, there's four DOC in the cafeteria. I think that's all of them. So the second you can, just go in the back straight away. We're just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm literally yeah. just gonna stand in front of the door. Just go straight we in the back. We have the helicopter. And then run, yeah, 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 run yeah, yeah. into like the cell block you, we were just in and hide in there. Like go in there immediately and then call me when you're there. We have the helicopter, Stevie's changing clothes. I'm just getting parachutes. Okay, yeah. So just literally parachute in straight away unless I tell you otherwise and go straight into that cell block and then just tell me when uh, you're in there and I'll, I'll come over. Okay. Okay, bye bye. Oh, fast, 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 fast. Right, chat. We're gonna we're gonna stand we're gonna like stand in front of the door like nonchalantly to try and keep them like feel like they're trapped in here a little bit. SOS, thanks for the gifted sub to Lisa for 15 months. Rolly rolly, thanks for the 11 months. My apples. <laughs> 
Why? Yeah, real good. I'm going here. Hey, hey Kaiba, Kaiba. Right oh, you crazy son of a bitch. Maybe we should get some, you, they, you reckon you could do some like very light pizza party music? Yeah, you know, just light it up. Yeah, yeah, smoke yeah. Pizza. Yeah. 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 Like what? I don't know, just a... No. Just like a... No. Da 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 But like that, but not copyrighted. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Finding not copyrighted stuff is... That's the trick. Put on, put on uh, in my strat. Um, in my strat. Uh, sorry. The lock pick, that one. I actually haven't heard that song. It's a little spice, but it's not bad. Yeah. It, 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 it's pretty it. good. It's pretty good. It has that like nice heat to it. Also, the sound come, come, here come, is not. Come, not come here, here. Kyber. Come with you. Really hot pizza. <laughs> Fuck! I regret that. I regret that. God damn it. Wait, what would you put? <gasps> I know, I know, I know. Oh shit, Rude, you, you need you guys to grab, grab a slushie, Rude. Oh, no. Just keep out of these doors, okay? Just for a little while. Yeah, yeah, listen. La my okay. listen, my Hail Mary is I'm gonna. I, I fucking unplug those slushie oh, machines. You, that, that'll that'll, that'll oh, have them. If, if it looks like they're gonna. If it looks like they're gonna fucking dip, just like yeah, fucking yeah, fake a heart attack or some shit. We just need a little more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say the slushie okay. machine. Okay. Yeah, keep them in here. I'm gonna go get more of the gas. Where the pizza party at? Pizza party! Pizza party time! God, he needs to come now. It's literally the perfect time. <laughs> it's actually the perfect fucking time. Keep this area clear, chat. <clears throat> I love that everyone's going along with it. It's so funny. <laughs> All the inmates are like, Pizza Party! <laughs> You weren't thinking about leaving the pizza party, were you? I thought you had my pizza. But, oh, the pizza's not good enough for you, huh? You know, like pizza I parties? I ate it all. Yeah, well, you've had the pizza, the now it's time for the party. Pizza party. Nighttime as well. This would be perfect. Is it gonna be a meeting? I'm try. I'm trying to get Stevie in here so we can have the meeting. But <clears throat> I want to have this meeting. I I don't know if we can have D there though. As much as OOC, I want him to be there for the spice. I I just think him not because I like if there's anything brought up about Colin, I don't want him using that later down the line to like manipulate the you know. Uh, I I don't want Colin to be like villainized immediately, like. You know, I don't want everyone to immediately be like Colin's the bad guy because he talks to Nancy and Nancy's the bad guy. Um. So. Oh fuck. Just, up just, the yeah, now. just giving you a heads up, they, they're outside of the cafeteria, but they're still like, they're at like the bookshelf right next to the cafeteria. So I'm, I'm just going to keep him in that area, so uh, you should still be safe. I'm just going to keep him down this side. Okay. So uh, just try and land as far deep in the prison as you can. We'll keep him down here. It should be fine. I'm going to land I'm gonna land in the same spot I always do. I'm bringing more phones. Yeah, okay, perfect. All right. All right. I'm, you think? I'm in the helicopter. We're yeah. all ready. I'm just filling up, but we're on the way. All right, all right, all right, mate. I'm 
Uh, we have two in the infirmary, and we have the other two that are just kind of over there. Um, if you can just, yeah, if you can just keep them, it doesn't matter if they're outside. If it, you just, just do your best to try and keep them down here. Don't be like too heavy. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'll, I'll, I'm, keep, I'm gonna keep running around side, so I should see them if they move down there. But it's just, oh, okay. Yeah, if they're trying. doing this, they need to do it like. Yeah, they're 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 already on they're on the way. It's okay. just. I'm, I think when they come out, I'm going to offer them to, like, help him do, like, cuff practice or shit like that and yeah, just yeah. fuck around with them. Um, I've got a bunch of shit I can give you guys after it. So. Yeah. Shit. <clears throat> Dude, the boys are killing it. The boys are killing it. Our job right now is just to make sure no DOC fucking come down this way. Hey, we're just doing push-ups in the yard. Just doing some push-ups in the yard. Hopefully this chick doesn't snitch though. That's the only thing. Right. They get caught bunks, we get flipped. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how these DOC work. It's very possible they still might. need them to stay down there a little longer. The only thing that's gonna fuck us is if Stevie fucking forgets to pull her fucking shoot again. She can literally land anywhere in the prison as long as it's not fucking in max sec. If she does, then I'm just gonna get us all put in max sec so we can have a fucking a meeting in there. <clears throat> Yo, ad. I'm in position. Am I coming? Yep, send it in the back, in the back. The same spot as always. Okay, okay. Nice. Okay, on yep, the way. Send it now. Bye-bye. All right, here he comes, Chad. <laughs> oh, God. Pause, champ. Relatively empty, should be fine. It's fucking full fresh cigarettes. Come on, Stevie, you can do it. Come on. Stevie. Fuck, I wish I could radio to the other boys. Oh, fuck, is that a DOC out front? Oh, God! <laughs> Bro, she's way too fucking high. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Get over here. Come on. Follow, just follow me. Follow me. Come on. Quick, quick, quick. This way. No, no, no. Oh my god. Get in, get in, get in. I feel like I was in. just here. Get in, get in. Get in, get in, get in. Get in. Just go in, go in, go in. Jesus Christ. It's fine. Just get in. Just get inside. 
Then, uh, okay, uh, go in the library. Go in the library. I'll, I'll get the boys. Okay, we're good. That was actually pretty good. I need you to do one one at a time. Um, you can you can be there for this. Uh, like uh, but one at a time. I need uh, That's a get all the BBMC to head to the uh, to the library. Okay. okay. Yeah, just don't all go at once because they might like follow you and be like, "What's going on?" Just, um, uh, Kaiba, if you want to get everybody, I'll finish making food and then I'll go last. Yeah, just have like at least like thirty seconds like spread out each and just Hello, over there. Yeah. Um, it looks we'll, less we'll be, you yeah. gather the yeah. people out there, Kaiba. All right, we'll be waiting in there. All right. <sighs> yeah, we can have Eddie, it's fine. He's helped us out a lot. <sighs> this prison doesn't have cameras. It might, but I'll have to check. Oh, hey. hey. You see Can two you people running here? Uh, yeah, they gave yeah, me like just 10 fucking phones. Wait, where did they go? Uh, they went to some cell somewhere. Okay, uh, we might have a chat once you're done with, um, friend here. That's some, yeah. some issues that were just getting everybody to slowly make their way over. Of so course. Just, issues. Uh, yeah. All my yeah. fucking day. <sighs> issues. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, where the fuck? Hey, Stevie! Stevie. Oh, you're over there. Alright, you're just prisoners now. It's fine. They, they shouldn't recognize you. Okay. Um, Alright, well, good shit. You fucking made it. Here, this is for you. Oh. Stevie. Oh. It, they've got hammers. <laughs> There's one extra little thing in there other than hammers. Oh sh Ooh, okay, say less. Um the M Okay. Mm -hmm. Um uh, for the for us talking D, I don't know if you could be there for it. Not that you don't know what I'm saying there, because oh, I've already worry. filled you I'll, in, but I'll mingle with the rest of the prisoners. I'll I'll make it do ah! Uh so you either wait, 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 before you God. before you uh, oh, oh. Um, it's either, if you want, we can help you get out first, unless you want to wait until, um... I don't have another I... grapple gun. Oh. So, like, it's this, or she's stuck here? Yeah, okay. Uh... Yeah, would you be fine doing that for, like, I'll, I'll try and make it fast then. I just want to fill them in. Basically what I told you, I'm just telling them, but... You know how it uh, goes. I'll, I'll mingle, but I can't guarantee me not getting spotted. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean... Because I'm... Here's the thing, right? If if something else happens and a lockdown initiates, it, Stevie got to run to me ASAP. I'm not waiting around. Okay. Um, if that's the case, if a lockdown initiates, I'll I'll tell Stevie to run to cafeteria immediately and just look for her. Okay, that's um, the plan. If yeah. lockdown happens, cafeteria yeah. ASAP. Um, I'll just be careful about the tats. They might recognize you by your tats, so it might be worth throwing on like a one of these shirts or some shit. It's up to you, though. Nah, I'll be fine. Okay. All right, pre I, D, I'll remember this, sir. I appreciate it. All right, man. Got you. Thank you. All right, Stevie, come on. Let's go to the library. I think TJ's having a private combo. He kicked me and okay. D out. Okay, well, we need... <laughs> Fuck it. Okay, just... Uh, do you need anything? I can grab it for you. I'll just start um, getting the rest of them. I'm okay right now. Thank you, though. Okay. Uh... All right, if How that's... are you? Been a while. Yeah, uh, shit. This place fucking sucks. Um, yeah, I mean, okay. it's jail. Here's what's going to happen. If a lockdown initiates, if those alarm bells start fucking going off, here's what you need to do. You're going to run straight to the fucking cafeteria, look for D, and you're both going to just grapple the fuck out of here. Okay. Okay. Um, 
Because otherwise, if he gets out without you, it's going to be a little harder to get you out. We'd have to wait for, like, you know, a bit or some shit to wake up. Because I think we have grapple guns somewhere. I just don't know who has access to them, so. Okay. If we can get good. you out, it'll just be a little more tricky, so. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right, I'm going to get the others. Just, uh, yeah, just wait here. <clears throat> okay. Oh my god, chat, we can actually have a little meeting going. The fuck are they? Yo. Yo. All good? Yeah, All yeah. We're gravy good. or what? Yeah, we gravy. Hey, I appreciate it. What was your name again, up. boss? Me, I'm Zuck. What's up? Zuck. Hey, I, I owe you one, alright? If you uh, if you need anything, uh, in here, you let me know, okay? Got you. Yeah, sorry, uh, I mean, we, we in this shit together, you What yeah, the fuck are you yeah, that's right. You can see it, but you know, this, I, got the, I got this thing. I got the thing on my arm, too. I don't know if you can see it. Okay. You, uh, you, need, uh, you need someone to protect yourself while you're in here? I can... Right now, me? Yeah. Nah, nah, I got it. I, I've, been, I've been hibernating, so I have all my shit. I okay, cool. Yeah, if you need shit, shit we're, we're getting shit in here daily, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you got another phone beer. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Uh, BBMC, start heading to, uh, head to the li uh, library. Just go there now if there's no DOC. Because we need to have a chat with BBMC first. Yeah, I fucking hate him. That's... Oh my god. <laughs> I, I fucking hate him. I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> all right it, it, yeah it shouldn't take too long w worst case if you need to just get yourself out get yourself out because we can organize for a grapple another grapple to get like brought in here i just need one of my other boys to be awake um yeah we shouldn't be too long but yeah if you get bored or need to get out or whatever just fucking do whatever you need to but, uh, yeah. oh no i'm 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 groovy i'm groovy <laughs> all, right, chill out. all right easy all right we'll be we'll be quick you asked me to do a job i get it completed yeah easy all right let's go ready <clears throat> Uh, do you reckon library is probably best bet to have like a chat that, where they're like least uh, likely yeah. to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we should sleep there for cameras regardless. Okay, after yeah, yeah. Uh, you know the other day. <clears throat> yeah, true. I would not be surprised if there's cameras in here. Um, I think it's occupied. Let me see how long they're gonna be. Excuse me. Yeah. We have this room booked out from um at, at one. So you... Just you, only you, please. Okay, well just. Okay. I mean. All right. Well, we're gonna I'm need sure the room we after. This meeting an hour ago. Okay. Yeah. Nice. You, uh, you guys wait. For, just give me five, and then we'll have this chat. Oh. It, it's, I need to stop saying five. My my five minutes doesn't mean anything yeah, yeah, yeah. to anyone anymore. Alright. Hey, do you know who this is? Uh, no. How's it going, mate? Even if he says his name, you probably not going to recognize him. What is it? Dude, go ahead. Uh, name's Johnny Devine. Nice I actually you. was informed about you by someone ten minutes ago that all this shit was because uh, of the events that happened on the fucking island. Oh, he snitched to some fucking feds? Uh, I, I was a feb. Oh. Wait, so you're not fed now? Not anymore. Oh. I'm gonna be honest, when I first heard what the situation was, I'm, I'm surprised you're not dead, to be real. Because, uh, That's I know if, uh, thing. yeah, I know if one of my boys, uh, you know, someone in our group fucking did that shit, it'd be... Yeah. Well, I mean, if you're talking to TJ, there's probably a good reason for it, right? So, I assume things are not as bad as... What do you mean, we're in prison, Barry? I mean, he's not dead. I'd rather be in prison than dead, you know? At least there's a chance of fucking mm. getting out. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'd introduce the two of you, but if you could, I'm just going to finish this up. I'll be with you in just a minute, all right? All right, yeah, because uh, we never chat about that stuff. Was talking about, and uh, we did we did reserve yeah. this from one. I just so you know, I did tell the warden. So we have. Uh... Do you even know the warden's last name? You fuck. 
No, but I, I told him that there should be a slide in here and he kind of like looked at me in like a yes kind of way that that could be a possibility. So it's probably happening soon. Definitely. Yeah. Alright guys, we gotta give him five. Boo. Okay. Everyone say boo. 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 Yeah, they got five more guys. Boo. So we're gonna, we're gonna wait downstairs till they're done because they're fucking sure. those those. Wait, how did... Oh, did someone carry Rue up here? God, yeah, you might need to carry her down the stairs. Wait, how did Benny... How is Benny gonna get down the stairs? Oh, just be careful. Careful, Benny! Careful! Oh, my God. Benny doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah Benny... Jesus Christ. Barry, Benny slammed into the AdSeg fence at 37 miles an hour, roughly, just to try to knock it over. So he's, Honestly, he's to be fair, it's like the fastest way around prison, so... Yeah. It really is. Did you, uh, <sighs> you have another phone? Uh, yeah, you need one? Down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would, I could use one as well. Oh, shit. Wait, I think, uh, hold on. I think that you gave some phones to TJ. Wait, TJ, last thing. Did Thingo, uh, uh, give you anything? He brought uh, in? yeah. He gave me a bunch of phones. Uh, yeah, some of the boys need some. I'll, I'll give it to you in just okay, a minute. I, I, they can wait five minutes. Oh, okay. <clears throat> hey, uh, Bob's, uh, can we take? Uh, yeah, uh, TJ, can we take TJ's got them once. Of, uh, uh, once they're done, we'll fucking. Low block. Right. I'm like, no, nope, people are being weird in there. Turns out I was right. <laughs> um, just, just something to keep uh, heads up if DC yeah, walk bye in bye. and uh, for whatever reason start questioning, uh, you know, Stevie back there about if she's meant to be in here. We just, you know, we're gonna have to do something about Should it. Should I so. put on orger pants? No, uh, you, you... it would maybe help. Those are kind okay. of okay. Yeah, that's maybe. The thing is, you have to go to the. Uh, I don't. Yeah, you have to yeah. go all the way yeah. to the uh, other. Uh, the uh, I'll, I'll take it there. We'll be. We'll be fast. Let's go. Follow me. Fucking a ziz is just, I don't know what a ziz is doing out front. Oh, yeah. uh. All right. All right, I have no idea what's going to be for you. See, Stevie, yeah, this could have been the one time the Barry costume would have worked because then you would have just looked like another inmate. So. <laughs> Well, I would have uh, looked like you. I wouldn't call you just another inmate, Barry. Oh, You're you. more it's, special than that. So nice. Yeah, just whatever. There should be something. Yeah. Oh. Perfect. Right. I can shave my head too. I don't know if that would help. Uh, no, it's fine. It's so one thing I've learned. You got good hair. You should keep it. All right. That's what I've learned. In my experience. <sighs> yeah, you would have been bunk flipped while you were asleep. Uh, but you can get bunk flipped while you're asleep? No, no. No, it's because oh. Benny was here for the holdout. Oh, right. He went to sleep with shit on him. Yeah, uh, so close Stevie, have you, uh, are you familiar with, uh, with Eddie? We've uh, met a long yeah, time ago. Met. Yeah, we've met. Yeah, uh, I'll hang around for BBMC, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, he's been helping us a lot in here. How's, uh, how's life on the outside been? How's it, uh... How's um, the air smell? I, mean, I forgot what, like, air smells like. How, can you, like, describe uh, air smell? It's been fine. I've been on my hacker era. I hacked a boost. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um... I mean, so far it's been fine. Uh, there was some guy who was being a fuckhead, but it's fine. Edward ate his toes, not in a sexy I'd way. I like, heard of like, wow. that. Yeah, torture yeah. way. And like a, kind of that. Yeah, so he's taken care of. Um, yeah, and it's been pretty good. I've had a bunch of people come down and like just be around Vespucci, just trying to keep that stuff up and going. And I think I'm going to like try to officially open Queenie soon, even if I might lose it, because hey, might as well, you know, fuck it. Try to get more people down.
down, so. Wait, why would you lose it? That's not my name. It's in Finn's name. Oh, yeah. Yep. But I am listed as the official co-owner, and there's at least two other employees that are, like, active, so you might have a case to getting it. Yeah, I haven't heard anything about the whole asset shit since it was first, like, uh, brought up, so. Yeah, uh, there was a lawyer that I talked to. Uh, I think his last name was Hayes, I think. Everyone's I don't eating fucking toes. It's in my phone somewhere. But he was kind of talking about it, so talking to lawyers sooner rather than later is probably better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I don't know. I feel like most of us are probably going to be at the mercy of the fucking court, and they're probably just going to be like, fuck you. Got treason. Well, it doesn't mean anything. Yeah. But we'll see. Uh, uh, we'll I guess we'll see how much it is treason. I mean, it is treason, but like you know, you're also citizens, and your rights have been infringed, and also the whole thing was fucked up to begin with. So, well, uh, that means something. Brian Knight fucking quit, so that's at least one W. Yeah, I heard. Love that. So, I mean, he uh, won't speak up when it comes to taking assets. He can't. He's not part of the PD anymore. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I don't know. Um, at least there's been some kind of ripples on the fucking outside. It seems like, at the very least, there, there aren't. Everybody on the outside isn't a fucking sheep. So it seems like some people are actually looking at what happened on Sanguine and asking a fucking question, which is. I mean, the last uh, expect, report but... that we got, Barry, is like there is dissension among every government body right now. Yeah. All right, who needs phones? Yep. Oh, yeah, so, yep. so that and we'll go in the library. Let me put these fucking, this other shit away. Uh, is there anything I need to bring up to the club chat? What are the things I'm even, <laughs> what am I bringing up again? Dude, my bunk is fucking stacked. Holy shit. Oh yeah, the Nan I guess the Nancy stuff is the main stuff. Do I even bring up the flossy shit yet? I don't know. I guess I bring it- not that we're gonna do anything, but I guess I bring it up that, uh... If she hears anything. Uh, aluminum, scrap metal. Oh damn, this guy actually- he actually got a bunch of shit, that's good. All right, uh, once you got that, come up to the uh, library. I'm gonna join for you as well, TJ. All right, we're making this pool table the meeting table. I'm just going to stand here just so I have view of uh, if they run up the fucking staircase or not. All right. Pool table's the best spot for these kind of meetings. Alina on the yeah, pool exactly. table? Yeah, Alina. Is that going to be all right? Okay. We have uh, TJ's joint. There you go. How do you keep putting weight on this leg to, you know... Uh, <clears throat> oh man. We are gathered here today. Who's getting married? Uh... Alright. Uh, can you all hear me if I'm just talking like normally? Cap and a bench? Yeah. yeah. Give me one second. Yeah. Gonna all right, all right. Real quick. yeah, all good. Special guest Ellie. Mr. Gain, I thanks for 11 months. SOS, thanks for the gift sub to Lisa, by the way. I think I thanked all these earlier, did I? Uncle Teddy, thanks for 100 bits. Super Ace, not Cooper Brown. Thanks, guys, if uh, you sub today. And all the gifters. Is it me or is DJ smoking a pair of binoculars? Um, it's that's you, dog. He's good for me, yeah. Okay. I think it's just you. Uh, I'd be, like, really impressed if he made a bong out of, you know, binoculars. You'd be surprised Might be some what business in that. In here. Hey, bong binoculars. 
Yeah, I don't even think in here. I think it just. Oh, my cigarette know. disappears if I fucking emote. Oh, God, damn it. Oh, yeah, just by the way, chat, I'm just gonna do this again, just so you know. Made a gravity bong out of I'm gonna leave this here for a moment so until everybody types the okay emoji in chat. Just gonna leave this here just for a little bit. Two liter and ice. Gonna leave this here until everybody uh, understands. Great. Isn't it a mask? Oh, yeah, it probably is actually. Reading that, but okay. <laughs> well, somebody in chat will probably read it. Uh, uh. Uh. All right. Uh, not SWAT anymore, right? The prisoners, because we got fit for that last time. Yeah, it, that'd be dumb as fuck, because that just says, hey, I have a phone. Well, because I know everybody was doing that first, and then they started flipping people for it, right? Yeah, unless uh, unless you're in like a holdout, you know you're gonna get flipped anyway. There's no point. Yeah, yeah. Like DOC seems to be at a, a decent understanding of like if they see something, they're gonna do their jobs. But if we're not being fucking blatant about it, and they have no reason to do something, yeah, they're they're not really pressing that because I think they're tired of getting fucked up. <clears throat> I had the warden today. Check his phone and said, "What's the last time he tweeted?" <clears throat> oh. Okay. He didn't do anything, so it's, I mean, I'm not trying to discourage it or encourage it. Uh, be respectful for it. You'll probably notice yeah. I really have done it in the past few days. Um, yeah, keep it. Uh, don't go crazy. Um, <laughs> yeah. Part of uh, part of my shit was fact finding. Other side note is there are actually some DSC that have been. Uh... Good to me while I'm here. Uh, that Clee, Clee, Cleban, Cleban, Clevon, Clevon. I'll get it yeah. one day. Uh, has been fucking. Uh, yeah, he actually uh was able to get me a fucking phone in here. So there's uh, if this particular DOC really? that yeah. Well, I had to. It's pretty. I had to, you know, take it from his back pocket. But you know, I. He was he was bent over very uh. uh provocatively. You know, provocatively in the cafeteria and it I mean, just slipped right out. So. Are you guys flirting? No, I'm not. You were in prison for a long time. Yeah. Okay. Hey, I already, I already you know held Bo Bryce's pocket once. That's, that's that reminds me. I what was, happens in prison stays in prison, I guess. I was calling all of you last night because a girl flirted with me and it freaked me out so bad that I, I needed advice. Oh. And then you picked up my phone call. Oh, no. <laughs> um, all right. We, we, need to find out, we need to find out if we can have conjugal visits. <laughs> uh, hey, if you get a judge to sign off on it, it works. Uh, yeah, the reason I brought you here is because there's stuff that uh, I need to make sure that you guys are aware of. Um, especially while you're in here and then beyond that. Um, basically, I got told by TJ and a few others that Cerberus was uh, like twatting out some shit about, you know, trying to buy... Uh, it, whether it's a joke or not, buying people's assets that went to fucking Sanguine if they eventually go off for sale and buying them for cheap and, you know, either trying to flip them or make money off them or whatever. Um, first time I heard that, I was like, oh, you know, Ray Lang being fucking stupid or whatever. Um, so what I do, I call up Nancy. I was like, hey, Nancy, what's up? Just, uh, just had a few questions about, like, uh, some shit I heard about Cerberus that they're making, you know, some weird... Su suggestions about you know buying people's assets if they you know can make money off it and immediately she was like whoa barry why are you coming so aggressive at me i was just like i was like what so yeah why, why are you being so aggressive like that that's literally how i said it I i'm not even like paraphrasing i literally said hey like i have a few questions about cerberus and she was immediately like defensive so i was like okay that's a little odd or whatever i kept going and i brought up the cerberus thing about how Lang was doing this, and her first response was, oh, well, Lang just kind of does stuff on his own. Lang isn't necessarily, like, Cerberus. Like, they're two different things. I was like, oh, okay. Um, and I posed the question, uh, okay, so what? what is Lang? He's like, yeah, she's owner, whatever. And I was like, so who makes all the decisions for Cerberus? And it's like, it's Lang. Um, it's like, okay. So I was like, uh, 
uh, I've heard some claims about Cerberus, or at least someone acting on behalf of Cerberus, saying that they were going to buy out people's assets if they got for sale, and because obviously we can't do anything about it in prison if we're in here, uh, you know, they'd try and just buy it up for cheap. And that includes, obviously, Benson's uh, back alley fucking motors that, you know, makes a lot of money for anyone that works there, you know, BBMC as a whole. Um, and I straight up asked her, like, would Cerberus, uh, like, you know, would you and Cerberus be okay with fucking buying that out, um, knowing that, you know, who owns it and how much work has been put into it and what it means to the club and even my, you know, myself and, uh, and TJ, uh, especially, um, all the hours of putting shit into it, uh, like, are, are you okay with, like, buying it out? And she was like, oh, well, I don't, I don't control what Cerberus does. And I was like, okay, but aren't you like, you know, I, I don't know what her rank is in Cerberus, but I asked her like, what, what's your position in there? I, I don't even remember what she said. She was just like, she's one of the top dogs or whatever. But then I was like, so if Cerberus, if, if Lang from Cerberus says something, it goes no matter what. She's like, yep, no matter what he says, if he says something, I can't do anything about it. Um, which is, was confusing to me because I've always respected Nancy for being someone that doesn't really take shit from anybody. Um, but apparently the way Cerberus is run is if the top dog says we're doing this, they just all follow and do it, no matter what. Um, so I don't know what their ranking system is in that fucking company, but it means literally fuck all if, uh, I mean, you can apply the same logic to BBMC. Sure, there's some times where I'll say something or go, but you could have a fucking prospect come up to me and if they say something with enough confidence and enough reason behind it that I might not know about it, it's probably going to sway my fucking decision. Flops came to me and I was like selling a car to somebody and they're like, hey, you really shouldn't sell that car to that guy. It's going to lead to this. I'd be like, oh, okay. I'm going to trust my, you know, my guy to, um, to tell me that. Um, and how the, con how the conversation went with Nancy is that either A, she's like lying about her power in um, Cerberus and that she does actually have power and doesn't want to, or B, she's telling the truth and Lang just can do whatever the fuck they want and they're all just lackeys over there that just do whatever they, he says. Um... Either way, uh, based on, like, the, the tone of that convo, she wasn't even, like, willing to start a conversation to be like, oh, yeah, but I'd at least try to chat with him to make sure it wouldn't happen. Um, which, I, I don't know if any of you have, like, spoken to her, like, before me, but she was immediately, like, on the back foot defensive. Like, it, it, it felt like she had, um, like, as if, like, she had spoken to me before, like... Uh, like the same shit like she was hearing it for like the fifth fucking time like me calling her up which I haven't spoken to her since the last convo I got with her was she's texting me like hi bestie every every morning I thought things were sweet I thought we were good I was just gonna call her be like what's happening with this laying shit I was expecting her to be like oh it's just laying being dumb don't worry about it I'll talk to him it's fine and then psh, I would have been sorted um, but the biggest concern for me after that was after even speaking about the Cerberus stuff I started speaking about why the fuck um, I personally went to the island and told her that, you know, everyone has their personal fucking reasons. And I told her what my reason for doing it was so that the government can't just prove to themselves that they can take any fucking piece of land they want without resistance and without losing blood and, and, and people to fucking PD and... Because if they could do that, then they can easily just come back to LS and they could take over fucking Vespucci, they could take over Cerberus if they deem it necessary that a terrorist fucking runs it. Which apparently a terrorist fucking does run Cerberus, so it's even more reason why I was like, hey, maybe like, you, you know, you don't have to appreciate what we did, but you should at the very least understand at least my motivation for going there. And that everybody in BBMC has a different motivation, because again, that's why you're all here, isn't because I said... All right, BBMC's going. You all got individually asked to go or to not go. Um, and again, nothing is happening to people that didn't go because I it's a personal decision. You, your reason for going could be somewhat BBMC related, but as long as it's your own decision, then whatever. I don't I don't hold a I don't hold myself accountable for any of you being here because you made those decisions and I respect that you were willing to do that. Um, but again, it was it was a choice given to you. And that's what it seems like people don't understand is they think that we just all went there as a as a cluster but whatever um she goes on about like how the sanguine shit was dumb and that when i went on about how the asset thing was stupid and that how she after all we've been through didn't even want to like vouch for us uh she was like yeah well you knew what you were getting into by going there um like at that point, it felt like I was talking to a cop. It's like, yeah, you knew you were going to get trees and lose your asset fee, so it's not my fault that my comp my investment company wants to buy out 
your businesses and take your assets from you and sell them away for cheap. Like, she was trying to turn it on me that it was my fault that their business was, at the very least, making claims that they were going to do that. Whether they're actually going to do it or not is completely separate. Um, the biggest problem I saw with this is it showed me what kind of uh, person Nancy was to the club and that I severely misinterpreted what her relationship was to people in the club and the club as a whole. Um, and it kind of put a very uh, bad taste in my mouth um, about how I, I viewed her. Because the conversation ended with her telling me to shut the fuck up and listen to her um, after I was going off about, you know... As you know, I get passionate when somebody questions why I do something. I'm gonna fucking tell you, especially if it's fucking sanguine. And I let her know that there's shit that we had to go through and saw on that fucking island that nobody here would ever fucking... I would hope would never have to fucking experience. Um, and she was gonna tell me to shut the fuck up on the phone that I was being like... I'm yelling, I'm being overdramatic, whatever. Um, and then as I was continuing with the convo, uh, she said, I don't like being talked to this way, whatever, yada, yada, yada. And then just hung up in my face before uh, I could even finish the, the original point of this fucking call. Um, so this brings a big concern to me because... Well, as we all know, uh, outside of whatever friendship she had with individual people in this club, she is also still the missus of my VP. And I wish uh, Colin was here to talk more about this. And the second he wakes up, I want to have another chat with him about it. Um, but the problem is, I, uh, after knowing what kind of person she is now, I don't see it valuing the club in any way to have her anywhere near this club at all, considering that if they get the opportunity to fuck us over, she literally said on the phone that they would. I straight up said, if uh, BBM went up for sale and Cerberus had the opportunity to buy it, would they do it? And she said yes, without without hesitation. And then she was confused as to why I was annoyed by that when I said, I, like, are you listening to what you're saying? Like, you're okay with that. And then she kept just being like, deflecting to being like, oh, I can't do anything about it. So it's not- And it wasn't like she was saying it to be like, oh, we would buy it and then give it back to you as- No, like, no, no. That, I said you would yeah. buy it. I said, why would Cerberus buy that? She said, well, we're an investment company. So if we can make money on it, we will. And I was, <laughs> I was dumbfounded. I was literally like, I'm, it was the most stunlocked I think I've ever been in this city. I don't know like where this came from or who she's been talking to or what, but it was just, it felt like I was talking to a completely different person that was helping us set all this shit up because she did help us set up all the storefronts she got us to connect to get it all done but then when it came down to it i was like you wouldn't help us like not even help us just not fucking go out of your way to fuck us over she said oh that's not a decision for me uh, if lang says so it goes it's coming from um, the same person that said all that shit about you know not following someone blindly but then literally this is the most like trust my og shit i've ever seen whereas like Laying to anyone in Cerberus is just like uh, some kind of god that whatever he says goes. And that I, I, I don't understand how they're okay with that being in that company if the top guy can literally do whatever the fuck he wants and you just go along with it without question. Because she didn't even bring up the possibility of her having a conversation. Even if she just suggested like, yeah, I'll talk and see what I can do. I would have been like, okay, that's, that's all I can really ask for. She didn't even want to extend that hand. Well, I got kind of two avenues there Barry one uh when I was working at the arena I Nancy kind of told me her her history with Lang and it I mean everything makes sense and secondly when we were doing our goodbyes and you know wrapping things up in case uh you know the whole dying thing happened I had a conversation with Nancy let her know hey I'm not going to be around the arena for a while was uh saying goodbyes and her exact words to me which, mind you, she uh, was inconvenienced and had to step away from her right along with the fucking cops. Her exact statement to me was, well, anyone from the club who goes to fight for Jaeger has lost me forever. That was the last thing she said to me before we parted ways. What? All right, then we lose oh, her like forever. She's... Goodbye. Get the fuck out. Fight for <laughs> Jaeger. Yeah. Sounds like... What? Uh... You're like... She, in her I head, mean... Jaeger wants her dead. And if you don't know the history with, with Nancy I and do. Lang, it goes back. Like, when you say OG, she views him as her OG and attests most everything that she has to him. Because back in the day, there were two competing, I believe, C-runs at the same time. And theirs fucked 
over his there was this whole thing she paid him money he gave the money back to her and gave her an opportunity she is as close to being a right hand as you can be I it, just... this whole playing she's not powerful that that is the understatement of the fucking century Okay, so she was lying about uh, uh, her ability to do anything in Cerberus then. Because that, that's the I one mean, thing that Cole saw gave off guard her was the like... Arena, Barry. Do you think he would give that arena to someone who isn't powerful within That's what Kobe saw of God. She made it seem like she was like a day one fucking service employee. I was like, you're literally like the reason that we, yeah, we, we do the fucking arena shit, the, um, you know, the storefront shit. It's like, you're not that type of person to not be like able to do shit so she, so what she was doing was fucking lying fuck to, to to push blame onto something else knowing full well that she doesn't give a fuck question fob yeah because i mean obviously i wasn't really Damn, around that's big meta the up to this but i assume that people who are close to us sort of had a like idea of what was going on i had the like, conversation with her like a day before we left Oh, okay. As I, I was, was doing like my final she, wrap ups. I mean, if she had known like before that that's what we were doing, and then she like didn't say anything before, that was weird, but I don't really know. From, like, from what it seems it to me, like from, really yeah. Enough, from what it seems to me and what you've said, it seems like she thinks that um, I decided, oh, I want to help Jaeger with these fucking RPGs and shit, and I just pulled everybody in the club and forced people to fucking go. Um, which, I mean, sure, there may be one or two people in this club that, you know, have a, a deeper connection with Jaeger that wanted to do that specifically, but to think that that is the reason why everybody that's in this prison went was to purely and no other reason just help Jaeger is... I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I, I literally, I mean, I literally told her my that. reason and she like, yeah. if she refuses to believe that then. In her words, it was anyone who, you know, will go fight for Jaeger Someone who wants to literally kill me, her words. Um, yeah. And I know she when she she gave the, the long talk around like her her views with Lang, and they are as deep seated as anyone can be for for someone that they would you know attribute their existence and what they have. Well, to. my my question is outside of flops, knowing one day before. Was anybody else here aware of anything to do with Jaeger or Nancy? Nancy's fucking no. I, mean, I haven't heard Jaeger say no. Nancy's name since we've been I, doing I didn't this. Even know, I didn't even know they knew each other. So to to think that like, not not that it probably would have swayed anyone's decisions at all, and I probably would have said straight up, "I'm doing this for this reason, whatever." But to for for nobody to be aware of that, and then to get Baza mad Gaza. that Baza Gaza. it's like we went. It's like we went above and beyond to like, quote unquote, like betray her by doing that when nobody knew anything to do with that is insanity to me. So to hold that uh, above us and then start siding with, uh, you know, a company that's threatening to fucking take businesses from anybody that was in Sanguine and resell them, whatever, is, is crazy to me. And my biggest issue is and i'll say this to colin's face but I, I'm, I'm not trying to talk behind him because he's not here i'm just trying to fill you in on my mindset right now and then you can make your own choices whatever um my biggest thing is the reality is is that colin still lives with nancy and i don't know how many of you've been in a relationship before um I, i'm not saying uh colin is 100 percent bondi until he fucking dies he's he's done more for this club than a lot of people have and ever fucking will whatever uh, but that doesn't change the fact that he's not with this person a lot. And if someone you care about is saying certain shit over and over and over again, you, you could be the most robotic motherfucker in this fucking city. It's going to affect you and it's going to change how you see some things slightly. That's the reality. You, you could be, you could literally be born and bred fucking Bondi the second you came out of a, a, a fucking a vaginal canal, right? Uh, but if you have someone over and over every day, someone you fucking care about saying, Hey, I'm upset about this, this, it's going to affect you and it's going to make you think differently about certain things. That is, that is reality. And I want to make sure that, uh, people that are in, uh, in this club, especially after people are saying shit and threatening that you're going to lose them forever. 
aren't putting uh, putting thoughts in his brain that's going to make him go down a, a wrong path. Because I know I know more than anybody exactly how that works. Uh, it's very easy when you're uh, you know solo with someone else. They say some shit. Easy for you to believe it, uh, especially if you've got nothing else to bounce on. And I want to make sure, not just because he's my VP, but just because he's a fucking club member, that somebody that has clearly shown in the last 24 hours they do not give a fuck about anything to do with BBMC, then why the fuck uh, would I want that to continue? Why, why the fuck would I want my right my right hand fucking man having anything to do with somebody that literally said, oh yeah, if I feel like it, I'm going to buy out your fucking company that you spent the last two years on. And that is... And just nonchalantly just didn't even give a fuck. Yeah, is is crazy to me. I don't understand why why it fucking matters to her at all. For all the shit that she I don't understand why it matters to fucking sold. Cerberus. They're fucking millionaires. Yeah. Why the fuck? Like the yeah. only reason that they you made even, money off this shit. Yeah, the only reason you would even threaten to do that is just to provoke and say fuck you. Because I'll be honest, I don't think they're going to do it. I don't think Cerberus does. And if they do, we're bombing the fuck out of them the second we get out. And I'm sure so are fucking half the Sanguinians in here that own a fucking business or are part of a fucking gang. Well, I mean, GG got some some friction with Lang and I mean, probably Cerberus took extension pretty, oh, yeah. uh, pretty extensively. Oh, it would be the stupidest thing that Cerberus could ever do if they actually follow through with that, which I don't think they will. I think they'll pussy the fuck out. I think they'll just talking shit online just Lang, because they Lang hate would. a few people. I mean, I think Lang uh, the Italians are actively hunting GG people that did not go like as of uh, yesterday. Whenever hey, Lang came in here and had that conversation and started talking bad trash on basically everybody, GG uh, went after me pretty hard, um, which just made him look like an idiot. Honestly, I just didn't even care to say anything to yeah. him. But um, Colin uh, asked me to call him, yeah. and so I called him. And apparently, Lang wanted to have a conversation with Colin. So I don't know what the hell if they even did talk um, or what that was about, but. You know exactly how that's gonna go. Yeah, my, my problem is if, if Colin's out there uh, and say the other guy's aren't awake and he's having a meeting with fucking Nancy and Lang by himself, it's gonna be very easy for him to get coerced. But not that I'm, I'm not talking to him as if he's a fucking, his brain can be fucking, hidden. you know, molded, but it can literally happen to anybody. If you have, and I'll, I'll be real, Nancy's a very convincing person when she wants to be. Um, when, when you've got multiple people standing in front of you saying one thing, it, most people are going to crack and be like, oh, that kind of does make sense. I'm going to believe that. Even if you are Bondi T, fucking die. That's that's not a attack on his character. That's just a, that's just a, an objective truth on uh, how the brain fucking works. If you, if you get put in an environment where somebody's telling you that this is the truth, this is the truth, this is the truth over and over and over, you're eventually going to believe at least part of it. You might not have your, com your brain completely fucking, uh, you know, changed to their way of thinking, but there's going to be one thing where you're like, yeah, that might be right. And then it starts with that and it goes into more and more and more and more. And that's what I, mean, I want to avoid. That's entirely what I've done this entire war yeah. for the rest of the PD. And that, I, exactly. if anyone knows that better, it's myself. Yeah. And I mean, it's working is since considering Brian Knight's fucked off. So yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's what I'm saying. It can, it can happen to fucking anybody. And if he's having these fucking meetings solo with fucking Nancy Lang and all the fucking Cerberus, my, my concern is that he may he may uh, accidentally do something stupid. I don't think he would ever purposely uh, ever fuck over BBMC or any one of us. Again, I, I think he's more Bondi than than most, but um, he may inadvertently uh, do something to help Nancy that fucks over us. I'm more and... concerned about them doing something to call in and laying brainwashing Nancy. It's a, uh, you know, or Nancy deciding with Lang because- Wait a minute, Nancy's I'm a real dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nancy's already, already with Lang. Well, you know what I mean? But like, what if they heard called it and then she says, well, okay, well, you know, I'm with Lang anyway, so. That's why, I, so before before TJ had talked with Colin, uh, I called him to just kind of make him aware of everything that was going on. And like the big question that he had was like, well, did we piss Lang off? And then the other was like, you know, trying to avoid issues on the outside caused by stuff here on the inside. Wait, who said, did we piss Lang off? Colin, because I talked to Colin before he talked to TJ. And then Colin said he wanted to talk to TJ, so then I took that to TJ and said, hey, Colin, let's talk to you. Why is f Colin's first thought that we ping piss Lang off? Who gives a fuck? Why is it not <laughs> my club's about to have their assets bought out by this dog shit fucking PD sympathizing company? Not even sympathizing, literally funding their own fucking PD. They literally had Cerberus PD for a fucking while. 
And oh. from what people have said, they still have like Aegis or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Whatever that yeah. shit is. Yeah. There's... Yeah, that's, it's very that's clear that, to see what their reasoning thing. is for not liking the Sanguinians. Well, it right. becomes even spicier when Lang and Jaeger are father son. That's that's yeah, that's really, mm. I actually wish Jaeger could walk in here right now and get his perspective on shit. I wish yeah. that he fucking just gets out of his cell and you can understand half the shit. Yeah, next time I see him I'll uh try to chat with him about it. But... it it's been something that I can't explain the best. I know most of it. Um, I think a lot of you have some gist of it, but there is a lot of deep-seated history with a lot of backstabbing and a lot of things that are happening between the two of them. Um, for those of you that know, um, Sean and Aubrey were helping me one day because I was on the island and ran into Harry, which is one of Lang's guys. And we had a standoff and that alerted a shit ton of PD um, while they were playing motion sensors, cameras, shit like that. Lang was on the island the day before the war, which was after the 48 hour period, um, as well. Like all these mm -hmm. things, like there's, <clears throat> it, it's like a constant prodding from probably both sides. And I don't know the full history of it. I'm not going to pretend to, uh, Russ gets involved someplace, uh, in terms of Eve and Nancy and the guild, etc. There's a lot of other shit, um, uh, that why Lang would intentionally work against sanguine and by buying assets of people that are involved with it it's still like that final fuck you if you want to go find it uh defends it with him even regardless of what your reasoning was it was it for jaeger uh was it for the government was it for yourself was it for the people here regardless he doesn't give a fuck because he sees it all the same as you're defending jaeger basically oh right? yeah they'll, they'll yeah. use that to justify their own reasoning for doing the dumb shit that they're threatening to mm -hmm. do uh, uh, people don't want to hear real reasons like even when you say it in front of them like i literally told her my reasoning for going and she it didn't sound like she bought a fucking word of it and based on what uh, uh flop said it doesn't you know it, i don't know it's just uh the the main reason I, I brought up now instead of waiting till colin was awake is because um right after all this shit happened talk with tj talk with shang oh by the way if you don't know uh, Chang is a really funny uh, taxi driver guy that's been helping me do some shit if you see him. Anyway. He's um, a crazy fuck. Yeah, he's funny. Um, I called Edbert and then filled him in on basically what I told you then. And then immediately after, Nancy called him, pretended like she didn't like know what was going on, was just asking him like basic stuff, and then immediately started talking about um, how crazy I was acting and just got off the phone with Barry. He's going all wacky, whatever. So if I hadn't uh, talked to Edbert first... Um, it's very possible that Nancy could have, you know, silver-tongued him a bit and been like, Hey, Barry's in prison. He's gone crazy. He's gone wacky in there. And if I didn't have my phone on me or whatever, there would have been no way for him to chat with me. Uh, apparently started fake crying on the phone to him, um, saying that how level-headed he was, trying to gas him up and all that kind of shit, uh, which he called me immediately after and told me about it. Um, if you haven't experienced a fake cry, it's real. I, I've, I've gotten it multiple times. Uh, yeah, I, I have, have not... Um, but yeah, the, the reason I'm bringing you up and making sure that you guys are aware is because I don't want her or anybody else, uh, you know how this city works and how people that, uh, can do well with conversations will, you know, take you aside and fucking give you their fucking narrative first. Um, and that's usually the one you'll believe until proven otherwise. I don't want any of you hearing something and being like, oh man, that sounds, yeah, maybe they're right, whatever. Um, you guys have all done shit that... Uh, nobody else in the city should ever have to fucking do. You've seen shit you should never have to fucking see. So even outside of all this other shit, um, the, the distress- I'm not gonna sit here and get disrespected by people sitting in their fucking comfy fucking office chairs in a multi-million dollar fucking, uh, air-conditioned room telling me how I should spend my fucking life and what I should risk my life for and what my club should risk their fucking life for. I'm not going to sit here and listen to someone driving their fucking Lambo around Los Santos or I'm out on fucking Sanguine Isle trying to hey, chew hey, off hey. a fucking I'm leg Lambo, to survive, right? okay? <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, not the Lambo. Yeah, yeah, Lambo's a bad, uh, bad example, but you know what I mean. It's a bulletproof Bentley. <laughs> so outside of all this other shit, even just the, the, the disrespect of the reasoning for doing this, and I, I'll be honest, okay? Of course, I want that. My main reason is always BBMC. I always think ahead. I'm like, I want to make sure that 
you know, the government doesn't fuck us over, of course. But in the same vein, uh, I also don't want to see other gangs uh, fucked over by the government either. I hate seeing that shit. Because if there's one thing I will put aside any gang beef uh, with to do is fuck over the fucking cops. I will put anything aside. If, if, if we were fucking warring with someone and they're like, you know what, these cops have been fucking us too much. Let's go fuck them up, which literally happened with Mandem. That's how that ended, by the way. We were we were going tit for tat for fucking fights or whatever, and then the cop uh, response just got so overwhelming that we just stopped it and started fucking up the cops because we just we couldn't do anything without them fucking rolling up, you know, twenty deep. Um, so I will never I will never be allies with somebody that sympathizes this fucking hard uh, for the fucking PD. Uh, and I have a question. I, yeah. Wang, is he a government employee? Or Sorry, is he I said same vein. Business? Sorry. Like no, no, he there. used to be. Okay, he used to be a government employee. Obviously, he was the mayor. Right? Yeah, but not right so, now. Correct. Uh, while he was the mayor. Interesting. Okay, I said. I said. Um, same thing. Shut up. I. Hey, Matt, thanks for the T two thirty months. By the way, appreciate it. Was, was it Seaside? He was probably one of my biggest Even Seaside. If we were warring Seaside and they were like, "Hey, time. let's fuck up these cops instead," uh, as to the end the war, I'd be right. like, "Whatever." So, I mean, so, I kept that oh, that's, that's how Barry for a long time. Anyway. I don't think a whole lot of people knew that. Um, he's like been involved Barry's with a lot of shit. He's involved with a few bombings else. of a few of my friends with things that I have provided with them. So I, I don't particularly agree with it. I don't like it, but business is business, and I understand that. Um, <clears throat> he enacted Aegis uh, while he was in office. Aegis is a civilian organization that does was supposed to be, you know, storefronts, everything else, uh, in terms of civil regulations and things that are associated with any fines that would have happened there. Uh, fast forward, now you have this Aegis as the border basic protection that is headed up by uh, Boostbeard, right? So if you go look at the LSBN article and you look at the negotiation, you'll understand why Jaeger asked for Moosebeard because he had been working with Moosebeard and Aegis to develop this, right? Uh, that was border protection. That was a check and balance. That was why um, Aegis was involved, apparently, in negotiation, which I don't even like Aegis being involved with whatsoever. It exists for civil assets, uh, not for criminal things. This is a matter of war. So you'll see that even those individuals are sitting at the table for negotiation, which I do not like personally. Um, anyway, uh, he introduces Aegis. Full disclosure, I do call him. I do have a conversation. I said, this thing is fucking all-powerful. I don't like this, but you know what? Hey, am I, uh, what can I do with you on this? Uh, and I offered kind of off the book to work with him. Um, I approached him maybe like one or two times afterwards, after like, you know, two or three weeks. First time, maybe a month after the second time. He's like, you know, I, I remember people who I want to work with. When time's right, I'll get in contact with you. So, okay. Uh, no big deal. So I kind of left at that. Never really talked to him again. So he's in here, he's talking bad, just everything. You know, obviously because I'm on Twitter, I'm opposing Aegis, I'm opposing Cerberus. And he goes, yeah, you're just mad that I, I denied you. I'm like, you never even denied me. He didn't say anything. Uh, so anyway, he's he's going off. Uh, that's him. But anyway, Aegis in itself is fucked uh, because it has more power than it Steel needs Boy, to Steelboy X100 bits, protecting Pittsburgh Steelers and B49. Thank you. Yeah. No sports. Uh, and some stuff written no in legislation that is just wow. It basically says they can do whatever the fuck they want. It's football. Like, there's literally a part in there that says, um, if there's anything that they're doing that doesn't seem um, constitutional, it is in fact constitutional. If there's anything that is wrong, it's actually not wrong. Like that, it, it actually Jesus says Christ. that paraphrase. Yeah, I mean, it basically it, makes them the Senate. Oh, that's the funny thing. So, um, the board members. Uh, are appointed by the mayor, but only with consent from the Senate. Mm -hmm. So, God. when I call Brian, when this first comes out, I go, Brian, what the fuck is this? Take a look at it. And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I don't really like this. I know how to shut this down if it becomes all powerful. Guess who works for them? Brian, crazy. Mm. DLC. I don't care. It's Bob. That's fucking Bob. Hello, citizens. Oh, Bob is IA hey, now here. Hey guys, you need the room secured? Yeah, maybe just so. Uh... <sighs> Anyone order pizza? 
Uh, uh you guys order pizza? I killed a pizza delivery boy trying to deliver pizza. Oh, so God, Bob, what happened to your shoes, Bob? Oh, that, that, I oh, got a gum on them. Ankle, oh, Bob. God. I, I the thought Lord. that cheese smell was coming Lord. from the pizza. It's... No. Is there a beeping no. coming oh, from the pizza box? Jesus Christ. Uh, uh no. Uh, sh should there be? I hope not. I mean, pizza not. Anyway, anyone order pizza? Uh, yeah, I mean, if you got some pizza, I'll take some. Oh, okay. Yeah, here, here you go. Oh, pizza you. delivery boy died for that. Oh, thanks. Oh, oh. wow, that's... You guys get delivery to... Hang on. Look, at, look at me. I've already solved the case. Okay. Thank Great you, work, Bob. Bob. We respect your work out here. Good shit, Bob. Thanks, Bob. Get some shoes and socks, buddy. Yeah, that... And... And ankles. <sighs> but, uh... Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. It's it's very clear that she goes a lot deeper. So for right now, my obviously my main focus is making sure everyone in my club is uh, okay and not getting fucked over by this shit. But uh, you can see why I see this as a big problem. I mean, after that conversation, it's like my mind. I'll, I'll just be honest with my mindset right now is I don't even feel comfortable with. Uh, and I'm usually very against this. Uh, you know, me telling you who you can and can't hang out with. But I'll be honest, I don't feel comfortable with uh, knowing that Colin's going to sleep with. Uh, uh, this chicken in their house every night. I'll be honest, because as I said, you can be you can be bond more bondi than anybody. But if you got somebody, uh, you're laying down each night and somebody's whispering shit in your ear, it may not change a, a large decision portion of your brain. But there will be little things that you won't even notice that you're gonna do differently that will eventually stack up and cause him to do something stupid. It's just. I don't know how Nancy is that. I mean, if she convinced us for this long that she gave a shit about anything we did. But, I mean, if I had to take a guess now, it just seems like she was doing it because it was a mutual benefit for Colin. Is, you know. The because... switch up is real. Um, I mean, the reality is, right, If even if they buy BBM, the reason BBM is BBM and the fact that it makes money and does well has nothing to do with anything they can Oh yeah, she she literally had the audacity to be like, oh, what, it, yeah, like, well, we'll maybe buy it because, uh, you know, what if someone else buys it? It's like, nobody else is buying BBM except my own fucking boys. And if they do, they know what's gonna fucking happen. The only reason that uh, you, you, anyone outside of BBMC would own that is because they just offer a ridiculous amount of fucking money that no one can fucking do anything about. And the government's like, well, here you go. So it's like, I'm not worried in the slightest about BBM getting snaked by anybody fucking else. So that argument is just completely irrelevant. Wait, so what is the Italians' relation to Cerberus? Are they like... They... No, it's, it's to, uh, them. To, to Lang, Lang and them. Nearest, uh, so... One little toy, basically, that Nancy likes to hang out with now, and they're, uh, they do everything. Okay, so... Four to, to give you an idea, the, the Italians went from selling... Uh, they went from selling silencers to full board guns in about a month. So who's to say that they yeah, don't buy these businesses up. and yeah. Yeah. That is yeah. Oh, Bringle. Yep. Who's to say that they're not That is one of the ones with the, and... the burger shot thing, TJ. Uh the the plan that was foiled? That's one of the three I don't names. know his involvement. I only knew two names. I'm not trying to mm. do anything right now. We have better things to talk about. Yeah. Um, yeah, and they start staffing all of these places with Italians. I can see that. Listen, happen. I, I, I'll be honest. I think Cerberus. It would be the stupidest fucking thing on planet Earth for them to actually follow through with that. I'm gonna be honest. I think it's them just trying to big dick, just to show their stance on shit. I think Cerberus would be absolutely fucking brain dead if they tried to actually buy out BBM or any other asset that it gets seized. Um, Nancy was saying, uh, I don't know if it was Nancy or somebody else saying that it might not even get seized, but it's like that, uh, that's irrelevant. That's not what I care about. If so, like, I'm, we're not doing anything to Cerberus unless they actually follow through with that. I'm not gonna, you know, start bombing places over, you know, someone saying something dumb on, on Twitter, right? The thing that I care about is not what Cerberus said, but what it revealed about Nancy when I brought up that question to her. The fact that, even if, if they actually did follow through with that, she would be completely fine with that and not give a fuck is more than enough reason for me to want to have this club and anybody involved with this club never to have anything fucking do with her. Or anyone I care about for that matter. I mean, if I could tell Sis, I'd probably talk to her as well and be like, maybe stay the fuck away. 
Let's uh, hope it raises uh, awareness to Calden. I mean, her switch up uh, so sudden. I think he should be more concerned about that. And that's what my concern is. If Flops is saying it, the first thing that Colin's saying when he goes to visitation is, I hope Lang's not mad. No, no, it was on the phone. Oh, on the, on the phone, phone or whatever. Visitation. Um, see, that's not something that directly impacts us, but it, it's an example of what I'm saying, where it's like, if somebody's talking to you a lot, one-on-one, -on -one, it's going to change how you think about shit. And now his first thought is, oh, I hope Lang's not mad. I don't give a fuck. If it has to do with BBMC being okay and somebody being mad, you, you all know me. I I mean, I literally just got out of some fucking beef, uh, you know, about this EMS shit and eating some fucking terrorist fucking wife. Okay? So it's like, uh, I, if it comes down to this club or anybody else, you know who which horse I'm fucking backing, right? And that should be the same way for all of you. I want you guys to have other people outside the club, other friends, all that kind of shit, other connections, whatever. But when it comes down to it, I'm willing to throw away anything else outside of this club in this city, if need be, to ensure the protection of this club. And I'll continue to do so until I'm fucking six feet under. Um, and I would hope when you get blooded into this club that that mentality is felt the same way. So. Um, another thing on that outside of that is, uh, you know, we're not going to uh, do anything about it, but just keep in mind that... Uh, I was talking some shit about the EMS shit on the fucking island and apparently Flossie overheard and went and telling people about it. Um, so obviously it's pretty, uh, pretty stupid coming from me to say it, but just, uh, yeah, be careful where you, where you say shit around in this fucking city, even in visitation, because, uh, everybody's a fucking girlfriend or daughter or son or whatever of some fucking gang leader or terrorist in this city. And the, the second they have an opportunity to try and skew your words and fuck you over, they will. Um, so if you, if you considered Flossie a friend, I would highly recommend, uh, uh, against that. And I'll make sure to let everybody else know. Uh, I don't really want anyone dealing with fucking Flossie either. As far as I'm concerned, they can go both fuck themselves. Um, because if they're going to try and, uh, use my words against me to go get fucked by, uh, uh, you know, some terrorist, um, it's, I, I want nothing to fucking do with you personally. So I don't care how, uh, I don't care how, like, even when I was in visitation, that's why I didn't even think about it, because she was so friendly in there. I, I hate how two-faced so many people in the city are, where they'll be friendly to your face, but the second you walk away, it's like, oh, oh, Barry was saying this, that, the other. It's just, uh, I, <laughs> I can't even, I, that's why, uh, that's why I might get flamed sometimes for keeping my circle uh, a little tighter than others, but, uh. I, I've I've been in the city long enough to have good reason for that, to be honest. So, um, just be careful, especially of those two. But outside of those, just if you're saying anything sensitive, even in visitation, just be careful who's fucking there. And if it's something that you don't want to risk, if someone's standing with a mask in the fucking corner that you think might overhear you, maybe just uh, I'd rather you get someone to grapple in the prison to have a private convo than, you know, risking someone hearing it in visitation. After that, it's just well, up. also. There's been motion sensors and cameras and visitation often. Yeah. Yeah, I bet. So. That's, with the DOC as they are, that's just the rule of thumb. You should all, if you want a private conversation, you should always camera check yeah. whether you're going to talk. Oh, no, these weren't DOC's cameras. These were on the other side of the glass. Okay. Barely certain they were Lang's because uh, the day that we found one of the motion sensors and like 20 people kept running back and forth in front of it to trigger it, uh, a few minutes later, Lang and Speedy showed up just to sit in visitation and uh, stare through the window. Yeah, we, we've also seen the Italians come through a number of times, just mm -hmm. dipping in and out of visitation. Just checking who's in here, who they're, mm. yeah. you know. They, With how they much? Also got... I'll let you go first. Uh, with how much he's broken into the prison in the past, I wouldn't be surprised if he tries to do something in here. Yeah, that's why I want to make sure at the very least all my boys always uh, armed up with some fucking shivs. So if any cunt gives you a hassle, fucking shank yeah. the dog. Don't and even hesitate. Let's not forget they they've already, already on it, it Barry. Yeah. Um. Just so you know as well, I do have a few emergency uh, pieces that I'll probably probably get into a different bunker that's not mine because I feel like I get flipped all the fucking time. So uh, I, I got to give you the mats and stuff after this, Eddie. And then um, in the meantime, yeah, uh, these burner phones and shit, let's, uh, let's start pumping these fucking things out. Just getting a fucking stockpile, and every so often we'll get a guy... A lot of the time we're getting people to bring shit in, but um, I want to try and figure out a way to get some of these phones out, because uh, if these burners are actually as good as uh, what people are saying, these things go for like 100k on the fucking street. I mean, I bought 
well, I, I mean, at least off Pigeon, I bought one for like 100k before uh, the war. And that was, you know, so right I, I, now with limited supply, you can probably sell them at 125 at a premium and 100 to friends. Oh, I, I we think we should just stock the fuck up. And then when we get out, I'm sure you can find every uh, absolutely. Dick and Sally that wants to buy a burner. I mean, I, I yeah. even want to stock everyone in the yeah. club up with one. Like the battery doesn't so. go bad. It's just keep pumping them out don't oh, stop. yeah there's always a fucking use for that for people that want to be a little more incognito yeah. so like i said we could be making at the bare minimum we could be making a vault cut a day for the club yeah just from that um you know what we could also do hmm. you no know, so make it, make a note of who you're selling it to um yeah and if it's if you want to you know pull a fast one on someone you could get down the number of it of the one you sell them to yeah right might be useful yeah, you know? we, we share our oh, yeah. Kaiba. Me and DJ were doing that in the past. Mm, okay. Tracking is not bad. Um, yeah, so outside of materials, it's like the batteries and shit that you want to get and... Anything else? Like, a, what's the other shit you want to get for like the shivs and stuff? Uh, shivs? Scrap. Scrap. scrap, yeah. Scrap's a bit annoying, but uh... Yeah. Um, try and con we gotta be careful because, yeah, we don't want people getting flipped and losing all of our shit. Which is why I kind of want to get shit moving out relatively uh, often. Just so... If you know, someone does get flipped, uh, whatever. Um, you just need to be aware of, say, if it's Eddie that is holding a lot of shit, we need to make sure that he's, uh, or whoever is not putting themselves in a spot that's going to get fucked. Um, you know, so if you know you have a lot of shit, it, it may be, there may be some opportunities where it's like, uh, maybe I, I don't get involved in whatever shit's going on unless my boys are getting really fucked. And of course, like, you know, fuck the phones, whatever. Like, make sure your boys don't get fucking rolled, but... There may be times where you're like, fuck, I want to save this shit. Uh, I'll let the boys deal with DOC and shoot out whatever, go from there. Um, cause yeah, there's, uh, there's actually money to be made and keep ourselves fucking busy mm -hmm. while we're in here. Cause, uh, uh, pretty sure I still got at least a fucking 20 fucking years in here. So at least, uh, at least make some fucking money, make some fucking phones while we're in here. Um, I mean, we can make 14 of them a week if we really yeah. want to. Yeah. See that. So you could be clearing 1.4 mil at a minimum a week. Yeah, that's money. And we sell them that's, cheap. That's money science to me right there. So Yeah. Speaking of speaking of money, um we need a I don't know what's going on. We need to push the rest of the club to hit, start hitting the vault. Even if they don't think they can do it. Because as far as I know, since we left, we still haven't hit the vault yet. Mm, okay. I I don't know why. I, I every time I ask about it, it's it's in the works, it's being planned. No. Other thing is, Kelly Kelly's acid fees are at five hundred K. Something needs to happen with that. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, they're five hundred. Five hundred. Yeah, he needs to. Who did he give take? Else I gave. So I gave him like. He's got BBM shit, like stuff that's yes. from BBM, oh, and yes, I don't uh, have any of my stuff with him. Five hundred k is it's multiplicative at this point. Uh, yeah. Listen, I'm less concerned about money. Like money comes and goes. Like I understand that. Uh, I don't want to like, you know, there, there's a reason of doing things and also doing things appropriately. Um, I know that even from Eddie, your side, that it's what, one a day that you all can make? Yeah, yeah. And that's like it. And I know that there's other organizations that are dependent on that. So it's not just like a, hey, you can have it every single time. You can think of how much profit you can potentially make. Now, there's other politics that go into it when you can only make one out of the entire store. Like, think about that for a hot second. You can say the potential, but the potential is there's Lasa other Gaza. things and Ooh, other people Lasa that are Gaza. also doing that. Sure. And he's got to deal with that. So yeah. you can say that it's there, but realistically, it's one. That's it. You get one. And when other, everyone else is trying to do it and how cheap they are to make now, because in the past, they used to be a shit ton to make and no one wanted to do it. Now that they're easy to make, everyone wants to do it. Everyone wants to have a pipeline. Everyone wants to have a business. And now you're fighting for it. You have multiple suppliers. You have multiple things. And there's only one that can be made. And who gets that one? So I don't want to depend on that. Wait, is it it's one nice. per like life? Or are you saying one per the whole fucking? No. no, no, it's no. One the per. Tools are only good per storm. Oh yes. shit! Okay. So take that in consideration when you're talking about these things. Mm, okay. Yeah, I mean the the deal that I had brokered with. Uh, Why is Barry with, in a yeah, wheelchair? What are you talking was about? Was around two per day. Who's up here? But yeah, well things ebb and flow. I think that's why Kaiba bring up the point of like doing jobs on the outside. Oh, it's they can only make one per prison doing, per storm. Yeah, look, that's fine. I thought it was like one per life. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It changes things a bit. Yeah, yeah. the 500k asset fee thing um, is like five days before next round of asset fees hit. Need to make sure he deals with that before then. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Steve, I know you're not awake, but if you do see people on the outside, just 
Make sure to bring up to fucking Edbert or whatever, he can fucking deal with it, because we shouldn't be burning money like that, it's just a waste. Like, I thought my SFEs were fucked when it was like 100k plus. You know, it's like 500k is insanity. Yeah, he like, has a couple S pluses as well. I think he has... Uh, oh, like, he has the, reason four, I, the reason three. I gave him my car is because he didn't have any S's. So I was like, oh, okay, and I'll, I'll, I said, I'll pay for it. He, he shouldn't be holding on to fucking, you know, that many. Um, I think he probably has, what, four? Like four or five? Four, four or five, that's, yeah. yeah, yeah that's and he, and he doesn't, he doesn't want to give them to someone else to hold because he thinks that, you know, because they're keeping track of the, um, when assets are being moved around, he thinks that'll fuck us, but... If the, I mean, if that's uh, the case, I mean, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen, so it's like... Um, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He needs to get the chip. Uh, who else? Uh, I can take an S, possible. yeah. Yeah. Just something that 500k is crazy. Oh my yeah. god. Um, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, that's the main shit I wanted to bring up. This is, uh, the other shit people want to say in here or get info outside. Is that another thing we need? No, that's, um, that's, uh, <sighs> yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Benny and I would probably be, be good people to hold on to stuff as well. I've never okay. been bunk flipped and I've been through uh, a bunch of lockdowns. He's yeah, do, I'm like, going to give Eddie the uh, mat stuff and Rue, I'll probably give you a bunch of shit just to hold on to as well. They, if you if, if you value whatever you have, don't give it to me because I get flipped on the regular. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I want to make sure you guys are always armed with something. So if something does pop off, you can at least shank some cunt that's giving you cheese or whatever. Is that Jonald? That's Jonald. Um, yeah. Some that they're out there though, there are DOC who seem, you know, keep it arm's length, but seem workable with a lot of things. I think we can uh, manipulate that to our advantage, mm. especially they don't want violence and they know if they don't budge, we will continue to be violent. Like that, that's a yeah, given. Yeah. No, um, I, so I, can, they're I can getting more workable. I can respect DOC that uh, go out of their way to keep the PC because it may, I mean, it makes sense for them to want to, uh, you know, be on our side in a sense. So, um, yeah, we have the common enemy of the PD. Yeah. I want to put it out there as well. We can we can do drops in DGEN, and then I can pass them off in the storm. Very easy to do, a lot less risk. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, Pretty much like every storm, there should be at least like some kind of drop happening, considering how much shit we get flipped all the time. So especially stuff like mats that are just so valuable in here, it's like there's no reason really not to. Yeah. Look, if it's a priority, uh, someone else got to talk to Edward because I keep asking him and it just keeps not happening. Right, sweet. All right, uh, Eddie, let me uh, let me give you some some shit. Yeah, yeah. Use it as you please. Um, yeah. Other than that, just keep an eye out. Um, if you see Colin, whatever, tell him I already texted him. But uh, yeah, tell him I want to well, talk to him no. about this shit. All right. All right. Good yeah. shit. What's going on, stranger right. danger. I just want to be honest. I have fucking I missed all of us being in an area together, even yeah. though we're all fucking locked in here. Uh, what's up, Benny? Okay. <laughs> Ah, uh, what the fuck? Oh, what the <laughs> fuck? Oh my god. Huh. Uh, come over here, Eddie. Is that kind of upper body strength? I don't even... Oh no. Oh my god. Oh, okay, so I, could, I didn't see where it was. I was like, oh no, did someone yoink it? Okay, I told him to. Okay, right I literally sent him a photo of one right, of the fucking books go, so you could like put it. This is here. what he gave me. Love everybody. Huh? What are you doing? You mean? Mean. I'm going with the Benny. That's great. That's great. So I don't know. Just you can either it's try fine. and print it. No, Wait, no, Stevie, you fine. dipping? Wait, hold on. Give me one second. Hold on. Are you dipping, Stevie? Yeah. Oh, let me see if D's still around to get you out. Otherwise, I you can just. I think he is. Okay, if he yeah. was looking at us okay. with binoculars yeah, for a yeah, second. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Oh my god! It's on the phone. Uh, hold on, let me, let me check in here and see if he's here. Hey! And hey!
He fucking did he dip? I don't know where the fuck he went. Let's check cafeteria. Is that him there? Oh no, that's, that's Eddie. Uh, Yo. You don't happen to know Bringle. Bringle. Like Bringle, Bringle Dan? Dingus. Oh. Uh, I've Cause, probably cause heard the name. He... Okay, I don't know. He, he apparently There's broke There's a in? PD high command here. Oh, so. Uh, Stop. It's PD yeah, High Command here. Yeah, yeah, the Black and Mark Charger. Shit. Interesting. Okay. Um, well, yeah, what, what did Bringle do? He broke in. I don't know. He apparently broke in, but it seems like he has brain damage because he is talking very oddly. But, um. Okay. Yeah, he said stage. something about Shelly's evil and. I guess Shelly's his mom? Oh. Shelly's okay. evil and manipulative. Alright. And. I don't know where he went, but he nope. said he was with, all black. He was with the same meaners. With the same me I, I don't know, but Alright, all good. Let me know if you see was... uh let me see D around. I don't know where the fuck he went. He might have dipped already. Is everybody ad sec oh. talking weird? Oh, okay. Everybody ad sec. Oh, dude, you still here? Sure am. Still Getting here. gains. Yeah, good shit. Um, all right. Well, if you're trying to dip, I think Stevie's ready to go. Otherwise, I can. How'd the meeting go? Yeah, good. Just filled him in on uh, just pretty much just a shit. What we I talked about? You. Yeah, pretty much. Just word by word. Can I ask yeah. a question that you don't have to answer. Sure. I'm gonna knock you the fuck out. Where's C? Hey, Buster. Uh, that's a great question. Answering his phones, I don't know. Wait, also, I heard he might have been using my... His connection. Yeah. None well, of my business. It's all up to you. I'm just curious. Yeah, let's just, uh, let's just say it'll be dealt with. Oh, lame -ass motherfucker. oh, well. I don't care what you do. Just more information for me. This is so, Jeez. fucking... Okay. How, how have you been though, Barry? Outside of all of this shit. How how is Barry Benson? Not Barry the leader, just Barry Benson. How's Barry Benson? Been? Uh I've been fine. As fine as you can be for you know, being in here for thirty fucking years. I need a fucking hit this kind of Hey, come here, bitch! Uh, this is bullshit. Come on, bitch! I'm gonna knock you the fuck out! Fuck ass bitch! Hey, I'ma fuck you up! It's Jesus, I tried! Oh, lame ass motherfucker! I'ma straight knock you out. Fucking. Ah! Next signal. Uh. Yeah, I mean. Hey, Buster! Outside of even BBMC shit, I hate people that, uh... I hate, uh, people that wait till you're in prison for 30 years to, uh, show their true colors. Shit pisses me okay, off more than anything. And what colors have you seen that have become true? I mean, case in point, fucking Nancy, to be honest. Have you seen my true colors? I mean, I, I think you've garnered a lot of respect with uh, people in here. I'll, I'll be honest, Jaeger fucking hated your guts before all this, but uh, I think you've uh, warmed up to him considering all the shit you've uh, helped doing here, so. Did Aubrey ever tell you that she thinks I'm trying to take over Miss Poochie while you're in jail? Wait, who thinks that? Nancy? No, Aubrey. Aubrey thinks that. Aubrey, hey, Aubrey heavily suggested that she thinks I'm going to take over the billabong when you lose your assets. Oh. I have I mean, no plan to. 
Faza Gaza. I mean, Faza Gaza. There was, uh, do you think that? Oh, lame no. But I can see why. I mean, you can't blame uh, you can't blame the club for being uh, cautious, you know, especially with fucking Seaside always trying to big dick any excuse they can. So let's just say let's just say the only friendly neighbors we've ever had, really, even since you were around, were probably CG to be honest. And even there was a bit of spice there. Every other neighbor we've had is always like, you know, I mean, Hydro was fine once they had shit, but even they wanted to take land, you know, and they did. And then Seaside, and then Rust. It's like. Most people that end up Hydra. being near us end up trying to fuck us, so. Hydra, like, has anyone moved on you since you've been in here? Uh, you mean on, like, turf and shit? I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, anyway, as, far as, tried as far as I'm aware, there's been a few, like, random dickheads, but they got dealt with. I don't think any gangs have been doing anything dumb. Yeah, look. I get it for the whole cautious shit. That's fun. Hey, One. I, I, it ain't my turf. Two, even if I did try to take it, you are going to get out of here eventually. I would be stupid to think consequences wouldn't come following that. Yeah. And three, here's what I would do. If you did lose your asset and I learned of it, the first thing I would do is I would go and buy the house. I would do that. But then the second thing I would do is go and type in the state ID for keys, 6272. And then when you got your money back, I would sell it and give it back to you. Because whilst I don't want it, I'd rather I have it and then give you access to it until you can have it back, rather than some fucking moron come and snipe it. Yeah. Well, hopefully my guys would be fast enough to be able to realize that that was happening, but I appreciate it. Yeah, you never know with uh, people in this city. It's just... Where's the cargo, Bob? Uh, well, my sis is probably the best person to be able to... It's, it's pretty much... Apparently anyone at Fly X can organize that. Um, but... You just gotta go through my sis, but she hasn't been answering any of my calls. Which... I and mean, your sister fucking despises me. Yeah, well, I'll just say I need a cargo, Bob. No why. But... Uh, I'll, I'll try to keep trying to get numbers, but it should it should be anyone at Air X can rent one out. It's just a matter of if they're awake. I only know like one guy outside of that that I could call. Um, Going in yellow pages? Uh, not right now at least. Um, we we're trying to get one. Before all this shit was going down, we we're trying to get someone from uh, BBM to get a license there so that uh, we could just use a cargo bob whenever we wanted for drops and shit. Um, yeah, no, I'd, I'd, I'd love to fucking send a car in here. Yeah, no, I think that'd be funny as fuck. I try to organize that for like some shit. Um. Alright. Uh, yeah, Steve, are you trying to get out of here? Yeah, that'd be ideal. Uh, you think you'd well, be able to... be fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know how many DCs still I'll awake. Come in, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll come in here with a fucking helicopter if it don't work. You'll get out. It'll be fun. I'll fucking do another special like I always do. Yeah. Well, if there's a, if you could be the only one to go, you could get out. I'll find a way too. You got me in here. It's half the battle. You should get out for yourself. I was hired for a job. I got told what goal. I achieved it. All right. Okay. Uh, we're we'll gonna clear the front. It. I'll go make sure cafeteria is clear. Benson in my rail. What are you all looking up, chat? What are you looking up at? Are you watching Dundee do pull ups? <laughs> so Barry can do his own pull ups, alright? DOC car uh, here. Should be good, honestly, just to dip out. Mm. 
Do 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 do. I have his phone on him. Clear. Where'd Stevie go? She's getting a uh, she's getting a ride for us at the front. She's calling my guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I think DSC are all busy, so it should be pretty good. Yeah. <sighs> should probably actually eat before I fucking die. Was it a healthy meeting? Uh, yeah, it was good. It was just, everyone was on the same page. It's just making sure people are aware that, uh, you know, I don't want anyone to have anything involved with her anymore. This doesn't really make sense to you. You know, what I, well, you know what I learned as well? Apparently the day before she, uh, said to one person because nobody even knew her, like that, apparently like Jaeger hates her or Jaeger tried to kill her or some shit, uh, apparently, which nobody knew about, by the way. So even, not that if we did, we probably would have changed our mind, but. She's trying to hold it above, like, people's heads that, oh, yeah, like, you should have, like, known this or whatever, but apparently told Flops, like, the day before that, uh, um, oh, yeah, if you go to Sanguine Island and fight for Jaeger, like, you'll, you'll never, like, you'll never see me again kind of thing. Like, that goes for anyone in the BBMC that goes. Just, like, that's just the most, like, uh, manipulative thing I've ever heard. Especially, especially when you're telling it to ah, one person what? and then not, not telling it to anybody else. It's just like... Manipulating, 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 manipulating. Fucking, that word is banned. Fucking manipulation, manipulation. Oh, fucking manipulate this, manipulate that. Just fucking, right, just fucking send it, cuz. Just fucking do it. I don't give a fuck about fucking feelings. You just, you get a job, you gotta do it. That's it. You fucking better the glove. That's all you gotta do. I don't care what fucking bridge you burn or what fucking line you cross. You get it done. You got boys and girls <laughs> first. Yep. All that's needed. Fucking no oh, manipulated me. Oh, the lying. Fuck the dog. Yeah. I just. Yeah, I, look, I always saw Nancy as a snake. Oh, yeah, he I is always, looking I up and down. like herself and herself only. <laughs> it's because uh, he's talking, so I think my head follows not because him. She wants to, but because. Well, I mean, she will benefit her friends because it's her friends. But oh. there's no loyalty. What I, what I learned as well was like uh, Lang and Nancy go, like, I didn't hear the full story, but they go, like, way back. So he's like straight up her OG and uh like she definitely did have the power to you know say in Cerberus don't do this but she's just refusing to um which is baffles my mind the the, the respect all, that, all the, the shit she said about uh uh about you and then she's literally 10 times worse with that with Lang like literally like actual actual like just you know whatever Lang says goes like like people she can gave say you that shit about about fucking you and me. Oh, and then I mean, even with all the shit we went through, like there was a difference between like I would do things for the sake of the club, but if we had disagreements, we'd we'd disagree more than anybody, and I would fight you on stuff and change your mind, and reverse of that, change mine on certain shit. But with her, it's just like, yep, she, she said her own words. I'm not even like just saying this. She said her own words on the phone. If Lang says something. Uh, it goes with, with Cerberus shit. I'm doing it. He's, you know, it's just, I don't know, man. I, even if it's a business standpoint, it's just like, how can you let anybody in the city, how can you follow exactly what anyone says, no matter what, no questions asked? It's just, think for your fucking self, like. Yeah, exactly, mate. So her, fucking... her, her whole thing, and that's what I admired her for, was that she doesn't take shit from anybody, ruthless businesswoman, does, you know, this, that, the other, but it's like, I don't know, it just seems like she'll do that on certain occasions if it doesn't involve Lang. But if it involves Lang, no go. It's just, I don't know. It's like, oh, word it, mate. She takes shit from nobody, but she'll bow backwards for Lang. Yeah. She don't take shit from nobody, but because, like, like if you remove Cerberus from Nancy, what does Nancy have? 
My, like, like, think about it like this. You move me from the BBMC. Am I still scary? I like to think I am. Yeah. You move, you, you move yourself from BBMC. Are you still scary? I think you are. You move fucking Mr. K from CG. He's still scary. You move later. Uh, you remove Nancy Drew from Cerberus. Is she still scary, Barry? It's a, it's a great question. She's 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 nothing. She's nothing but a pow pow powerful person because her friends is Lang Buddha and nothing more. Nancy herself Damn, is what the simply fuck? a connection of Lang Buddha and an extension of Lang and nothing more. You remove the connection between the two. What does Nancy Drew have in, co in common or answer? Keep in mind, I don't think you're even aware of this. It, Nancy Drew is frequently on PD ride alongs. You know about that? Yeah, I saw her like once or like once or twice, and I thought it was just like a meme to like get info. But from what I'm hearing, she goes on them like more regularly than I actually. Re I thought it was literally just a one time like one time thing just to fuck around with them. But apparently, it's like a really regular thing, which is. Oh, yeah. it's common. Uh, it's very common. I learned recently that um, when I was banging some cops, uh, one of the cops oh. was, one of the cops was shooting at my boy, and he ran around in the cop car, and uh, I didn't learn this until later, but apparently the cops shot Nancy in the cop car trying to shoot my guy, and I banged him down with that. <laughs> Fucking, she, and and she has the, she's like, oh yeah, it's fine, and just goes back to the, like, yeah. Fucking, I know it's none of my business, but if I fucking found out that one of my guys, or my gals, was hanging out with a fucking OP, it'd be DEAD. And yeah. it's not my business, and you do what you do, but from an outsider perspective, I see C is hanging out with a fucking P. Yeah. And I don't know what that says for BBMC. Like oh, you, you, you do whatever you want. You don't need to fucking justify your, your actions to me. But that's just an outsider looking in on what he sees. Man, trust me, um, nah, Nancy's a dog. I caught it out a year ago. I still stick by it. I only talk to her so I can use her for my own advantage. Nothing yeah. more. God damn, what the fuck? She's, she's, just, she's just fucking Lang, but actually talks to people. And she always, she's always talked down to me in a smug way as if I mean nothing, as if I'm nothing. Yeah. But she feels like that if I were to attack her, she knows that the people would go after her, I mean, would, would defend her. And she knows that the Rust Act is protecting her. That's why I didn't attack, I, I didn't attack her after she shot me, well not her, but her crew shot me down. Um, because of two reasons. One, I knew I'd be fucking with uh, people who would come after me. And two, I knew that either you or Colin would come after me and it's shit I didn't need. I just let it go. But you want my opinion, bro? I I think you should go fuck up Cerberus. Please get rid of them. What a what a fucking powerhead piece of shit. Waste of time. Fucking bad, bro. That's Cerberus PD. Of course, the the PD pockets. They tried to fund the whole PD at one point. The fucking dogs that should be put down in a fucking kennel like the mutts they are. Not even a fucking not even a fucking dog owner. What's the fucking dogs that live in Cerberus Enterprises fucking headquarters? Jesus Christ, I want to blow them up like the fucking building at the end of Cyberpunk 2077. Jesus Christ. I'm like sitting here for an hour fucking doing chin-ups. I've been on a spiritual walk through the fucking desert and I found <laughs> myself. I hate the goddamn government, its currency, and the power yeah. heads that run it. Burn it down. Oh, Viva Sanguine! Viva Sanguine! Viva Sanguine! Viva Sanguine. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, uh, now you know my reason for going. What's up, Stevie? You ready to go? Uh, he's going to text me. Right. on the way um yeah listen she'll she'll get dealt with uh i i, I ain't uh i ain't fucking with service so i get confirmation that they're actually doing shit but if uh, if they even attempt to do anything while i'm dealing with this uh other other problem then of course it's gonna lead to you know them getting clapped as well so i'll say fuck them off anyway yeah because even if they didn't do anything you will get answer for one thing and you know exactly what i'm talking about yeah you will find out whose loyalty lays with who well, once I, uh, I still want to speak with Jaeger and get more info about his, uh, his, uh, he's related to Lang, but they fucking hate each other, so I want to get more info from the other guys in here about their thoughts on all that, because it's not even just BBMC that was threatened by that, it's every sanguine in here that has a business that, you know, ha can potentially get bought out by them, um, so I mean, if they're on the same page then, because uh, I know what happened to fucking Rust, it's, uh, 
yeah, they ha do have a big force, so it's like, <laughs> if we need to get multiple people then, I'm sure it would be more than easy to uh, get a bunch of people involved to go fuck them up. So we'll see. Let's see how shit progresses. I just want to blow up the roost's rest. Yeah, fuck. I haven't gone to the roost, like, actually gone there in like a year and a half. It's, I, I don't know. If you went there, you you would just need to act slightly shitlordy and you would start a war with them. Really? I'm like, you, like, like, okay. So I went there for one time and I paid for food and they thought I was scamming. So they pulled a gun out and shot me. And then the second time, uh, mama was there with a knife and then they had guns out again. And they said, yeah, stab him, stab him, fucking stab Dundee, do it, do it. I'm like, who the fuck are you, mate? So I fucking hit him with a bat and they shot me and I paid for the food and I didn't even get the food. And then the third time I was just going in there, I fucking walk past the employee side and uh, they fucking put another gun on me. I'm like, yeah. bro, if you, this was fucking Vargos or Ballers or fucking any other gang, you pulling a gun on me, you'd be fucking dead cut. What the fuck is this? Yeah. Who are you? I can pull a gun on me again. I fucking they pull a gun on me one more time. They're gonna have a big issue. What fucking god? Storm four hundred fucking bucks. The fucking dogs. This one in a succulent Chinese meal, and they fucking pull guns on me. Oh shit! Look behind us. There's a helicopter. Huh? Over there. Fuck, am I really that visible from that far away? Jesus Christ. No, I, I didn't see you until you were close parachute. Uh, whatever strat you're doing, I can't see you until you're literally about to land, so it's... Oh. You know the, uh, you know the, the four-way intersection that's the difference between leaving Sandy Shore? You, uh, hold, on, just, hold on. You know the Nora Road that you take from the, uh... Uh-huh. The one that goes to the meat factory? Yeah, I jump oh, at the okay. intersection, the four-way... Way. Where is it? This way? Ah, oh, God, it's fucking, fucking hard. I'm lost! God. It's, where is it? Can you like point to it? Thing, you, okay, give me. Oh, God damn it. I need the map. I made, it's very delicate. Okay. Just don't break it. I just. It's there. Uh, up, where like fucking, up there. No, no, like, like uh, there. Right where, there. What is that? See? What even? Got, where I am I? That's where the hunting station is. Isn't? No, I don't. I think it's towards like that way. Kind of. That's prison there. Fuck me, you're as useless as I am putting pictures on material containers. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I get the rough idea you're talking about. Kind of. Zenkudo. I come from Zenkudo. Ah, I heard right. shit from Zenkudo. Yeah, that's smart. You got a text yet, Stevie? No. Mm. Is there any eyes on me? I'm gonna be honest, I feel like you'd probably just grab that and join your car. I don't have a lot of pick. Huh, I do? Wait, where did they go? Actually, I have a lockpick. Let me, let me get it. Go back. Meet me at uh, meet me at the cafeteria. I'll get you a lockpick. I have a lockpick. Uh, is it this one over here? Was Dundee here? Yeah, it's a disguise, so they can't tell it's him. Well, today's been good, chat. Today's, uh... Today's probably the most amount of, like, RP you can probably get in here. Thank God. It's given us something to do, at least. Though it is very spicy roleplay. Uh, ah, oh, What happened to my lockpick? I must have got rid of it. Shit, well, I've got a gun. Pretty cute. Yeah. I'll do some metamorphine tomorrow. I've got red. Oh, I need to get rid of those rental papers. <laughs> get rid of those. It'd be weird if. <laughs> Let me go toss them somewhere. TJ is doing his emo walk. Okay, 
I don't know what happened to my lockpick. Well, my guy's here anyway. So, look. I'll, uh... Oh, well, you need anything? You know the core? I okay, appreciate uh, it. Always happy to help, brother. Yeah. Well, I'll definitely do that. Oh, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll get Stevie out. All right. Appreciate it. Wait, 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 D, maybe you could just take us with you, you know? I feel like maybe I could just leave. I don't, I don't know why I didn't just well, say bring on, me man. with you. Come, come, just come. All right, just yeah, come, can, Barry. You, can you bring me with you? Okay, yeah, I'll bring you with me. All don't right, worry, see you guys. Come I'm going to escape, all right? Bye. Yeah, let's hey, go. Just escape. Oh, yeah. Escape with me. I'm going to escape on. with you. Okay. Yeah. Surely. All right. Okay, excellent. So now I just do this. Yes. Okay. And now I just do this. Wait. Uh, Fuck. Okay. I do oh, this. Benny, Benny take this in case it get... I do this. No, nope, never mind. Benny, Benny take that. I've been anti-shit loaded. Take that, Benny. In case it takes it yeah, off. Yeah. Can't you just... Can't you just S... Yeah, there you go. Mm. And... I, I, Wait, I no. Stevie I, escort I, me, and then you escort Stevie. There you go. Thinking about this, Barry. <laughs> and then Barry. we'll all escape together. I... Uh -huh. I don't want to. I don't want to end up in. I don't want to end up in a prison, not even in this country, Barry. So how about I break you out another day? Okay, fine. All right, Barry. Okay. Oh shit! Wouldn't it just teleport oh, no. me back? <laughs> it's a problem. What? <laughs> I can't pull out the grapple gun while let's carry on. Oh, no. Oh. Uh -oh. Uh, wait. How many? How many uses uh -oh. has it got on it? Fuck! Oh god. Uh, I'll be back in ten minutes. Yes. See you soon. Oh god. Wait, who is that? Over there? Is that one of your boys? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's... Okay, I'm gonna go to the cell. Uh, should we? Should we here? I guess just wait here. And do you have a phone, Stevie? I'll be here. Yeah, I do. Okay, yeah, just call if you need. Yeah. All right. The download. I can't do that. Okay. All right, we'll get her out. Get out of here. DJ still here? Turn off. There's Sedge farming over here. Yay! People just hang out in like the garden and stuff. Oh man. Okay. Hi chat, what am I call there? I think that's a good spot to end. Well, spicy RP today. Thank you again for those that are. Uh... That's not what I. Not what I want. Um, yeah. Hopefully you had fun today, chat. Oh, spicy RP to come. Uh, MJS thanks for the twenty nine months, by the way. Try to boil chicken on you. On your years of recommendation, I have to say shit as I imagine. Okay, that's I've never recommended that. Uncle Teddy, thanks to 100 bits. Prison hooch for nights being gone. Little thanks to the four months. The Sealer Boy, K Mad, thank you guys again for the subs. Thanks to everyone that subbed today. Uh, what day are we at in prison? Is it like day 11? Oh, God, we're not even halfway. God. Uh, it'll make for good RP when we get out, though. I tell you that. It'll hopefully it'll be worth it when we get out. Oh man, um, chat. Thanks for hanging out. Try to make the most of our time in here. Uh, mix it with some variety stuff. But yeah. Ah, oh, today was good though. Today was fun. 
Um, thank you for the subs, donos, follows. If you're new to the stream, appreciate you sticking around. Uh, chatters, thanks for keeping chat popping. Yeah, we'll probably do like masterminds like tomorrow or some shit. Unless there's... Oh, actually, we might have to talk to Colin first tomorrow and then we might do mastermind after. Um, yeah, spicy RP chat. Thanks for sticking around for it. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Hopefully today was fun to watch as well. Um, yeah. Uh, should we raid? Anyone to raid? Let's raid. Let's raid Hubcap. Wait, have we, did we raid Hubcap recently? I can't remember. Raid Hubcap. Actually, let's do let's do Whippy. Fuck it. Oh wait, no, he usually gets off soonish, doesn't he? Stevie, going to sleep. Fuck it, we'll, we'll raid Stevie. Wait, uh, we'll raid Rippy uh, next time. Go show some love to uh, Stevie Chat. Uh, I'll be live again tomorrow. Same time, same place. Do some RP and then maybe masterminds, depending on how it goes. Yeah. I think BBMC is, uh, yeah. About to, uh... I'm interested to see Colin's reaction. Let's put it that way. Because uh, Barry is... Barry... Barry's not in a good mindset with, uh, yeah, the Nancy combo. And I think the rest of the club is already mirroring that before we even said anything. So, I don't know where that's going to go. But he's probably going to be tested very soon. Anyway, thanks for hanging out, chat. I hope you had fun today. <coughs> Back tomorrow. Thanks the subs. Bye. Go spend bezel. Oh, by the way, don't be shitty in anyone else's chat. Make sure you only show love, okay? I always appreciate when uh, I hear that you guys uh, are being good. Uh, oh, that's not the song I want to play. Um, good in other people's chats. So, yeah. All right. Go show Stevie some love. See you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.